for everybody in between. We leave nothing untouched. We are Spoon 107.5 FM. From the top of Vologisi to the beaches of Maryland, we cover Liberia like nobody else does. This is Spoon 107.5 FM. New, urban, ethical, authentic, sports, entertainment, something for the old, something for the new, something for everybody in between. We leave nothing untouched. We are Spoon 107.5 FM. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO Stan Tunnel with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South and Ben. Charge it. Spoon to be part of the special Spoon, 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 celebration Spoon, 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 celebration Spoon, 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 celebration Spoon gonna tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to the spoon, oh, to the spoon you ain't know. Did the children cry for starvation just to the spoon? You want to get a news update, my brother, to the spoon. You want to know what is happening, my brother, to the spoon. Politician want to make their decision just to the spoon. You want to know what happening in the ministry to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. You from Vonjema, Maryland, to the spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ain't get my gradually, my brother, to the spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio, to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. You want to get a news update, to the spoon. What, what, yeah, Rastafara. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. What I want? It's what you bought today, oh. 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 It's what To get a news update, my brother, to the spoon. 
You want to know what is happening, Morocco to Tosco. Politicians want to make their decision just to Tosco. You want to know what's happening in the ministry to Tosco. Yeah, 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 to Tosco. Yeah, 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 to Tosco. You from Fonjema, Maryland, to Tospo. Yeah, 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 to Tospo. If you eat kept on graduate, my brother, to Tospo. You got a small TV, you got a small radio, to Tospo. Yeah, 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 to Tospo. You want to get a news update, to Tospo. What, what? Yeah, Rastafara. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba, kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. What I want? This one you buy today, oh. Skidi bi bi da baro, skidi bi Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO Stan Tongo with the sport. And your boy, Friday the South and Ben. Charge is on the beat. Spoon to be part of our discussion. Spoon, spoon, spoon television. Spoon, spoon, spoon radio. Yeah. Spoon gonna tell you what is happening in Liberia. Spoon gonna tell you what is happening in Morovia. Morovia. Spoon gonna tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to the spoon, oh, to the spoon you ain't know. They the children crying for starvation, just to the spoon. You want to get a news update, my brother, to the spoon. You want to know what is happening, my brother, to the spoon. Politicians want to make their decision just to the spoon. You want to know what happened in the ministry to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. You from Fonjema, Maryland, to the spoon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to the spoon. If you eat kept on graduate, my brother, to the spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio, to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. You want to get a news update, to the spoon. What, what, yeah, Rastafara. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. What I want? This one you buy today, oh.
Okay, um, Doc, you can get the audio. Are you getting the audio? If not, um, so that we can tweak and work on it. So if you guys are getting the audio, kindly leave a comment and let us know. We apologize. Um, these technical things do happen. So if you're getting the audio quality, please uh, kindly leave a comment if the quality is back up and good. All right, just kindly leave a comment so that we can know that what we've done, you know, is working. Um, so please leave a comment. Okay, Rufus Pade says it's good. Mother's Love says it's good. Um, Dr. Richardson says it's good as well. Thank you for the feedback. We appreciate that. That's the reason we here, and we appreciate the fact that you guys can pick up on things. Um, yeah, all right. So thank you, Samuel. Um, Kohine says it's good. Good. So the National Counties Post meets kicks off tomorrow. Yeah, the preliminary round kicks off tomorrow simultaneously in Monrovia, where you have teams grouped, will be playing in Monrovia. You also have teams in Kakata, Margibi County, as well as um, Fishtown, River G, and um, San Nicolas City, Nimba County. So whichever county you're rooting for, just, just leave your, just type the name of your county and which county you think is going to win this year's National County Sports Meet that began in 1956. So this is an annual event, except for years that we had the civil crisis in our country. Yes, the county meet was you know, you know, a regular future, but at least it has been going on continuously for a time now. And um, this brings together the nation. Whenever you're on the field, you know, those will be throwing jabs at each other. You know, those will be saying, okay, yeah, one county against the other and all of that. But at the end of the day, you do see um, the love for the game, the love for the sports, the love for our counties, and at large, our country. So the county sports meet kicks off tomorrow simultaneously. Uh, I'll tell you the groups, the various teams in the groups, and um, as you know how the county meet phase works, after the preliminary stage, those who will remain in the bush, they stay there. Those who will qualify will come to Montserrado County for the quarter semi final and the finals as well so i see somebody saying bonga somebody says nimba you know uh but these are winners of the national counties post meet um if you can see from this flyer that i've posted um these are winners 1956 maryland as you can see then cape mount 69 grand crew 74 grand crew 77 Nimba 78, Nimba again 79, um, Grand Crew 2007, Grand Crew 2008, and then Grand Jida, the land of the rising sun in 2009. Uh, is that correct? Uh, 2000 and, is it 2009 or 1989? 1989. So let me go over that again. So Maryland 1956, Cape Mount 1969, Grand Crew 
1974, Grand Cru 1977, Nimba 1978, Nimba again 1979, Grand Cru 1985, Grand Cru 1987, Grand Gita counted 1989, and then Grand Bassa counted 1990. There wasn't counted sports music until 2004. Bapulu County won that. That's the football champions. What I'm reading for you, football champions. And then River says in 2007, uh, Bong County in 2008, Bomi in 2009, and Nimba again in 2010. Nimba retained their title in 2011. Uh, Margibi County won the crown, footballing crown in 2012. Cape Mount 2013, and then um, Grand Bassa 2014, Grand Bassa 2015, 2016. And then Monserrado County 2017, Monserrado County 2018, Bummy again 2019, Grand Crew County. This one was in somewhat controversial fashion in 2020. Uh, Lofa County won their inaugural championship, uh, their first, their median championship in 2021, you know. And then you have Nimba County 2022, Nimba 2023. So the current champions, the reigning footballing champions, indeed is Nimba County. So yes, Nimba is a footballing, uh, sporting powerhouse in Liberia. So which county are you rooting for? Uh, May Tapla says Grand Bassa. So these are the groups for this year's National County Sports Meet. These are the groups for this year's National County Sports Meet. And uh, okay, so it's kind of chakla chakla, but we'll manage it. So the preliminary rounds, March day one, Sunday, April 14, 2024, um, you have Cape Mount versus bombing kickball in Monrovia yeah, at 11 a.m. You have Monserrado County versus Bapolu kickball in Monrovia. You have Crane Cape Mount County versus bombing in football here in Monrovia and Monserrado versus Bapolu in football as well in Monrovia. Um, then March day two, this same group, you have Bapolu, that's uh, on the 17th of April. You have Bapolu against Cape Mount in kickball. Bummy against Monserrado in kickball. All of the games I'm reading out will be played in Monrovia. You have Bapolu versus Cape Mount football here in Monrovia on the 17th of um, April. And then Bummy against Monserrado here uh, in, Mon in Monrovia football on the 17th. Then on March day 3, which will be the, 20, um, the 20th, if I'm seeing that right, um, of, um, of, of, of April, you have Monserrado against Cape Mount kickball, Bommy against Bapolu kickball, Monserrado against Cape Mount football, and then Bommy against Bapolu football. So two teams will qualify from this group, two football teams and two kickball teams will qualify from this group. So this group that is based in Monrovia uh, consists of Cape Mount, Monserrado, Bapolu, and Bommy. So these four teams will be competing in the preliminary stages here in Monrovia. And then we move to Fishtown. Yes, is it Fishtown? Yes, yeah, Fishtown River G. So in this group, you have Maryland, Sino, River G, and Grand G there. So this is of Eastern thing. Um, you have Maryland versus Sino on March day one in kickball at 11 o'clock on the 14th of April. You have River G against Grand G there foot uh, kickball at 12 uh, p.m. Then you have Grand Gita versus River G kickball. Also, Maryland versus Sino football, and then River G versus Grand Gita County football on the 14th of April. On the 17th of April, kickball, you have Grand Gita going against Sino. You have River G going against Maryland. That's match day two. You also have Grand Gita versus Sino in football, and then River G versus Maryland in football. That's on March day two. All of these matches will be played in Fishtown, River G County. And then you have the last day of preliminary matches, March day three, the 20th of April, 2024. River G County versus Sino in kickball, Maryland versus Grand Gita in kickball, and then River G versus Sino in football and Maryland versus Grand Gita in football. Only two teams will qualify from this group as well that is based in Fishtown, River G County. we we'll move to the next group. Um, and this group um, is in Kakata, 
Maagibi, if I, you know, yeah, this group is in Kakata, Maagibi. So you have on March day one, you have Maagibi versus Grand Basa or Basa and Pele Affair happening on uh, March day one, the 14th of um, April. That's kickball. Maagibi faces Grand Basa County. And um, you also have uh, in football, Maagibi against Grand Basa County. On March day two, um, on the 17th of, uh, of, of April, you have Lofa County versus Magibi, and in kickball, Lofa County versus Magibi in football. On March the 3, Grand Bassa County versus Lofa in kickball, and Grand Bassa County versus Lofa in football. So this group comprises only three teams, and out of the three, two will qualify, and one team will have to say bye-bye and try again the next year. So the final group, uh, this group is based in San Nicolas City, Nimba County, and it consists of um, Riverses, Grand Cru, Nimba, and Bon Counties. So again, only two teams can qualify from this group in the footballing and kickballing categories as well. So the first day, March day one, on the 14th of April tomorrow, Riverses uh, squares up against Grand Cru County in kickball in San Nicolas. And then Nimba County goes against Bon County in kickball as well. In the footballing games, you have Riverses against Grand Crew in San Nicolas City on, on the 14th of April. You also have Nimba County versus Bong in San Nicolas City on the 14th of April. That's match day one. Match day two, Grand Crew versus Nimba. Kickball is the opening match of that day in this group. And you have Bong County versus Riverses as well. Kickball. For football, Grand Crew again against Nimba and Bong faces Riverses County. The final day of preliminary matches in this group, um, you, that's Group C, you have Nimba County versus Riverses, kickball, Bong County versus Grand Crew, kickball, and for football, Nimba versus Riverses, and Bong versus Grand Crew. Only two teams will qualify from this group as per the other groups, A, B, and C, and they will then come to Monrovia, A, B, C, and D. So four groups, they will then come to Monrovia, to square off in the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals as well. So at the end of the day, we can only have one champion football in the footballing category and one champion in the kickballing category. So which county are you rooting for? I saw on Facebook some people rooting for three different counties. My mom for Nimba, my pa from Grand and I point in Monserrado. So I'm going for Nimba, Grand Gide, Monserrado, and I went to school in Bong, Cottington. So I've added Bong County, you know, there. But whatever the case is, there must be one winner, uh, and we all will have to enjoy these competitions as well. All right. So open the phone lines for a bit today. What is going to tell us what's on your mind is uh, which team you're rooting for, uh, which team you think is going to win this year's National County Sports Meet, and um, you let us know and why. Just a minute per caller. We'll also be reading comments. Uh, from those watching. We'd love to say welcome. This is the Spoon Talk. This is the biggest of our talks. It's a Saturday. Yes, the rest of the panelists are going to come on the show. They're going to give it a full blast, a full throttle. But before they do all of that, the annual biggest sporting event in our country's, you know, you know, yearly history, yeah, is, is the National County Sports Meet. It's even bigger than our National Football and Kickball League. This is what Liberians look up to every year. I saw the Lofians today at the Invisible Park with their one Lofa festival. We must give it to them, though. They know how to rally support. That's one thing other counties need to look at as how Lofa, you know, go about doing it. You know, Nimba too, they know how to rally support. The rest of the counties, whichever way. But there are certain counties people don't feel interested in, in you know, giving them support, their citizens or their country may if you want to call it that way those of you from the county oh, I'll get at you, I'll get at you, I'll get at so you're triple seven 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 one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five those are the numbers to call uh, please call us and let us know which county you're rooting for this year's national county sports meet hello nothing nothing caller how are you hello yeah nothing caller nothing who relaxing damo yeah no no you say oh ne oh damo slanka how are you, sir? Good. Let's hear you out, please. Yeah, this is Evangelist Joseph Jara from from Duporo, Fisher Kula Junction. I mean, I, I think the lion, the lion from the jungle will definitely uh, take the day. We know that Lovar County is all about green, and the green revolution definitely will, will carry the day. 
no foul. You're so, bringing Lionel Bailey again, eh? Yeah, yeah. Bringing the lion, they, 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 they don't go where they can't win. You know what lion does? Mm. You know, God associated with lion. Hey, hey, if I just lead that thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but thank you anyway. All right, thank you. So one we'll for Lofa there, the uh, lion coming to town. Last year, the lion wanted to come. Nobody had been to the lion. Somewhere along the line. The lion ate grass or something or that, so I don't know. But let me take this person here. Hello? Hello. Your name, man, where are you calling us from? My name is Joe Miller. Yeah, Joe. We, we, which team this year? My brother, the defending team, Nimba. Nimba? Yes, sir. Mm. So why why Nimba? Nimba? The reason is Nimba is because Nimba said my team that team. Mm. What made the what made the game here is the team. And Nimba is standing strong to support the country financially, morally. So we stand strong in making sure that we, we, we defend the trophy. Oh, yes, about, someone began to lepo or lion. Mm. So we never put in GB, eh? Yeah, that GB not coming. <laughs> All right, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you, you. You back on base, eh? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. Can you tell who you're rooting for? Ah. Uh. I'm rooting for the boys from the, the land of the rising sun. So we have to kind of tell, but I think this year we'll definitely kind of tell. You know, I'm rooting too good, so... But the way JMB said the 100 day, no car gets stuck in the mud. Maybe. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. I, ask you, I, ask you, I ask you for what question you talk about. You <laughs> ask me the little <laughs> political answer there. <laughs> so, yeah. Granger. Uh, uh, I'm rooting for Granger, though. Him or yeah. Robert were telling me about political role, political answer, political, a political football meet. No, no, that I just, I just, just asked that. Maybe that the reason we haven't been coming to town because when we look at the test, you know, how we come to town, all I got to tell you, yes, hello, let me just stay down there. But this year, I'm sure, you know, we'll do something better. Yeah, we'll do something better. Uh, hmm, yeah, that's yeah. the first choice yeah. is going to but After that, I can do any other thing. What about you? I, I brought something for someone from Liberia and they just came to get it. So give me a second, okay? I'll be okay, right. that. All right. All right. So let, let me go back to the phone lines and take uh, as many calls as possible. I'll pin a WhatsApp number quickly before the rest of the panel. I'm talking about quickly. There he is. He has appeared. Boom, brother. What's up? I'm mean, you're waiting for me. <coughs> you're waiting for, for you. Me. Even though we're going to be carrying on, but we're going to be keeping one eye in the bag waiting for you. No, I'm, I'm super quiet Saturday. Mm. I'm trying to find what kind of movie to watch. Like I keep on spoon talk. Oh, you're trying to find some what kind of movie to watch and you just keep on spoon talk? Yeah. That tells you that nothing always interesting in spoon talk? No, that damn slang guy I'm talking to. No, everything is good though. Spoon talk is super. Mm. You know, we're making, we're making input. Damn on, let me ask you a question though. Right? Answer if you can. Mm. Originally, you're from Grand Jeter, right? Yeah. Grand Jeter, Grand Jeter supported George Badawea. First round, second round. Zoe Penno supported George Badawea. What's the other senator name? Yaya Nimle. Yaya Nimle. Yeah, Nimle supported Joe Manawea. Oh, uh, what's the superintendent name again? The Do we have one for the past no, superintendent? Yeah. When Kai Fale. Kai Fale. Guy in the helicopter and supported Joe Manawea. The current guy is sending their grant. The people behind they say they don't need him. Uh, at the end of the day, I, I speak of whatever with your peace. Who do you support? I support Granger. You support Granger, so you support John Manawea. I support Granger. You ask me who, who do I support in the national county sports meet? I support Granger. No, no, I didn't say not anything about national county sports. League. So we, we support you talking about who do you support? Yeah, which yeah, one of the politicians? Yeah. Who you support? Yeah. Which one of the political leaders you support? I support Liberia. Mm, thank you. Okay, so you're taking my step now. You, you're no, talking... I support Liberia. So, so the person I have the majority vote that the person you support? I support Liberia. Okay. Oh, I just... Somebody in my ear, the person say, 
I should tell you know what? They say you are not go by the grand jail. <laughs> <laughs> so why I not go by the grand jail? I support a beer. Can't they suppose me? I support grand jail. Okay, well, we understand. I just thought of asking the question because the thing is, this person in my ear tell me that you supported or or somebody I don't want to call their name, but <laughs> look at Lorena says CEO, try and leave the ball, man. I am telling you, it kind of cool Saturday. Oh yeah. yeah. No, listen, I, I can just ask my question. It's mm -hmm. up to you to answer. Tell the Richard said, Lola, you home now though. Are you I'm back in the state? <laughs> yes, I am. Man, money sweet though. You know, if you are a United States citizen, you in and out, no question once you get money. So we all got to apply for, 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 for. So you're not leaving Dama, you owe me now. No, it's not that I'm leaving Dama, though. The issue is that you're back in the state so fast. Thank God. We thank God. Wow. I safely. Thank God that I'm, I have the opportunity to do that. So, hey, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Dama. Money sweet, oh, money sweet, oh, money sweet, oh. That's what since this year, she has traveled four times to Liberia. Four good times. Yeah, just start out. Really? January, February, March, April. Four times. <laughs> yeah, just start not out. hearing you, Demo. We are not hearing what, you. Once every month. All right, that's the beauty of working for yourself and having your own establishment. That's the beauty that you can just say, you know what? I'm going to take a bay of, I'm on tenure position, like all the tenure folks then. And I'm going to take two weeks off and just go enjoy myself with my husband or my wife. And that's I, what that's you, what you're going to talk about the tenure people. You, you're not going to. You know, that what Richard says is on tenure position, so it's okay for 18 years and counting. So if that Richard was serving in the, in the in the House of Representatives, then it means that she on her Three third times. term. She mm -hmm. on her third term. Mm -hmm. As a senator, she on her second term. So she's one of the longest serving. Ain't no lawmaker in Liberia. So uh, we appreciate you, Dr. Wood Richardson. Robina, Welcome back. I was going to tell you hello while I was in Liberia. I, I saw you in Robina. I don't know what Robina doing in Liberia. If I were Robina, I would not go to Liberia. Why you say that? She looked like Liberian. What? But she, <laughs> she is a Liberian. She is 100% a Liberian. Yeah, man, you're saying don't, don't get me in trouble with Rubina begging you. Don't get me in trouble with Rubina. Rubina, my friend. Rubina yeah. Fabata, Louis Vinci. Fabata. That one of the girls that wanted to get that much, she doesn't know how to cook. She would taste it. She cook it. I, 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 I bet Rubina. She would taste it. She cook it. You know what? If you don't know how to cook, don't pretend. Just so you know what? We'll buy Chinese food or we'll go out to the restaurant to eat. I just buy burger and fries, you know. Go to my dad. Yeah, we bet that we talk about your soup. Right. Really bet. We bet that every time you talk about her soup, you will find a jar with a, that you put a dollar in it. No, I listen to tell you the truth. I have that originally. I respect you, you're a professional woman. If you don't know how to cook, we understand because you're too busy. Do you control. know, uh, but. Okay. Uh, we went to Sister Rubina house that, month, that night, and you know, Russell was there, everybody was there. I believe those guys that were swallowing fufu and drinking or soda were pretending to her. So I saw a lot of them put, adding a lot of pepper because she mashed the pepper on the side. When you put the pepper, you don't know the taste of the soup, right? Because the pepper will be burning you. They added a lot of pepper. Your, your money now reached a two dollar ninety jar. Mm -hmm. We're talking well, for every that's they added, they added pepper and venison. So once you add venison and pepper to you, it's good. But some of all, I know how to cook. <laughs> when I look at it so straight, I give up. It's so the, 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 the soup eye alone. All the people you can see the people are oh white, God. white. That full the, the people you couldn't oh, even, full out. Full you couldn't even call the people your mouth because it was so, so white it. and hard. You know when the people are not done that all the skin come together, right? Pepe and the soup color, soup. the color supposed to change, pepe right? Soup. And and the pepper soup just glad. You know, for one piece of pepper, you couldn't find it in the soup. Somebody said that word, but that story can instant or muffle or something. I don't know what it was. I think they wanted to say yeah, it can, but that's fine. Robina and my sister. What's your sister name? Robina and who? They are two. Evita. 
Now a Peter man. The other one that whole day she, she bluffing. Salamatu. Salamatu, yeah, sorry. Whole day she bluffing and nothing. So know. so it was fun. It was really fun. Um being like we're all talking about. So you're a Robina picture. What were you guys? Terracotta. So hello. So Baker is the owner of Terracotta. It's a good spot. What you, what you terracotta? Yeah, you didn't we didn't make it when we went there for one spoon went to like you didn't go to terracotta. How you call it? Terracotta. Terracotta. Tell me you know that place. I'm I'm just here of that place for the first time, Doc. Oh, where, where is it? Where is it? It's in Cinco on it, uh not too far. I don't know how to what's what's people that it's in Cinco. Terracotta. Yes, terracotta. Rapina, please type in where, where is the terracotta near? That's where we, we are met Rapina at. It's a great place. Excellent food. The vibe is good. She has yeah, but I understand where the place is first. How you call it terracotta? Yeah, Rubina said terracotta. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What and where is, where is it located? Someone that says like Nigerian Nigerian Street. Street, exactly. Near Nigeria. And that was, was near, near Nigeria house. Yeah, you have no Who? Like address in our country. Who own it? Who own the place? Joe Baker. Zo, yeah, honey, so bigger. Very, very nice uh, woman. Uh, very so nice. is located in Congo Town. So, well, Nan Street, Congo Town, because where? I know Cong Nigeria House is in Congo Town. So, well, then, then you're right. Yeah. It is in Congo yeah. Town. If it's in Congo Town, then yeah. Is it a restaurant across the road? Yes, it is. Opposite it is. the the filling station, is it? I think yes, they, it's not quite paved. They yeah, paved okay, it's like, opposite. Not, not too. Is it, is it, it's opposite, opposite to the nice. Connex. Yeah, yes, Connex. So opposite Connex gas station. Oh, okay, okay. It's then I know the place. But I don't MBS know the It's right on the road, CEO. It's right on the road. Yes, it's somewhere where you can, you know, you yeah, can. Yeah, like, we'll be not going to sit down all day. Well, no, I, I, I wouldn't say that. That's not what I said. I know what she said. She said right now. She said she's there right now. I was running your aunt. That what she said. She's there right now. Oh, she just said she's there right now. Okay, but then I know I I met her. I met Rapina there, and I was happy to see her because you know Rapina and I, you know, grew up in Beaumont. I was a big big sister. Look at James, James. James, and what's the topic for today? You can get a chance to talk about that girl's more. <laughs> yeah, that man. That talk well, more. Look at Michael, Michael, Bobby, Boo. Nice place. So if you go to the Yes, if you're looking for somewhere to eat or order out or to just have a drink, they got some extra. Abraham had a uh, they had a root bottle, so Abraham tasted a root bottle, it was really good. You don't drink Stanton, so what you know. root bottle? they had king juice on it, authentic king juice, and something else, and, and roots for Liberia. And he said it was good. Uh, she has she had beer, you know, different drinks, and, and the music was really good in there, too. So you the root bottle, root bottle, bottle is what? We, we that gotta understand. I, I'll bring everything on to tell you. I, I know it got roots for Liberia, and it they put uh king juice or you can put vodka on it, but um, and it tastes good. Why, oh, yeah? why are you laughing? You know, I'm king juice. No, I'm laughing because Michael Bobby Boo, whenever he comes on the show, he doesn't call me any other name there. Then my baby Very team name. Yeah, so he's asking me if, I'm, if I don't know the place. The way he asked the question, that's what made me laugh. Yeah, I know the place, but I don't know the name. Yeah, I know the, the place, but I don't know the you go there. But let's so try to describe what the battle is to Stanton. Well, because the only thing I can think of, we got different authentic, like your roots on it, like cinnamon bar, different roots uh, the, that you can that, find. That liquor? Are you, yes, is that liquor? Alcohol. Oh, it's okay. Alcohol, yes. It's alcohol. Okay. Okay. But you drink it too? Yeah, they can drink it. You take a shot. You, it's you drink it? I, I didn't drink any, but I can taste it once in a while. Okay. You can clean your bag. I want somebody to say. Clean your bag. Yeah. yeah, so you can clean your bag. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know about this. Thing. I don't drink. You know? That's true. But it's it's uh it's authentic to me to Liberia and it's nice. Terracotta is a nice place to go to. So um, where is it you go after Terracotta? Where where is? Oh my God! I went to so many places. I was at uh the Calabash. Uh, the Calabash that the guys I say was owned by or uh, Thomas Dona. 
Yeah, you know, we'll you met you met Lester. What's his name? Lester, right? I think his name is Lester. I met him, but I I um. Yeah, he's one Lester of said was if Lester said Thomas and I own Calabash. He's the owner. I said, but well, whether your business, you own it, Thomas and I own it, somebody own it, I really don't care. And uh, what next again? So D Calabash. Really but like D Calabash, I like that. I like that. Um, the how you call it, Yoga Gary? No, not Yoga Gary. They are jacket. Oh, jacket. I like the jacket. The jacket is so nice. But the fish is the fish is not good. But the the mixture of the farion and everything was nice. Because but the fish, the maybe because the fish, the fish got a lot of boom in it. They got different chefs. You can order different kind of fish. You can order snapper. No, snapper. no, that, that cassava fish or that or snapper. How you call it? It got a lot of boom. One of the best person that fish a jacket well. That tangy. Tanji know how to fix a jacket, and she know how to fix it with the different small, small plenty, like uh, the small, small plenty, you call it, kill it with the plenty, or the big, big fish with flesh. Tanji know how to do that, to tell you the truth. Tanji know how to, and the chicken, that girl know how to fry chicken. Yeah, when Tanji put her finger in it, you must go crazy. I think Tanji can fix a jacket better than I think, I, think, I think for a side show, for a side show, you should be going to the various parts, you know, and be the critic. When you when you get your ratings, it's gonna go along. Yeah, you get a rating, but you put a finger in. <laughs> no, no, because I have eaten tangy at jacket. I have eaten the calabash at jacket. If you put tangy at jacket down mm -hmm. and you put the calabash at jacket down. Mm -hmm. Dikalaba will get two percent, Tanji will get another eight percent. <laughs> I got listen, I always keep it real. Tanji a jacket is the best in the Republic of Liberia. I challenge anybody. Mm -hmm. She can go and do her crazy talking, laughing yet and dead. But if she pull up, I don't know what other job we are told her. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I say, no man, no, 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 no. Let me get back. That was just a feeling. That was just a feeling. All it takes. Today, 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 I'm done. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Okay. Listen, but I will say to everybody, hmm? try Tanji a jacket. Beg her to do roasted fish. Beg Tanji. Hmm? I need whoever taught her how to face a thing that her man. What her man here again? That my old man for dead away. Amen. What Tanji man here again? Ruthie Dilan. Whoever taught Tanji, whether it was CDC time, they... <laughs> because you know, Joe, we can cook now. You know, Joe, we can cook. But Tanji know how to face a jacket. Seriously. Tanji know how to face. Listen, we were in Liberia, we went to Tanji restaurant and we went to the Calabash. If Tanji open a big restaurant, the Calabash will break down. And I love the music. I love the 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 the, the, the you know the water from something nice, you know. But when you talk about cooking, when you talk about the mixture of the spice and everything, damn it, I know what I know. Mm. That girl, she's a kid when it comes to cooking. Seriously, she know how to set the different. The different elements of spice. <laughs> no, 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 anybody just say kind and pour fish on fire and roast it. That girl went on the training that nobody would have ever. Well, what that the riches in Ronaldo? <laughs> but I'll tell you the truth, it is what it is. It is what it is. Tanji is she's a she she cook well. She know and that jacket and that that the special way she can do a roasted fish. Go ask Edwin Snow. 
Erosmo will tell you. When Tanji used to cook, hmm, and everybody came around to eat Tanji food. What time was that? And don't draw where election time, mm -hmm. the first one. 2200, whatever mm -hmm. it is. 2005, 2011, 2017, I get used mm -hmm. to sport, sport things. She needs to put everything together. But you know, seriously, you know, when you when you get the idea, you run with you run with cooking like nobody can stop you. And, and I think, and I think I, I I have not seen anybody, right, in Liberia that try to do restaurant business cook better than Tanji. Seriously. I have not seen it. But I heard that her birthday was yesterday or sometime this week. Happy birthday, Tanji. Whatever you are, happy belated birthday or happy birthday, whatever the case may be, we celebrate you. Uh, so what else, Diamond? What is on your mind, man? I'm looking at Charles Taylor picture, and I'm looking at Summer Kiddo picture, and somebody put also Prince Johnson picture. Why do you think they're doing that, though? A lot of reasons could come to mind. A lot well, of reasons. Oh, Joe, where travel today? Joe, I spoke to the Harvard School of something. Oh, that uh, via Zoom. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I heard. I was informed that he he addressed them virtually. Yeah. He didn't yeah, but can we person. can we get it? Can we can we find the the uh the clip or what he told I can, them uh, i can see if the clip is out by uh, no nah, it's not up again because what joe, what, what, the only picture what joe where told them was so, so nonsense so it's not yeah. up. let me see if i can i can upload the picture if you need to use it yeah, yeah upload the picture let you hear what joe where tell the people <laughs> joe where i get in low again All right, folks, we'll be starting the show early. You know, you understand that where we are today is one of the best days in our life. Don't be crazy, relax, have fun. An uh, easy Saturday. That's how we just want to easy like Sunday morning, but this is easy like Saturday. Uh, we want to discuss issue concerning Liberia. President Jose Yemabwaka uh, is in Bomi County. Uh, information reached that uh, this week coming up, he was sign the document sent to him and uh he will sign the document sent to him and uh, he will move ahead to put the law and economic crime court in in gear uh, i don't know how you feel about it but uh it is why it is you want to also no i i about to put it up i, I want to put up all these other sports one document but before we do that before we show joe we have picture though we showed this thing yesterday right that the richest yeah. thing Look, look at this. I won't give you the time because he wasn't on the show, right? What message you think UNICEF was sending yet? You're telling us that the road is bad. <laughs> the road that these counties have been neglected since heck was a pup. And, uh, you know, they're trying to tell us that this is how the people in Rangita, River G in Maryland, this is how they've been living for perhaps since 1847. And that's what they're trying to tell us, that we Liberians should do something about it, especially this government. They're trying to help us. They made an effort to get there to those counties. But uh, I can see that they're probably getting tired to put this kind of public announcement out there. Yeah, but my thing is, uh, you, you think, I, I try to understand this, though. It's on a serious note. Yeah. What's the message here? The message is the world is bad. Extremely bad. That's so, 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 what Richard said. Mm-hmm. 
So the road is bad. So, so your president, uh, Buckeye, President Buckeye said that part of it won't ride the plane, right? <laughs> no road, no cow gets stuck in the mud. I, I, I kind of this thing is how that more you think. Well, UNICEF is an international organization. They are not going to come out outrightly and uh, and meddle in our domestic affairs. So sending a a, a, a ciphered message is one thing, because if you if you read it, it says the what an incredible joint mission to the southeast counties of Liberia, Grand Gide, River G, and Maryland. Not easy roads for us, but an everyday reality for the people living there said Andy Brooks, UNICEF representative in Liberia. So the message is right there. It's clear that this is an everyday reality for the people. And if UNICEF and other international organizations will want to reach out to our people in other counties, and our, our constitution says the resources should be divided equally across the country so that everybody can benefit with these road conditions, how are the people within the Southeast going to benefit? How are they benefiting? They're struggling, they're isolated. So that's just the message right there that the, the, the road the road needs to be worked on and all of that. That's the message they send. Let me ask Augustine, welcome to the show, Augustine. Let's have some very serious show as we dive into the hundred days of part of the hundred days today. It's our conversation, the hundred days, part of it. By May 1st, we should have some results. Augustine, UNICEF, United Nation, UNICEF, posting this thing, Augustine. What, what, what message are they sending, Uncle Sam? I don't think they're sending a message so much as basically indicating that, I mean, there are serious challenges that, you know, that the country is facing in terms of road connectivity, you know, um, and basically, you know, uh, it, it means that Mr. Boycott, President Boycott should do the best he can. Uh, I know he cannot fulfill the 100 day plan of no car stock. But uh, if he started it um, and, and he makes some reasonable progress, I think Liberian people will, you know, will, 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 will cut him a slack. I really, I really think so. But uh, the roads are bad, Santa, and the roads have been bad for a long time. You know, even um, during the, uh, the Elling administration, we had Unmill there. And Unmill was responsible because they had troops in all 15 counties. They were responsible for fixing those roads. So there were, there were no problem with the elections. There were no problem with uh, food delivery because Ombil had heavy equipment on those roads. And since Ombil left, there has not been an adequate uh, uh, intervention in, in, in fixing those roads. So the Boyka administration has an opportunity. But let me just say this, standard. Look, the Boyka administration needs to be very clear that they need some external support. They need some external support. They need some external support because of the pressures that have been put upon the Burke administration. Number one, war and economic crime, and all the other deliverables that the international community look at as pivotal to the rebuilding of Liberia. I think Burke should go and call up for a mini donor conference to raise about a billion dollars to be invested in Liberia over the next five years. And you need to have the critical thinking people to do the concept document, to put the thing together. We need external support. We need a lot of external support. And this is an opportunity for us to, I mean, people will say, but we're going to be better. Of course, you need external support because if you say in Stanton that you inherited a disastrous economy, a disaster thing with drugs and everything, and because of the regional security implications and the global and geopolitical implications, you need to ask the international system for some sort of substantive support in rebuilding the country. And, 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 and that's the least they can do for us because the international system collaborated with all the previous administrations in bringing us to where we are. They did not uh, request accountability stance and they did not. They did, the monies that were spent in terms of project completions, they did not effective project completion, social and economic returns, those were not done. They are responsible. And we need to hold them accountable. Something in something in the economics and the, the UN system called aid effectiveness, the Busan Declaration, where it says that the monies that you put in a country, you must account for that money, and that money must be used to benefit the people. And if the monies do not benefit the people, you must take full responsibility. That's the international protocol. 
So the international system, they spend billions of dollars in Liberia, and they did not significantly improve the lives of the Liberian people. They must take full responsibility. If they have to redo it, they must do redo it because it is their responsibility. That money was spent in the name of Liberia. OECD, OECD money, 12 to $14 billion stamped on, spent in 12 years. Does Liberia look like a country where $14 billion was spent? They spent $500 million into agriculture. We can't feed ourselves. They spent over a billion dollars into electricity. You don't have adequate electricity. So the whole donor spending thing and donor contribution to Liberia, Boca has to be very strong with them and let them know that, listen, you have to create this mess with uh, previous regimes. Uh, I'm not going to take the uh, fall for this. You need to come to my aid. That's my position. Don't you think that President Boca should show something? show some commitment, show some seriousness, show that he's willing to, uh, you know, play hardball in, in this regard, to allow Bureau to get something. But what, what I mean, what, what, what are the commitments? Uh, so, what so, should Boca so, do? So, Stanton, Boca can walk and chew gum at the same time. A strong domestic agenda mobilizing domestic resource mobilization. That's important, right? Rule of law. And all of the things that I wanted to do, okay, in terms of the war economic crime code, okay, and those kind of things. But it is their responsibility, it is their responsibility to ensure that the monies that were spent in Liberia post-war, tens of billions of dollars have not amounted to any significant improvement in the lives of the people. And I hear Liberian people say, well, it is not a fault of the donors. It is a fault of the donors. Because if they were monitoring and evaluating and asking for accountability from the, from the administration that they were supporting to ensure that these monies were spent and spent in the proper way, Liberia would be where it is. But they used that money to feather their nest. The money was round trip, pay high price consultants. Then they did a lot of, you know, I mean, this, this, it's an incestual relationship between any administration and the donor community. They drink together, they eat together, they socialize together, and they spend that money together. And it doesn't, it, it, it's very bad. It is very ineffective in Liberia. And it's the responsibility of the, of the international community to make sure taxpayer dollars in OECD country, the United States, Japan, Europe, they have to make sure the money that is spent in that country goes deep down to improve the lives of ordinary people. It should not just be improving the lives of bureaucrats and the social, economic, and political elite. That's my point. Before we bring in Dr. Richardson, do you think, let's talk about the role, let's focus on public work. We received some document uh, from public work, and I'm trying to compare it, Dr. Richardson, because we have to talk about this issue that they are giving money out, contract, one year contract to this company, another two years contract to this company. Say, so go ahead and do the roles, Grand Jeter, the roles, the LOFA, the role here and there. But Uncle Sam, yes, my issue though, the money they are giving to those companies, what I have in my possession, right? What they are distributing, the contract they are signing, those are the same people that face those same old role that got, got us here. Those are the same people that have an incomplete project. They have been rolled over from the George Bannerwe administration to the Jose Yeman Buaka administration, Uncle Sam. And the money, and the money, the distribution of the money is in question. So I want to reach out to Roden Giddens and say, what's going on? Nothing has changed. Let me tell you the background, the Stanton. Talk let to me. me. Listen to me, Stanton. In 2014, when I went to work as economic advisor at the Ministry of Finance and Development Planning, there was over $114 million, $114 million that have been paid to these same people, Stanton, in something called authorization to proceed. So when the government decides to build a road, eh, because they wanted to do things for for the election of 2011, the ministers there, officials there, they were writing letters to these companies, okay, telling them that we're giving you a contract for so much amount of money. 
And these same companies, Stanton, they will go to Echo Bank, they will go to the banks there and get the money as loans. It came to a time where the money reached about $115 million. They, 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 they couldn't pay, and it was a big drag on the government debt payment. We had to do everything to assuage that by going to the banks and working out a payment scheme. This is the same thing that is happening again. These people more than likely didn't go to the people. Well, let me ask you a question. So let that take our time because I know that we're going to enjoy ourselves today. Uncle Sam, why are we walking the same old walk? Because dealing, same with the old same old, dealing with the same old folks. Because the same old people are there. Roland Gavin with them is a very good friend of mine. I like him a whole lot. And and the and the the the, the structure of, of public works, the engineers, and the business, the people who, who do the work, the same old people. And in order to change that, you must do a complete cleaning of the Ministry of Public Works. That is one of the most corrupt uh, ministries in the Republic of Liberia with a budget about 50, 60 million dollars. The reason why Ellen Johnson Salib sent Willis Nuggets there in 2006 because she wanted to control that 60 to 70 million dollar of reconstruction money. They always send political cronies there when it should be sending a top notch engineer. Roland Gettys, I mean, I like him, he's a brilliant young man, but he's not an engineer. He can't do proper oversight. I, 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 we, we're gonna we're gonna talk whether he's an engineer or, or, or not. He's you know he's a friend. We, I know him. I mean, I, mean, but, I, I like the guy. guy. I like well, the guy. That's what say. Well, well, when, this, when, this, when folks were running this campaign, right? Mm -hmm. and Josh, we have the massive looting from National Growth Fund and that of uh, the public work on on Cooker, and, you know, uh, Collins. You understand that it, it was like a cartel operation. We have the BMC, we have the SS, what's it called, the SSK or SSF. SSF, we have, SSF. We have all these different companies, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. that looted the system, the allegation that they walk away with millions of dollars. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You have document, right? And just to find out, these are the same people mm -hmm. that Roland Guinness decided to deal with, the explanation that, but we don't have anybody else, but we have to deal with them to deal with the 100 days project. So everybody have gotten a contract. Yeah. So go ahead, do this, we'll pay you. Yeah. Dr. Richard said, are we going back? Are we walking? You know, are we, what's going on with the mindset of the politics that brought us to power? We are stuck and we are not making any changes at all. Uh, you know, cronyism has been our problem. The patronage system has been our problem. It's criticizing when we take friends, like Samuel Jackson is talking about, and putting them in positions to collect the donor money. That's what your friends, your family, you put them in these high power positions, which has always been the case in Liberia. And the patronage system is just like, you know, putting people as our friends, patronizing us, people who want to say yes to what we want them to say yes to, if that's giving us billions of dollars. And writing false papers to the donors, uh, saying that they're doing a job, that's what we've been doing for years. Now, I disagree with um, uh, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam said it's Liberian, Liber uh, it's the donor's fault. The donors have to check to see how money is being spent in Liberia. It's Liberian's fault. It is for years, Uncle Sam. This is what we've been doing. You know this. When Tobot came into town, we were we 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 increased our economic debt to the world. All right. We have not settled that. We have not worked on decreasing that. We had a crony system. You you know the history of our country of, of all of us on this panel, uh, Uncle Uncle Sam. You know this. You know how who was in government during uh, the Tobo and the Tutman era, you know, ranging from who was minister of, of, of finance to ranging was who was pro temp in in uh, ab tober was pro them in the legislature at that time all right so liberia needs to get the mindset in gear we need to start looking up for our own country we cannot expect the donor countries to be responsible for evaluating whether we get good roles or not these people are not there they're there to make money to a certain extent the world bank you know is a is 
it's not there to it's not a charity organization or a church or anything like that is there they, they, they get money and they, they, they divide it in our country we need to change our mindset about the way that we welcome these people in our country and the way that we monitor how what how they conduct business in our country that's it plain plain bank bank period we've been too stuck in the shot business in patronage patronism business in the patronage system too stuck until we change that's where we'll be uncle sam Thank you very much. Let me let me say this. Let me say this. I'm going to, you know, the first document we show about public work. We got a lot of different documents. Welcome to the show, obviously. Let's just understand what we are, because this is part of the hundred days, right? The president said in hundred days there will be no car, there will be no car. They will they will not be stuck in the mud, okay? Uh, but the terrain, and, and I think Roland Gaining should be very clear. I said, I said, where this no car going to be stuck at? Labra is a big place. If you say no car will be stuck, then you have the UNICEF folks traveling and seeing something like this. Look at that. We don't know which one of the road is this. And seeing something like this, all right? And coming up with their own pictures and saying, listen, here we are. Look at this, a convoy of UNICEF vehicle. And look at this one, UNICEF Liberia, and they're writing on such, uh, you know, and, and people are going to say, but then what's going on? Where are we as a people? Where is Warren Guinness? So while we were speaking, they said they are working. They want to meet the 100 days. But the 100 days cover where? From where to where? The 100 days cover where? Number one. Well, my argument here, for the guy. Roland Guinness, public work, as good as he is, is he walking back into the companies that brought that brought to her name? People that George Madden we are dealt with, the Madam said it dealt with, and say we are stuck. Those people saying that you gave us contract, but you didn't give us money, so we did an incomplete work. Okay. Roland Guinness received 1.9 million, almost 200 million from the 112. He received that money. Bama Kamara, fine, he they received that money. National Road Fund calling people to say, can't do assurance, and you know, can't do quality, it's nonsense, they call that. They are spending money. We are in real season now, we are getting there. If you fix roll like this, let me show you all the video, then we can do the round. If you go ahead and say we're going to repair the road like this, Uncle Sam, how long will this road last on a, a mighty heavy rain season? Not even in a week. Is that how long you think this would be? I see, let's listen to this video. And I will share some documents with you guys that I have in my possession. And it's getting scary from every ministry, every entity, that the people are going back. Dealing with the same old folks, thinking that we will as we will get a miracle, thinking that this thing will be fixed. Dealing with the same BMC, the same SSF, the same different company that that have taken a lot of money. Uh, the room will be better in less than three months. Good, thank in you. Less than three months. Uh, wow. This is it. Road construction work. In road maintenance work is ongoing. I heard on the radio. Wow. I heard on the radio. So we can we can we can safely be hopeful that we can go through. Oh my god, look at this. This guy is working. Ooh, wow. And these guys are working. Now look at the road. These guys are working. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is actionable. Wow. <laughs> the signature is dropping on the roof. Hey, come on. Hey, baby. You can't get out of the one. Sir. Bro, I'm going to go. Okay. I want to get the yellow machine. Okay. I don't know who doing that video. It was sent to me by one of the lawmakers. I'm not going to call their name. It was sent to me by one of the lawmakers. They are celebrating and say in three weeks, the yellow machine on the ground. This is the Lofa Highway on the almighty wind. What's the plan? What's the way forward? If you tell me that you are working, the roads are good, 
Fadiga talked to me. I have another video and I have some documents I want to share with folks tonight. I am not convinced. It's not about me. I am talking about do we have some elements that try to play games that in 100 days we will be here? Because 100 days now is less than 30 days, though. Fadiga, talk to me. Stanton, it depends on what you expect. We have to be reasonable. We have to be fair to this administration. Uh, this administration inherited a very broken and divided country. Uh, we still have a budget that have not been passed. We still have a lot of hurdle in the way. A hundred days doesn't mean that Liberia will be will turn to the original Miami. Now, let's be realistic and let's be very practical. Uh, uh, my pop uh, Samuel Jackson, even though everybody's already oh, right, they coming, already right, coming. Liberia is almost home right and what 77. Well, I don't even know the age of them. The, the, the problems that we took hundred over a, 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 a century plus going to two centuries to create cannot be solved in hundred days. That is a fact. Uh, the president said that in 100 days, no targets. He didn't say, uh, I will pave all the rules, I will do all the things. No, he, he's very smart. He, he understands what he's saying. Uh, when we achieve this goal, we still have three weeks to go. But even if we do not accomplish this in 100 days, realistically, nobody expects all rules to be paved in Liberia in 100 days. That is where, are the rules, where are the rules we are talking about that you think the president was referring to? They, where are the rules you think? Well, let me ask you now, Fadiga. Where are the rules you think Roland, or Roland Guinness is aiming at? Now, then I'll ask you the next question. Why are we going back to the same old guys that destroy uh, our, our, our country when you talk about the company that you gave contrast to? Talk to me. So... It's not going to be Grand Basel Highway. It's not going to be the Nima Highway. Those are already paid. There are certain rules. I do not know the exact rules. Okay, but, uh, so you there don't are know. Rules. Hold on. There are several rules here that needs some improvement and in, 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 in paving. Uh, the president is doing his best to make that happen. We still have three weeks to go. If that doesn't happen in three weeks, I'm expecting this administration to come to the library and people say, and say that it didn't happen. We did what we could at that time, given the amount that we have. And we will continue to do it. Judge this government after six years. Or at least give us a year to six months or, 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 or two, three years. And then you can have reasonable information. Uh, you know, but what data, Mr. Jackson, what data do you have right now to, to judge this government? We don't. The president, the president can take a, 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 almost a year to form his government. That is someone that is being very cautious. Someone that is trying to dot his eye and cross his T to have a dream team. If you want to measure the government based on that, so be it. But I'd rather uh, turn on the, 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 the side of caution than to be rushing, rushing, rushing. It's a horror, horror, boss the, the The president has said that 100 days, the ministry are working with after the 100 days. We still have three weeks to go. After those were ready, then we'll sit down here and we'll grade this government. And tell so, you are, so your argument, so your argument will more wait for the last three weeks. I mean, the Tiffany, the, 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 you have you seen injuries time? Oh, things are Fadiga. happening. No, I, I want us to stay to our Fadiga, let's talk about rule. I want to talk about everything else, please. No, you guys make it to that that the, the, the success or failure of this administration uh, lies in 100 days. And that is practically insane for anyone to be, be uh, to, to believe that. In 100 Fadiga, days... We, we are not saying... Fadiga, you know you are wrong. We are not, not saying wrong. the success or failure lies in 100 days. You know you are no, damn I wrong. Have, I have, I have the, the hey, you know. And the actual door of the world trying to turn this thing. No, no, no. You were trying to pull this. And he said, they're looking for gotcha movement. We do not need gotcha movement. Fadiga, Fadiga, if you continue this argument, right, if we, will, if we should be going back every day and say, Samuel Jackson, your sedition, I said, do your sedition. We will not do justice to the but government. We, fight. we will not do justice to the government. The government will fight to bring in power. I am asking you a question. And thank God you say you don't know. So let me go to Mr. Jackson. Mr. No, no, Jackson. No, 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 no. Oh, brother. Yeah. Well, you finish now. No, you finish. Let me go to no, Mr. Jackson. Ask a specific question, and I just told you that we still have three more weeks. And the president 
given what we have right now, is we hurt you. You see, we you see it. It. So let me go to Mr. Jackson now. You saw that Mr. Jackson. They are they are cleaning the road. After so that, can, I, so can I go to can I go to Mr. Jackson let me, now? Let, let me end on this. In, in this, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say this. Uh, the government, I'm not the official spokesman for the government, but I'm going to say this, and I want to tell this government that we work diligently to bring to power. That if after the seven days, if we do not meet all with expectation or with target to do what we're supposed to do, uh, everything in the 100 days, I want us to come back and be honest to the Liberian people and tell them exactly what? the same. So again, you're making my point. I would say, let's take part in all of this thing. I don't care today if you're a sedition. I don't care if Madika is a from, from unity party. Let's talk about Liberia as a country. Our president, my own Uncle Joe, President Joseph Yemabwaka, said 100 days, no car will be stuck in a mart. I didn't say it. Which is to say, they will try to do all the rules. I got some fundamental issues, Uncle said. Helping up, be very simple if you can. One, we are going back to the same old good guys that in construction businesses, right? We have given a contract. We sign a contract with them and say, go to the bank, get the money, face this thing, we'll pay you later. Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam, what you saw in that video, if it was a heavy rain, would that really last more than a week? Okay, so, so Stanton, I agree with uh, my brother, my Basa brother, Fadiga, that we cannot basically judge this government based upon the 100 days. Clearly, we can't. Okay? But here are some things that you need to look at the foundation. The foundation of where you're going. You're building a foundation, right? You came to power on something called a change mantra, right? Where you say everything that Joanna was doing was bad. You now change. Rescue. Let me finish now. Rescue hey, mantra. No, I don't want to correct you. I think no, you must correct me. Finish when, when I finish talking, you can correct me. I beg you. All right, I'm sorry. Take take some notes, okay? So, and I would name several things that you say you are going to change. They are so easy to change that you haven't changed. Okay, the same old group of people in their relationship with previous public work ministers that brought you to a grinding halt. In your road, in your road network, those are the same companies you gave in through so uh, uh, what do you call it? Is that non-competitive contracts too? You will get the same results. That's number one. Number two, what you're doing is patchwork. It's understand. But when the rain comes, like Stanton said, we'll revert. Look at some things that you talk about. You want to change CTN, CTN. You beat us up on, on CTN. But I know that CTN will not be changed. You beat us up on Metech. They put that talk took over from 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 from. We're going to get to the left field where they wrote the what I'm saying. So they're I'm going to tell be you here. the changes that you say you are going to make, and the low hanging fruits right in front of you for you to change. The low hanging fruits, though, just to make the process competitive and bring in. Some Liberians, let them join with some international people and build those roles and put some polymer, polymer, polymer. We're hiding the dirt. We're hiding the dirt and we'll make it difficult for the rain to wash away the road. You are not doing that. All you're doing, you're pressuring the road. The same thing Ellen did, the same thing Julia did, the same thing Julie Bryant did. You cannot do the same thing that other people did and you say you're coming to change things. That is my issue. And SSF, BMC, those are the people that are going to lead you to the change in the 21st century to build the kind of quality of roles for you to reach your agenda. Father, you're not listening. You're not listening. That, you're not listening. You're listening. The people listen to you. Talk your talk. Obviously. Yeah, so, so, so basically, it, you came to change things. You came to change things. So SSF should not be on your list. BMC should not be on your list. All the other companies there that did give you this great luck in your road, in your in your in your transport network system. Okay. Those people that got 114, 150 million dollars in simple letters, they took the banks and they got money in 2014. 
that the same people you're using to build this 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 so-called hundred day project what credibility do you have what quality assurance do you have how do you know it's not going to be business as usual you had the opportunity to do it differently you didn't do it differently so there was no change and you have not changed anything fundamentally since you came to power nothing nothing you've changed fundamentally you could have changed something with just one executive order or just won't change your policy you haven't changed one thing yet one thing that will have a critical impact on the people of Liberia. they are waiting for you to do that and i'm not beating you up, up on you because of results i'm beating you up on your commencement where you start in your starting point your foundation that's why i'm beating you up on Thank you. Uh, Dr. Richard say I want to upload this for talk to us. My frustration now. Let the, well, let's say for the that. This thing will be fixed. But you know what I said? I will say this to you, and Dr. Richardson will speak, then you can come in. I think people are playing games and I, they are playing a very early games. To be frank with you, you know me, Fadiga. We are friends, man. You're my one of my my good old friends. I have around you. But to tell you the truth. Labria above it all. Dr. Richard said, I am concerned. How can we go back to the SF, SSF? How can Roland Guinness say it's okay to deal with them? I understand he dealt with them before on a Madam Salif government. Right, Uncle Sam? I see you shaking your head. Yeah, 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 he did. He did. And, yeah. and, and I understand that it's some kind of game over here. Seriously, I'm not accusing him. But it's some kind of game. Dr. Richardson, look at this chart. And I have other documents to show you. Now, let's talk about the summary sheet. Chico, Saraya, Gwajima. Engineer estimate 3.4. Let's look at all of this. SSF. How many times you see SSF here? One, two, three, four, four times. Bigger Enterprise. Chico, Chico. That's the first thing. We're going to go through it. Dr. Richard said, these people, guys, these people from Charlie Town, they've been taking millions of dollars. They have never delivered. Look at East International. We told we to have a public work minister that would challenge those people. Go through the National Road Fund document. See how many times you will not see the SSF and the BMC and all of them. How many times? The first thing is to go call them. The people call them and say, it's okay, you're kind and give us something, you'll go ahead, you'll take some money. What is happening with our people, Dr. Richards? Let's keep it simple now. What is happening with our people? What's going on? I know in three months we cannot solve all of Liberia problem. But your political leader, Alexander Cummings, who arrived in Liberia today, always called this. You cannot do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. It's insanity. And that's one of his best lines. Madam Selita, it was done. Zero. Joweata, it was done. We beat on Joweata. Zero. Then Roland Giddens is taking us there again. That swear on us. Talk to me. Dr. Richardson. Stenta, I'm, I'm with you and Hussein on this one. Um, for the life of me, I'm struggling to understand why are we using these companies that were used before and didn't yield significant results, especially compared to the amount of money that they were given. What? Why are we in a rush? You know, why is it that we can't gather a group of smart Liberians together, uh, have a workshop about how important it is for us to build our own country as opposed to, you know, giving uh, these contracts to these uh, other uh, companies that maybe not even keeping the money in Liberia. So for the life of me, I'm not getting it. I'm not understanding. I don't know why. He, I guess his, his, his comment to, I heard you say something about he couldn't find anybody else, and these people are the people that they've been using before. To me, that's not innovative at all. I mean, to fix Liberia, we need bring, to brainstorm new ideas. We need to be able to come think outside of the box. 
if we need to find a way that we cannot use the same of people who got us into this problem uh, that we have it. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in for spending a little bit more time trying to figure out how do we go from here, not just rushing to please people with their hundred day plans and all of those things. I'm not, I'm not, you know, focusing on the hundred day plan. I want something done right, uh, sustainable and body librarian people. So Fadiga, let's hear you out. Let's hear you out, Fadiga. And uh, while we hear you out, Fadiga, let me read this letter. It will, it will help the conversation tonight because, you know, we set this day aside to talk about 100 days, part of it, if it's not all. Welcome to the show, as if October. Let me read this, my dear brother Fadika. Auguste, Minister of Finance and Development Planning. This was sent March 12th, a little over a month. Dear Honorable Johnson, Roger Scott Johnson, Executive Director of Public Procurement and Concession Commission which is the PPCC. I am pleased. This letter was written by Tenen Bronson, right? She said, I am pleased to present my compliments and yet we've confirmed that 22 million dollars and the rest of them change you can to the 22 million, 389,595 United States dollars. Look at that amount and 13 cents has been allocated in the draft national budget for the 100 days deliverables to be executed by the Ministry of Public Work. Uncle Sam, 22 million and change. Have this Seven been thousand, this but, but, Excuse me now, excuse me. No, no, you, no, no, you, I, I, will come, I will come I will come. back to you. Who are your houses? We got a long day here. 22 million have been set aside, right? 22 million have been set aside. All of the 22 million, they have already set aside $2 million dollars within the 112. They gave public worth $2 million. And as I share this document and many other documents, the minister said, you know what? I'm going to engage folks. Senators got angry. Oh, you cannot engage folks right now because we have not passed the budget. My question is, why are we going back to the same old guys? We got money sitting down. They have been, they're awarding contracts to folks that have never completed the first contract they gave them since Charlie King Town. We can name them. Contract from Bummy County, from Cape Man, contract from all over. They have never ever complete their contract and here we are giving them new contracts, adding money to money and these people are not doing the job they're supposed to do. That's the frustration. That's what we're coming in. Where's the change, Fadika? Are you supporting that it should go back to the old people? It's international, the road is not complete yet. And the same old people, you're giving them more contracts upon contracts. What's the change, Fadika? Uh, I'm not too familiar with, with, with those companies, but let me say this. Uh, uh, as someone that has been you know, poking around these, uh, the, the, the awarding of contracts within government, uh, there are certain things, certain documents, certain uh, 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 things you need to have before you are awarded a contract. Even in the U.S., yeah. there are certain contracts, big companies that have been around will usually get because they have everything. They have the, the, the infrastructure, they have the tools, they have all the rightful documents to, to win those contracts. It happens in America. We have seen that. I do not want to speak for those companies because I too have some concern. But before we get into that, let me address some of uh, 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 the issues that, 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 that Mr. Jackson uh, uh, raised. The first thing he said, oh, you have not done nothing. What is the change? Mr. Jackson, we did not run on change. This government came to rescue Liberia. There's a difference between rescue and change. I don't waste our time, man. No, no, you no, come no, to the old man, the old man said, okay, I agree with you, we'll move on. Then no, you come to the old man. No, no, I'm coming. What's the change? Change? No, no, no. I don't our time, man. Turn on the issue, my man. No. The, 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 issue, the issue, I don't care about those companies. We, 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 until they are awarded those contracts, I've not seen that they are awarded the, the contract yet. 
Are you kidding me? They're one of the contracts. You are, don't do this to us, man. No, stop it. Yeah. If they don't delay, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Have... you in the chat room. I put all this argument in the chat room. I'm saying I want to No, 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 a pessimist on this show. That's why you say uh, 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 all day. day. Facts, all day, you were saying. Uh, 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 uh. Look, the facts will, 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 will derive my thought. But what I wanted to say, you mentioned CTN and you mentioned other things again. Sam, Sam, let me say this one thing. I've heard you say this a lot, even in the chat room. Look, Mr. Jackson, we have to be very honest to our own people. This poor can we, can we feel a public way before you go to CTN and Meta? Because we're talking about them. If you got nothing to say about the public work and what is happening, then sit back. I have we nothing to say. Oh, we got a whole and MedTech. Uh, uh, eh? We got a whole story coming up on CTN and MedTech. Can you wait for a small? All right. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. No, I just wanted to dispel some of those things and, and, and trash it before they even, they even get out there. But uh, uh, Stenton, I am not going to speak on, 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 on this issue. <laughs> We cannot, we cannot show our, our, our problem in search of a solution. Until it becomes a problem, I'm not going to be talking solution and what happened, what could have, what didn't happen. No. Thank you very much, Fadiga. So therefore, Fadiga, I got nothing to say in this regard because as it was talk about Junior, we are showing documents and we are sharing documents here. Everybody's saying it clearly. It's not something that I printed out. It's something from these ministries. They have awarded them the contract. They have asked them to take um, some kind of terms they have for it. Maybe Uncle Sir will help us. They say go ahead and get money from the bank, start facing the road. The argument people are making that only one company in the country called BMC or SSF that have all the machines. Exactly. I say, I, I say vibe, you get something plain from your bag, my brother. I say. Uh, all right, let's take him off. He's not paying attention. Colonel Gray, welcome to the show. We'll talk about. Russell, Russell is coming on. Conor Gray, we have shared this document. These people getting money. But my concern within this process, Conor Gray, from my Ellen Town to George, we are town. The same people that owe the country when you talk about construction, they always were incomplete work that the same people who found ourselves dealing with, Conor Gray. Help me out. Well, um, I just made it home, and uh, hopefully maybe... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm, I may not be here for the entire duration of the show, but um, um, you know, I was out there and I saw what Russell did. Um, I wait for him to come on so he can talk, but I think uh, he rallied the troop, as you say. Uh, in my opinion, he won the day, but I'll leave that for him to come and talk. Thank you. Um, so you know, government is kind of know it. Is. We we'll always say that. Um, what are the changes that have been made? Today we have a, a public procurement concession commission that works. That sector was dormant. So in other words, before a contract is awarded, today we have a platform to qualify people who uh, compete for for the contract. And governments can't know it. Let's not forget that prior to this day, contracts were awarded to some of the same company and and the, the contract demanded specific performance and they are not performed. Everything was stabled. Matter of fact, we use it on this platform to say, George Weir will showcase some of those, um, those, those moments to enhance his own presence uh, in the eyes of the voters. Um, maybe those people were waiting for a certain amount of money to be awarded to them before they can execute the contract. These are not strangers. These are people who have won bid, who have won the last regime before coming in, and now they just needed to perform for the same purpose they were, they were contracted or hired. Now, if those people are doing the job now, how can you how can you befault them um, or falter them because you think 
and they are the same faces that um, were transferred over from the from the old regime. They have a contract. Let's see whether any new contract has been awarded to them. If you have it, yes, Colonel Gray, we are talking yeah. about new contract. We are not talking about continuing contract. Hey, 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 brother, please. I'm not seeing any in the All right, all right, all right, please. All right. Let's say, Gray, let me set it straight, all right? Because I know when you're ready to defend your other, you're, you're not hearing too well. The contract out is awarded to them, Colonel Gray. It's not your we are contract. These are contract that were awarded to them under this government. So again, I'm uploading everything. I will put it in the chat room. We had a discussion before, and I shared a document with you guys before. I'm surprised you're acting like it's new no, conversation. No, it's not that we're acting on the way. You see, you see, Fadiga laughing. We're well, afraid of Fadiga It's not that we're acting on the way. Me, me in particular, I'm just saying that. Tell me that the process for which this contract were were awarded, um, the the. The, the 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 processes leading to the, the the this contract being awarded to the same individual tell me that process um or those processes have not changed what was missing was this anti graph agencies that were dormant where people were being awarded contract without competing for it tell me that process um um, remains the same. I will tell you no. Today we have a functional PPCC. We will have other other means to which contracts are awarded to people um, through an open bid system. Um, Samuel Jackson knows about that. I was in Liberia when Samuel Jackson was was uh, championing the cause of um, Elenito that they did not even have the first money to even bid for contract. We sort of gave them that that opportunity, and today they, they they were awarded a contract. Tell me that process remains the same. Then we'll have an argument. But if somebody, it, it, it doesn't mean that because somebody was awarded contract yesterday, they, they lost their right from gaining contract today. If the system has changed, if the system is 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 straightforward, it's going according to law. I don't see why we should be arguing. Um, it's not because um um. Stent on one contract yesterday in a bad system. You fast forward in a system that is regularized, and that same individual, you know, wins contract today. Then you falter him because he was wrong yesterday, so therefore he's wrong today. I I will argue with you otherwise that that process has changed. Today, if you win contract, you win it because the bid was fair. It was not a sweet out deal because somebody is closer to. Let the me market. ask you a question, Colonel Gray, uh, and and I understand. Where you coming from, and this will be a very difficult thing for you guys, because we have to be transparent, and we have to be fair. And I please, I beg you, just listen to my question. Three months ago, six months ago, or a year ago, we used the SSF. We used all of them. You did nothing. Millions of dollars went to them. We discussed this on this show. All right. Everything that you are seeing is under the Joseph Yuma Buaka government. What we are showing you today, it got nothing to do with George Manawea six years. All right? The BK Enterprise, the SSF, and the Chico, all of them, they are here. The document that you see here, Colonel Gray and Alpha Dika, it said March 12, 2024. It did. The money has been allocated $1.9 million, right? Stand on, that's Almost. a lot of let me finish. No, 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 let me finish. No, no, let me finish. I beg you. $1.9 million, almost $2 million. We are talking about this issue. So as if I is not into the show today, we'll bring him on when he's ready. So we are talking about this issue based on the fact that everything, you ask a question, whether it's under this government or the past government. That's why you say government is continuity. We understand. My argument is international were awarded to the same people incomplete. This road project that we are talking about, they were awarded to the same group under George Manor. We are incomplete. Must we still use them under this administration? No, uh, no, Central. Let me say this. I doubt if those contracts that were awarded 
to this same individual were performed as expected. But remember, when you have a contracting party and you fail to make the necessary payment, they will not perform. Fast forward to this government that is so bent on making sure that no cars, you know, uh, is stuck on the road within the first 100 days. They are making goodwill. They are making good the promises that the other, their, their predecessor reneged on. So as a result, tell me that these people are not building road. I mean, all of this. Uh, picture evidences, video evidences of people really fixing our road from Sanicole to Granji there, from all those roads that, that were that were stored because George Ware pocketed the money personally as opposed to paying them. Those goodwills are coming now into being. And so these people are going, they, they're back to work because they're getting paid. The ones that they could not get paid on. So go back and look at whether these are brand new contract or whether these are they're making payment on, on, on payments that Joe could not make before. That all these people needed was payment. Who are you talking about brand new contract making payment again? Who are you coming by with a round and say, Because you know, you're confusing the conversation here. So, 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 these are not contract from Josh Manor. We are. I want you to show me the whole contract. I'm sorry, I want you to show me the whole contract. Colonel Gray. Colonel Gray. I've got a woman in Uncle Sam. I've got a woman in Colonel Gray. Colonel Gray. Again, I'm sorry that you are too busy to follow what we do here on Spoon Baby. But these are not contract. These are not contract. That came from George Manor. We are please. It These are contracts. Contract. Hold, hold, contract. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because hold on, you please. want to start. Hold, 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 hold on one minute, please. Again, I will apologize to you that you are not following the conversation and you will not confuse us. When President Joseph Yima Baka took over, right? Everything changed. The contract are forced within the hundred days. I put the letter in the chat room, and maybe you don't want to read it, or you're reading it, and you don't want to talk about it. The letter said within the 100 days, the 100 days letter, okay? I will share the other document with you guys in this chat room. This letter came from Tenet Bromson on March 12, 2024. I cannot help you if you don't want to help yourself to understand it. But Uncle Sam, Sam Jackson, please come in. Let Uncle Sam come in. Let Uncle Sam come in. Tell me, Uncle Sam. Okay, so, so, so going to agree. And I don't know whether you know that when a letter of no objection is written, is written on a new contract, meaning that, first of all, appropriation from the legislature will inform what is to be spent in the budget year. So, when Tenet Bronson writes the PPCC, what she's writing is called a letter of no objection. It says we need to contract these people, okay? It is not to pay them all, it's just to contract them. That what a, that's what that letter is. It's a letter of no objection. So you're wrong, Colonel Gray. That is a brand new contract. Oh, not, great, no, he want to play game here, and I'm not here for it. Not, we know that not, very well. It's not anything. So, but listen. The general principle involved, ladies and gentlemen, let's just be very clear. Eh? You see substandard roads all over the country. Roads that have been deserted, roads that were not built up to specification, roads that were not built up to standard. But the same people, these people, since the Madame Salutam, post-war, reconstruction of Liberia has been handled by these people, Colonel Gray, the SSF, the BFC, and the, and the, and the Chico Den. The Chico Den. You say you come in and uh, my my learner brother, that fighting guy, won't not. I mean, you need to start to making it. noise and go back and trace the old contract that was done. Hold on, let me finish. 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 Don't interrupt him, please. Let Uncle Sam finish. Let Uncle Sam finish. Let Uncle Sam finish. Let Uncle Sam finish. Chill. Let Uncle Sam finish. Chill. Let Uncle Sam finish. Chill. Uncle Sam,
So my brother Fadiga wants to argue semantics, you know? Me, I don't know plenty of English, okay? But rescue and change. Rescue and change, as far as I'm concerned, they are interchangeable politically. You said you came to rescue us from the disastrous economy. You came to rescue us from the disastrous rule of law. You came to rescue us from deep poverty, okay? In order to do that, you got to change the way things were being done from the past. So don't come in this show, you can't tell me, say, we promise to rescue you all. We didn't say we wanted to change. I beg you, I hold your foot. I tell God to beg you, okay? <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and then we'll bring in Colonel Bray. You guys get something to say too. Well, I'll see you. Oh, I see you. So, Richard, say you want to go to after Fadika, please? She, she wanted to go? She can go. You want to go first after Richard, say? Yeah, she can go. Well, I mean, I appreciate we have a conversation, but, um, well, you know, um, I was going to, to just state if the Chico and these other companies that are repeatedly getting the same contract and we see that they are not doing uh, work that would be considered sustainable for Liberians or considered excellent for Liberians, then we need to we need to reconsider our method of how they are getting this contract, uh, these contracts. So maybe we need to ask them to be more inclusive of Liberians Maybe we need to put more Liberians in leadership because I I, I know that the reason why they continue to select them because it's it's a economic reasons basically. Um, I will tell you uh, just by recently being Liberia, I hear Liberians are telling me it's really hard for them to get loans for them to get money. So these companies like the Chico and the other you know uh, companies that are coming into the country, they come with finances. They come with. Uh, the ability to be able to buy their, their 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 machines and all of that stuff. So it's very difficult for Liberians to sort of get into that kind of market. However, though, I think that if we continue to do this, we are continue we will continue to make other people rich at the expense of Liberians. This is the system. This is what we have always done. So I believe that there could be some innovative approach to this contract selection. Uh, I think we need to start looking into ways that we can empower our own people. We need to be looking into ways that we can, maybe the government can subsidize our own like green company because they are competing with these other companies that, you know, that have the money. Uh, maybe we should be looking at them being in leadership uh, in, where then they can make more money and let the money trickle down. I mean, there's all these ways for it to continue to award the same contract to the same people who we know they have not done well for Liberia just because they have the, 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 the machines, just because they have the money. I, 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 I have a problem with that, honestly. I really do. Dr. Richardson, thank you. Uh, as if are you with us now, we're going to go to Colonel Gray, then we can well, continue. No, 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 I mean, if you now with us there, that's far we understand. Uh, you say you're going for us, Fatiga? Yeah, yeah, I, I should have gone actually. Yes. Okay. Look, uh, the first in the letter of no uh, objection. Uh, Stendon, uh, I know you like to you like to give half of the story. They they jab on the oh. but if you read the letter, actually, letter of no objection. I don't like to get half a story though. Let me just break it down. The letter of no objection for these companies were, were given just so that we meet the 100 day deliverable when it comes to work. But why are they giving letter of no objection to few companies? There are several reasons why the government want to give those letters. The track record. Look, I have a construction company. There are several things like the, the, the LRA task clearing, the public works uh, certification rate, registration, uh, the NICE code, all those different things. Before you go to the PPCC and then the equipment to get that uh, public work, you have to show that you have the equipment, that you can do the job and the track record. There aren't many companies in Liberia that can do the work. Even Liberian companies, one, they lack the financing or the equipment. These companies for such a short, quick impact project, that is why they've sent that letter of no objection for the time frame so that we can meet the 100-day deliverable. 
But for us to criticize the process, we're all even seeing that it has been delivered. Yes, that, that I agree with, 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 with Con agree that uh, because of, I mean, if, if, if we can prove which I do not have no proof of that these company renege against past contract and they are they are they are they are fraudulent or some other reason. Yes, we can disqualify them. But I'm sure the government did due diligence to those companies. Uh, they were carefully vetted. That's why they are not in a bigger pool. You see a small pool, so it's not just open to everybody. You were open to specific company because of the horror they deliverable. And it's, it was stated in the letter, and I pray that you share that letter. And I think that you are wrong. I think you are doing a disservice to the Liberian people on the show. You sat on the show, Fatika. You mm -hmm. sat on the show. When we were doing the election, right? Go, we would discuss each and every one of these companies, their failures and how much money was sent to them from public work and national road funds. One of which, one of which, we accused the minister, the allegation that the minister of public work Collins, Cooker, her husband had a company that received. No, 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 give me a chance. 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 Give these are companies that we expose. These are companies that we run behind and say, yes, they fill the Liberian people. How can we come back? How can we come back? And do business with it? And your excuse. Your excuse, you did you say, well, they don't have, you say, they you say, and these companies. You say, well, they don't have machines. Well, they don't have the logistics. Well, we don't have money. You know how long we've been giving those excuses? St. Charlie can turn. That's what I mean. We Liberians, we we are we are subordinate. We are of no and uh, no entity, no non entity to these people. Because whenever we come, we say, "Oh, our people don't get money, so let's find these people that get money." And when we empower them and give them money, guess what? They always do an incomplete work. Like so go in the chat room. Go in the chat room. Go in the chat room. I mean, have you? Because I've thrown it down worse. Eh, 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 listen, listen. Hold them responsible. Before you get a contract, why you didn't complete the first contract that was given to you? You got the document. It's at the ministry. Why would we give you contract on the same contract you already had? And it's not right, Fadika, that we play politics out of this. Not because it's a Jose Yema Barca government. It's a shame and disgrace. With this, this document I in our chat room, you always pull forever. You and myself fought on this thing. And you act like you don't know and say, maybe, maybe. You need to stop, brother. I uh, could agree. Come to us and then we go to. And, and those and are the companies that are capable of helping all meet our 100 days deliverable. And that's so, a company that destroyed our country, most of them. Senator, we when they destroy it in 100 days, we will speak about it. Center, one uh, thing we, well, Greg, please go ahead. One thing we did not do, uh, we did not bring most of those we were accused of uh, not performing the uh, the responsibility we posed on them, upon them by the way administration. You know, from my own observation, BK completed almost all the contracts that were awarded to him, both um, um, from the Salif administration running to George Weir. And I'm willing to bring some Ayala BK here on this, on this uh, platform. So, you know, so the accused can have a day in court, in this court of public opinion. Instead of us, you know, giving us, I agree with, with Padiga, they have to sometimes, you know, those, those of us who have done research, that's why they always tell you about incomplete thoughts. You don't go bring some haphazard research and then you dump it on us, then we'll make decision on that. That's not based on information or the whole information. So if you if you go back and look at this BK guy, I'll, I'll try to get him on this on this um on this platform. So these guys can come in and clarify exactly what qualified them to, to get additional contract 
if they, they could not complete the first one. That's an allegation. Until they prove us wrong or right, yes, you have a point. But you know, as far as I know, from what I'm looking, all the contracts that were awarded to these people, like I said, government, that's why, as Fadiga was talking about, certificate of, um, of good standing. Normally, if you want to award somebody, you know, in this place when, when we apply for grants or we apply for um, for any kind of um, loan, they look at your past performance on the loan. Even if you go to the bank right now, if you did not pay Mr. X, you renege on the payment, you know, that that probably limits your ability to even get for the loan. So if there's people, you want to tell me the process, that process for awarding contract has not changed, then I'll say, well, the um the Barker administration has done nothing. But you know what? Why are we judging the Barker administration that just landed less than three months ago as though they have been there six years? You know what? Sometimes I see some exactly Jackson, Samuel Jackson twisting all the vein on his neck to 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 say something yet. He wanna give the one that was there six years ago a pass. Somebody who has not even made 90 days in the in the arena, uh you holding her accountable. Look. There are so many things that were done that we have to 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 go by based on the past because you know what these things are legitimate contracts and I can tell you if it, if 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 it's left with the new administration most of these past people may not get something but government again is kind of new when when the old government signs certain things some extent you can review those contracts but you can't just abolish them because you are the new new sheriff in town that's not how it works. And and I believe, go back and bring BK. Those are the ones that are working on the roads now, going towards uh, Sunny Cole, uh, Nimba, and so on and so forth. Because these people have a past history that show they perform their duty. We have that 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 responsibility to bring them on and let them tell us what they did not do, even though they were awarded contract in the past. Can I add, Rami Gray? Thank you very much. Uh, I'll put some of the document in the chat room. I think you are looking at it, Ivan. If not, just take a quick look, okay? Uh, I have to go back and just squeeze all this document off to help my brother out, I'll say, UJ Fatika. We cannot play a game with the Liberian people. The work of us now is to force our government to do the right thing. I'm disappointed, I'm discouraged. On the fact that these same guys that complain every day that they will have the contract, that if the contract has been taken from Liberians, based on what Fadiga said, Liberians do not have the logistics, Liberians do not have the equipment, Liberians have no money, so therefore give it to the other group, and the other group just enriching well, themselves. The let, me, let, me finish, uh, let, me, let me finish. Hey, Fadiga, but I beg you, Fadiga, please, let me finish. Rewa is here. Rewa was written to Honorable Giddens. It's there. Fadiga, zoom in and read it. Okay? Respond to request for no objection to single souls. Single souls, though. I, I want you souls. to understand where I'm coming from with these documents. Single souls. I have all of them. These people, the contract were given to folks. These are people based on the allegations. They always do an incomplete work. They will jump from tree to tree and go only for the ripe uh, 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 mango or apple. And the work's always incomplete. Now we came to rescue. We're looking at them. And we have the minister of March 11, 2024, response to request for no objection, single souls. This for who? No, if I think I don't interrupt, we're going to ask if I on this one. Please meet yourself, take note. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, here we are talking about we were moving backward because you know why? These guys will put it under the rain and say the rain messed the road up. With less than three weeks to go, we are still in the same problem. All of the 112, public world were given two million dollars. And by the way, to let you know, this shouldn't have happened though, because this is not the budget to request folks to have a no objection single source, because the budget have not yet passed, to give contracts to those people. 
I have another document that will, that will shake you. It will put you in jogo jogo. We got to be fair. I think Roland Guinness is a good guy, but he shouldn't have issued up, investigated, and said, you know what? Let's take a new path. We are yet to rescue. Are you rescuing those companies? The SSF that have taken millions of dollars? Are you rescuing them? You got information at your disposal. I said, fire. That during the campaign time, they went to Cape Man. National Road Fund gave hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars to a bogus company. Josita Winter, we got a letter. I will share the letter with you. Cockers, her husband company, we got a document. Must you go back and use the same company? So are you that the PPCC? No, 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 no. This is when the internet can the internet can have technical problems with some people like you. You get technical problems. <laughs> The PPCC. As if I, as if I talk to us, that 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 chase more on this brother. Papa gave me fifteen no, seconds. I beg you. No, 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 no. It's not joke. No, 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 no. It's not joke. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not mental health. It's not mental health. We do yet. Mental health. That's where you you get your brain. We respect you on that. We touch you to the lab. Papa, will you give me fifteen seconds? Papa, Papa, if you get my fifteen seconds, your time will be over. I'll wait for my time. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Look. This, I mean, it's just incredible how we do each other. When do we empower Liberian businesses to be I'll a part you. of this real development I'll effort? You. I'll tell you. I Amen. mean, you know, I got I got to do the numbers, right? And I will put all these things on my own spreadsheet. Then it gives me a better chance to manipulate and analyze. But looking at this, 22 point something million. But in the... In the what do you call it, in the, in the um budget, the 100 day action plan, right? The amount they had there for public work, I don't know how it changed to 22 million because for the funded portion, the numbers were different. For public works, they have 15 million seven hundred forty eight thousand nine hundred sixty eight dollars, which was 67 percent of the allocation of 23 million four hundred eighty eight. Thousand five hundred forty-three dollars. So, how these things change? I don't understand them. You know, we really need the minister to come on here to explain to us the the rationale for you know just doing sole source to only these companies when we know some of these people have had atrocious performance in our you know infrastructure sector. So. I don't understand where we're going when we say we want to empower Liberians in this thing. I mean, are there no Liberian companies that can do some of this work? Are there no Liberian companies that you can even match? Let's say if we didn't even have the ability to do some. But sometimes you partner. They got subcontracting opportunities. They got set aside. And they happen not only in this country, in other countries where yes. minority companies or companies that got limitations in terms of the capability to raise capital to initiate a, a project or whatever can have that opportunity. And that's the only way they grow. They got so many different programs here with the Small Business Administration, um, with the different departments in the U.S. that allow small businesses, minority businesses, women-owned businesses to grow. When will we look at our disenfranchised business people in Liberia and say, look, these are the proactive things. These are the affirmative actions we take to involve you in this economic part. And it's just disappointing when we see stuff like this, the simo simo. And, and, and when I look at the list, I look at the spelling, are they making it to look like C R C O? C C O is different from C H R C O, or S S F is different from S F F? I mean, is this game, you know, so I don't know what they're trying to do. It's just it's disappointing, really disappointing. I hope the president and his cabinet can look at this. They can be a team to look at this and find a way how they involve. I mean, the entire WE administration, most of our Liberian contractors were crying. They made sometimes when they made a bid, supposedly they made it so restrictive. You had to show so much, you know, equipment or whatever for you to participate. That eliminates many of those small companies. So you got to find a way to allocate them to be part of this process. I have many friends in our sector. All day they complain, all day they complain, and they stay complaining today. I know some people who left here, 
with the companies to go back to Liberia because this new government was coming in. And now the disenfranchise with the first thing we should tell be you the what, focus to start to start the whole what's rotating in the economy. The money these people get not staying in Liberia, most of them the money going out. Most of these companies. So until we can have that mindset that we have to empower that whatever we have to do, we gotta say every percent of every contract gotta have local content. If we start in that direction, then we'll be moving forward to empower our librarians. Otherwise, librarians are disenfranchised. Their money will just keep going to these people. They'll be giving kickbacks to whoever is in power. And I mean, I don't know whether getting this early is taking kickbacks. There's been some accusations, but I don't know if it's true or not. But just looking at this with all real local content and some of the companies, the librarian companies we know not represented, and some of them have better solutions. I know some people with actual... Um, you know, road, whatever they use to, to pave the road and stuff like that, that are more durable and are even cheaper. So for them, not some of them not to be on the list, I'm wondering what is it that is stopping us from supporting our own? They say, when they say, we can't do business with librarian people because they will not give you the kind of bribe these Lebanese people or the other people will give you. So Stanton, man, this is disappointing, extremely disappointing to me. And, 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 I, will, and, I, will say, and I will say this to you though, uh, Dr. Richardson, while we come to you, uh, we got to point these things out. I don't think it's fair to say only one company can do all the work because they have all the logistics and have all the documents, have every, all the equipment. I don't think it's fair for us to push aside our fellow Liberian company, right? I don't think the bidding was done correctly. Trust me, we have the bidding paper. It will shock you. It will. It will. No, it was, there was no bidding. There was single source. There was no, no, exactly no, single source. No, no, there no, 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 If even you go do single source, right? And that's the argument. This, this, some of this coming West Africa Construction Incorporated. It's the same as SSF. The same guy. Oh, you kidding me? You know what? This, this is painful. That when you have some nonsense folks, then I will be telling you, say, they have some nonsense folks that I will be telling you, say, oh, it's still early. My frustration, don't deal with them. Let's investigate them. Where the first money went? You bear your role in Sony went? Where the money went at? An incomplete role. And you're going back to give these guys their money. Investigation must take place, Dr. Richard said. Where are we to these investigations? Because the they didn't complete, they didn't complete the roles. Show me the paper of the investigation. Show me the report. When show me the investigation time, document. Time, show we, the shouldn't, report. we shouldn't laugh and we shouldn't play around. Dr. Richard said, let me say this. I will stand to say these things because we need to say them. Those companies, most of them, they are 419 companies. They will take money, they will do what they have to do, and Jack will not come out of this road issue. We got about three weeks ago. They will take the yellow equipment, grade out the road, and call it a day. When the rain comes, they will say, oh yeah, that the rain spoiled the road, give us another contract, give us another no objection, single source. Folks, we had a Liberian guy that came here, he got a company. They were denied. They were pushed aside. I don't know if that a guy I'm gonna break talking about. They were pushed aside because you know why? They say you don't have the equipment. When are we going to empower our fellow Liberian companies? Well, well, is this what we fought for? Dr. Richardson, talk to let us. Let Dr. Richardson come in. She been quiet. Please Let's work with Fatima. So we know what the problem is in our country. It's always been, and I will say this again and again, it's about cronyism, it's about the patronage system, it's about our inability to manage the money that the donors have given us over the years. Over the years, this didn't just start today, uh, it started yesterday. So we know the problem. So since, because since we know the problem, that these contracts are awarded to people 
because they support us and because the people will gain money, the leaders will gain money from these contracts, okay? If we're looking at the contract as a way to empower our people, as everybody's saying, in today's world, the buzzword is diversity, inclusion, and equity. Go anywhere in the world. This is the words, these are the words that we are talking about. If our leaders can go on the table and argue about you know, including Liberians, okay, to make us equitable with the foreigners, all right, to, to have a diverse body of people looking at the rules, to even include a workshop for them to, to, to value the work that they do, you know, to value building Liberia because it is being built by Liberians. I think we'll go far, uh, a far way along. But if we continue, like I said, to give money to these outsiders, I hate to call them outside companies, uh, uh, even though they've been in Liberia for a while. But if we continue to give the money to them, we what do we expect? We expect them to take control over how the roads will be built. And this is why our country has not developed over the past 100 and something years. This is the, I, I bet you this is one of the reasons why our country remains as it is, you know, roads are not built, houses are not built, no zoning laws, uh, everything's all over the place. That's because the, the 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 people who are responsible for infrastructure, popular works, and the rest of the leaders in our country, we are outsourcing these responsibilities to other people who may not have vested interests in our country. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Richard. So I want to suggest something quick. Go ahead, Colonel Gray. Okay. We'll go to particular. Uh, the, the group BK Enterprise, Boakai Kali, is a bona fide Liberian. And if you peruse that list, uh, a third of it might be pure Liberian-owned companies. And let's do justice to some of these people. And, and Can get you name them some of them, Colonel Gray? I'm sorry? Name some of them. The, Labron the list is there. Yeah, just go and see them. No, no, no. You tell uh, me who the Labron so companies are. Peruse the list. No, 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 no. You, you can make your own judgment. No, but we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't know the companies. What do you mean by Peru's list? Well, I just we gave you one. BK tell Enterprise. Where, tell let's, us bring, let's, let's bring BK Enterprise. Let's bring Buckeye Kali. You understand? On the line, I got his number. I can give it to you. Yeah, okay, that's real. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one person. You understand? And Buckeye that. will come and share his experience, and then yes. we'll go down the list, and some of us will be able to, 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 to get some of these people. That's how you do research. We don't make one side judgment. You bring the culprit himself and let him tell you. I mean, his experience I mean doing business you give a percentage. Liberia. You say a third. There are nine companies. That mean, yeah. that mean three of them. A Liberian, that's what you're telling me. Or third, that's what one third. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll but give you one the first. three, need the three. I'll give you one first, and then I'll do my own due diligence. No, we already know BK. Need the three. Well, I'm trying to research BK Enterprise here the, I, I, on, on the internet or whatever. Where would I find the ownership? And so I can. But yeah, I, let's find a well, website I'm for not, the company. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to great fit in that. please. I, I don't. I just want to make sure. I don't want to make a mistake. I like to speak. I'm going to send you the BK document. I'll send it. I'll okay, put it in the chat. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. It. I'm not fronting for any of these people, but I'm just saying that to make judgment on somebody without giving them the, the ability to, to explain themselves on their experiences is unfair. It's not a truth that I will run with. I will hang on to it until I've heard from both sides. So I can, I can, uh, um, uh, Stanton, I can send you this guy's number, uh, and I can send you some of the people that, that are even attached to him. Some of this company, I, I have this number. I, I, I'm going back and forth with them already. I got it in my phone. Kind of exactly, brother. I, I know, you know, I'm just saying that it's unfair the way we render judgment without even hearing from the other side. It's unfair. That's not that's not the truth I want to represent. That's all I'm saying. Um, but I all know right, what I uh, 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 call it, if he's if he's on the line, he will tell you a different story. Doing business in a corrupt regime is extremely difficult. A lot of these people have spent their personal wealth trying to get contracts from Liberia, and they've done partially what they need to do, but they just have not met them halfway in terms of paying them. This is a new day where people are getting paid before they even start the job. So they're executing that. But, but they shouldn't get paid before they start the job. My brother. No. My brother, you, you are not the one negotiating those contracts. Contract. You don't it's have any say in those contracts. Contract. No. That's the law. 
Samuel, there's no law. The contract. Which law are you quoting? The PBCC law. The, 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 the public financial management no, law, not the PFM law. You have to pre-finance the public Okay, Samuel Jackson, let's yeah. like, get back to you, Colonel Gray. Thank you very much. We'll yeah, welcome well, our sister true. to the show. Colonel Gray, the public financial management. Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson, do not interrupt him, please. Let give him his time. Uh, Colonel Gray, are you done, sir? So I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, Stanton, let's do justice on some of these people. Bring them on the line so that they can explain themselves. We can verify the truth when it comes from the horse's mouth as opposed to us just making innuendos, conjectures, and running away with somebody who claimed to know the PCCC rule and probably have not even perused it, was not in the corridor, was not at the table to negotiate the terms of reference. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Hold on one minute. We got to, we, I beg you, Mr. Jackson, hold on one minute. This is not, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like frustrated a little bit today because all these documents, you can find them in our chat room, okay? Apparently, we are not being fair. All the documents, during the election season, we discuss all these things. For us to come back today, and I like we have never seen any of these documents. It's a problem. These, some of these same cats, we catch that in the own baby. I mean, Some of the same cats. Some of the I can't force you to remember. You remember today because I'm uploading them again. Some of the same cats have no interest in the country called Liberia. But you know what? As if I make a point, where are we going back to them? Where are we going back to them? I can tell you. Because uh, for digger, I'm begging for digger. Because we had a previous relationship with them. It's like, oh, fire trunk, not how to catch, right, Uncle Sam? You're 70 year old, you know that saying. Yeah. Oh, fire trunk, not how to catch. You did business with them before, it's easy to continue the business today. We got so many documents on public work. So many documents that after the three weeks that everybody calling for, it will surprise you that we will go back to status quo. Are we empowering our fellow Liberians as little as they have? Fatima, talk to us. Well, you don't want me to talk my time. No, 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 no. The Fatima time. No. The no, woman no, just no, came. No, the no, woman no. just came. The woman has not spoken. Ladies first. Oh, you want to read me for the second lady, time? Ladies first. Ladies first. I, I, I know. I'm a sister, Jim. I will let her yeah, talk. I, thank you. Fatima, Fatima talk to her. <laughs> Good evening to the panelists and to all of our viewers around the globe. Dr. Richard, say I got a, some. I got something for you. Somebody sent to me by accident, but it's yours. But anyway, um, I was listening to the um topics that you guys were having. I I think you know my take on this one. I believe totally in a Liberianization policy. I believe that Liberians should have, you know, control over, over their economy and their country. I believe that everything that we're doing in, in Liberia, we should offer a first to Liberians. As um, uh, Rwandans are building Rwanda, Liberians should build Liberia. That's how I believe. I believe that we have qualified people. We have people who are willing to put themselves on the line to make sure that Liberia is developed. We should give them the opportunity, I mean, to do so. So I'm all for that. Um, and I don't care how young the person is, how every, in every aspect of life, in every, uh, 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 career in life, there is a Liberian that is a professional that's able to do the job. So I believe that we should put our people first. Like we said, we want to think Liberia, we want to love Liberia and we want to build Liberia and building Liberia. I, I just believe that most of the young minds brilliant young minds should come together and build our country from the ground up. You cannot be any place else and build Liberia. We all need to come together and put, Liberia needs to put her citizens first and we build Liberia. Like I always say about the rice thing, you can't go to Lebanon and have Liberians ordering rice. So Lebanon, why shouldn't Liberians get their own rice, build their own farms, do their own thing, grow their own food, 
why can't it be Liberians first? So I'm all for that, and I'm I I believe that we should start looking in that direction. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's listen to Fadiga. Fadiga, what do you offer? Thank you so much. Uh, even though Stanton trying to silence me, but we'll still speak for our people. Uh, look, uh, the notion that I do agree with the Liberianization policy that Liberians should be involved. But let's be real, you know, let's forget the sentiment, let's forget about this, uh, probably I want to say temporary nationalism and look at the facts. I can tell you, I've been on the ground for a couple of months. I know multiple Liberian uh, construction companies. They may not have gotten a, what, the millions of dollar contract, but I got a lot, have, I've had a lot of contract with, with education ministry and several of the other ministries there through the World Bank project and different projects. But let me tell you something what I've gathered from, from a lot of the sources on the ground based on my own research. A lot of them tend to be dishonest. They have not, they do not finish their contract. One, some of those contracts they may not have the funding or the, the logistics to complete those, those contracts. Even in the US, it's happening. We see that happening. So uh, for people to feel that Liberia are, are being excluded, look, like one guy, he said, oh, the guy, they couldn't give the contract. The first thing, when I went to the, 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 to the, the business registry and got it something, they said, I needed a three-year financial statement. Uh, 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 you got to get the public West certificate of registration, the, the classification of certified system. There are a lot of things. I got a whole bunch of list of things that require me. If you don't read those requirements, but specifically to this or, or something, Stanton, what you did not say or why we didn't have that captured through all the conversation is that the public work wrote the PPCC. Why do we have the PPCC? The PPCC investigated those companies. Make sure that that is what happened. They, they, they conducted a thorough review of the documents submitted by the Ministry of Public Work, including the draft contract, proposal, bid meeting, and even the meeting minutes available for funding and, 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 and so sourcing. And man, they they gotta, they gotta, they gotta read, he got to read what he's saying. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> reading from the document that you posted. They, they verified those documents. And upon review of those documents, uh, the, 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 the approval was based on the findings of the review of the PVCC and they granted those companies. How we said the public were for the reason why we have this integrity institution to make sure that there is integrity in public procurement. So for you to be believing, those companies were vetted to believe that all oh, they are these companies sent on. Half true is not true. You know, there may have been something in the past. But these companies were vetted based on something, and the president has a, 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 a hundred days deliverable, and these are the companies that could meet there, I'm sure. We need to invite the PPCC. Maybe then we'll be doing justice to our people. Let us invite the PPCC to say, what, what did they see in this company to award them the, 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 the single source contract? Because there were specific companies. List that were giving and those companies were so we cannot, you know, that there, there, there is some transparency here, something that we did not see a couple of years ago, a couple of months back. So for us, Thank you. Just, you know, you know, sure. downplaying yeah, the, the, the process, I don't think it's being fair to, to, to the government. I don't think we are being fair to, to the ministry. I think if we want to do justice to this thing, let us invite the PPCC here, let them tell us. What criteria, what metric did they use to award this company to, to approve? Thank you very much, Fadiga. Fadiga, so, before I said before you come in, let me just say something to our dear brother. I think you're damn wrong, Fadiga. I think you are trying and you try harder. It will not work. That's and a fact. Leave. You can't write a letter. You finished though. You finished. You finish. Don't interrupt us now. I just beg it over self for 30 seconds. But they got this thing is hard. PPCCO, single source, so no objection, though. Even raising the fact of no objection, right? It and means hold that on, hold 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 on, hold
Stop interrupting, Fatiga. Now you be like acid dough that will interrupt all day. Oh, I'm not like acid dough. Acid dough is my brother. No, but yeah, I know. That's why you eat rubber plastic soup. Come down. Uncle Sam. Okay. I have this thing here. I want to come to you, Uncle Sam, right? Let's look at the PFM, the financial management. The public financial right? management. Public yeah. financial management. Let's yeah. look at that. Yeah. Concerning bidding process. Yeah. No yeah. objection. Single source. Yeah. yeah. This document never came up because it wanted to come out. When Spoon got hold of those documents and we spoke about it, after three days, documents are coming from PPCC and other places. I could say, was something, were they trying to do something beyond back door? My work on Spoon is to expose these things. Something just not smelling right. And I think if we don't speak on it, we will go back to the old time religion we should destroy our country again. Talk to me. Okay, so um, I don't know if my brothers, uh, Raymond Gray and Fadiga believe in Liberian economic empowerment, okay? And Liberian economic empowerment, uh, it is not based upon a convenience, like a 100-day plan. So because it's a 100-day plan, you go ahead, you dismiss Liberian economic empowerment and you empower foreigners to the tune of $23 million. Okay, you can't do that. In the United States, where you lived and where you worked, okay, economic empowerment is done by what? MBEs, minority business enterprises, which I have benefited from. The Small Business Administration, what they do is about diversity, is about inclusion, and it's about improving the lives of people. Why businesses still own America? Let me finish. SSF, Chico, Seco, West African team, they were all part of the cartel that were created during the 12 years of the Ellen administration. When they sent Willis Knockers over there to oversee the disbursement of six to the seven million dollars in reconstruction money. And Liberian companies were not empowered, and you know that. The only way that you can empower Liberians is to give them a contract. All these contracts, the PFM, Public Financial Management Law, say they will be well pre financed. The government does not pay you in advance on a grade. I'm telling you that. You have to go and get money to pre finance it. Either you have the capital to do it, or you go to a bank. You know what these foreign companies did? Okay. Between 2009 and 2011, 2012, the Ministry of Public Works gave them $114 million in authority to proceed. You got to say they wanted to do certain things for, 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 for the election and stuff. $114 million. They used the letters, the foreign companies, and went to banks. And the banks were able to finance this. When I became an economic advisor and Ministry of Finance in 2014, January, we found the IMF had flagged these $114 million in basically illegal payout and the collaboration with the banks of $114 million that were only supposed to be paid. These monies could have gone to Liberian companies because they could have gotten a letter of, a pro, of, of, a letter of authority to proceed, go to banks, and gotten the financing to do the roles and the money would have left them. Last thing, uh, 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 Dr. Regency, let me tell you something. You talk about the donors. The donors do not give local contracts on equal terms. When there is a donor funding for a project, guess what they do? They do international bidding. I, as a consultant, with the same credentials as my, as my international folks, my hire is $300 a day. $300 a day. The international consultant, I'm much like $800 to $1,000 a day. So all of that money that, they, they, that the donors are spending, and I insist that they should be given more oversight because they provide the contracts, they should do the monitoring evaluation, and the project completion report to show the social and economic return for the projects, okay? So my two friends here, 
don't believe in Labrador economic empowerment. They don't believe in, ba in building a base to empower Labrador to give them. They are being dismissive of that for the short-term convenience of 100 days. And you cannot start a foundation of a, of a government that said it came to change, to change. Change, 100 days or not, you should give Liberians 80% of the, 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 the contract. Why are you giving them a third for? If you even give them a third, why are you giving them a third? In your own country, in Ghana, you think they will go give them 66% and give Ghanaians one third? We fancy people will start will start a, a, a process to go against that. We're not stupid people. But you think you do not have a favor by giving a bureau people one third of the contract and you're happy for that? No, man, you stop looking at him, man. I said, my, a pizza coming, let me go get it. I beg you, I hold your food. They, they call me the uh, 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 Stanton, I, I just wanted to say something. Um, based on the list that you put mm -hmm. in the chat room, I did go back and I see, okay, there's two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven out of the eleven bits of contracts that were given. There's two when I checked it out, could say that they are Liberian owned oh, company. Yeah. But we have two out of eleven uh contracts here that you know have like some sort of Liberianization. But we all know this. If you in Liberia, you know that if you come from a foreign country, all you have to do is just get a Liberian to be the face of your company and say that your company is Liberian owned and uh, it, it will be. This is not a hidden secret in Liberia. Um, and to what uh, Mr. Jackson said, uh, yes, the donors should be responsible to have uh, appropriate oversight where they make sure that their dollars are spent uh, where they, 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 they intend for it to be uh, uh, spent. But you can't say that Liberians don't have a role to play in making sure that a country gets developed. The donors are not coming there to, to run church. Sometimes the donors are making money, interest high interest rate, out of the money that they gave to Liberia. Okay? So, I mean, I don't want to dismiss Liberians and say, oh, we have no role to play in this. We have a role to play in this. I want us to be empowered so that uh, we should stand up and speak out and ask for what is due to us. Okay, if we need, if if we 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 want contracts, we don't have the money. There should be an exception made. We know in this America, yeah, unfortunately, you know, uh, people sometimes mock the affirmative action plan in a negative way. But that plan was developed for people who have not always had the opportunity to be at the table when when those negotiations were happening, like the women, like the black people, like the minority, the immigrants. All right, so we need something like that in Liberia. We need to actually have a, um, a policy where Liberians are put first, Liberians are in power. There has to be a way to think outside of the box for us to continue to do this, uh, awarding contracts all the time to people who we think got equipment, people who we think got the money, people who we think uh, you know have done previous work before. It's not working for us. It's not working for us at all. So we have to find or do something differently in our country where it would work towards the advantage of Liberians and also it will work towards developing our country. And that's all I'm saying. Uh, Stanton. Yeah, so uh, let me, I, I know you want to say something kind of great. Let me just say this real quick. History will get a funny way of repeating this, sir. Guys, the same players, just a different team and different jersey, the same affiliation, who are water is international contract? These people that are doing big, big contract today for public work. Who are the same players today? Let's see, people will get mad at me though, but they have to understand that we are here to speak truth to power. East International, SSF, they just not, they are not just coming around today. As a vibe, millions of dollars. Millions of dollars went into that, those companies doing by themselves time. Who are the ministers? Who are the deputy ministers? Have we asked questions? Who dealt with those people doing by themselves time? So guys, this is a bad precedent to set. We are going back. It's okay. The people complain that John Weir didn't pay them. So now we can use them because we will pay them. Those are bogus excuses. 
It's okay. They are the only company in the country that have the equipment and logistics. Those are nonsense. Center, it's okay. Let me finish. 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 I, I, know that's, I, know, I know that's your I know that's your speed uh, to interrupt me and get me off balance. But you know, you myself from the same school of talk. I'm into your mind already. It's okay. We must complete the hundred days. We must fight for the hundred days. No question. Get your own money, do your project for the hundred days. All President Joseph Walker wants is deliverables. What I can cripple. What I can have done, incomplete, President Joseph Barker won't see. So it's all cosmetic, right? You will get pinned, put bed in. That's how you're looking now. I know 100 days is not enough to change, the, to, 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 to change things in Liberia. But why are we using the same old people? Why? Liberians need to understand why are we still using them? They're all the company. They're all our country. They're giving us for nothing excuses. They're giving us everything. That's an excuse for incomplete work. Why Roland Guinness still running behind them? Roland Guinness was deputy minister during Madame Salim's government. Senator, let me make my point and leave. Uh, brother, you got to wish more. Give her five minutes. Your man, uh, your brother, how you calling Russell? Come here. Appreciate you, by the way. Yeah. Roland yeah, Guinness. Let me, let me Roland Guinness is, uh, uh, brother, 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 you won't stop my flow. That is what you and Fadiga do. You're yeah. texting each other. Stop smoking. Yeah. Just give me 10 more seconds. I'll you be finished. by the rule. You go against so, the rule, man. So, 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 but let me finish now. Hey, give, let, me, let me get my own time, please. So, Roland Guinness was deputy minister. Roland Guinness, you understand that there's no reason why to go back and do business with those people. The old Liberia and the old Liberia big time. So we sit there and babysit people and say, yeah, it's okay because we wish well of Joseph Yemen Barker when the people come on and mess things up. That's a problem. Document in our possession and we'll share with you guys. Talking about public work alone, it's troubling. It is troubling. So Colonel Gray, yeah, you have the one minute and, 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 and go. You say you want to go. So talk to us. We don't want you interrupting us, my brother. You know, Senator, I'm glad that you, you repositioned the argument. The argument was, why are we awarding contract to people who were awarded contract in the past? It was not liberalization. You know, uh, people are easy to throw um, accusation on people. How can a patriarch like me Mr. Jackson will come in and say, I prefer for contract to be awarded to foreigners than Liberians. And then in my expose, I cited one company, Buckeye Collie's Enterprise. Buckeye Collie Enterprise, that's a Liberian organization. That's a Liberian owned company. The argument has never been Liberianization versus um, awarding contract to foreigners. That's not the argument you, you put forth. And I'm glad you, you re-emphasize re on that issue. So it was not that I don't want like Bruin Company to have contract. I don't know where Summer Jackson, you know, that's that's how- No, you try your own. Our own is different. Don't put words in our mouth. What you told me no, was- No, 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 try your own. I'm, I'm coming from different era yet, Colonel oh, Gray. You don't me put words was. in our mouth. No, the question you asked- We talk about the awarding of contract? And we're talking about giving Liberia first privilege. So you go ahead and tell your own. Don't talk for us, my man. For giving Liberia first privilege, you can't judge me that I will not be a pro on that. Oh man, I'm a pitcher. I will not, if possible, I would not like to see any other company existing like Liberia, but it cannot be. We're an international, we're part of the committee of nations. So therefore, people will compete. But that does not mean I'm a pro foreign uh, um, you know, uh, individual who wants to see. Uh, contract awarded to foreign people. That's not who I am. You know, why Why would uh, Samuel Jackson be throwing uh, fifth on people when, when he himself know that that's not the basis of the argument? The argument was that why are we awarding contract to people who have awarded contract to in the past? And I'm I'm telling you, look, people like, like Buckeye Corley, those are very, very upright people who stand for, for justice. Why are we doing that injustice? by not bringing them onto the podium and nail them to the cross based on their own activities. Why are we just making 
um, mm -hmm. moments up for them and judging them based on the character of our own imagination. You know, I don't think it's, imp it's, it's, it's fair to anybody to do them that justice uh, or that injustice, judge them based on the fact that uh, on hearsay. BK is an individual, you can bring him on, you can bring other individual, you can bring Roland Giddens. Look, that's why we have the platform to judge these people and we can draw from their own statement, you know, and make informed judgment based upon their own say. Now, what we imagine. That's all Thank I'm you very much, Colonel Grave. Thank you. Good having you. Have a good evening, sir. We'll see you next week by God's grace. All right. So my thing is that, let me say this, and it, it will be fair for every one of us to understand that these same players playing the same game. The same thing happened to one Madam Salif government. Awarded all the BB Contra as if I, I'm coming to you, to these people. They enriched themselves. The same thing happened. See the same faces today. I can call their names, ministers and deputy ministers in the past. Their business with the same people. They are no strangers. They are no strangers. Look at the document that coming off from this place. They are not transparent. They excuse that the people don't have logistics. They excuse that gave it to them, give it to the people because they're the only people that can do the job. But the first thing they gave them, they never, they were never completed. So where are we today as people? It's bad for our country. Will we get there in 100 days? I don't think so. Who was the Minister of Labor? Who was the Minister of Public Work? Who was the Deputy Minister of Public Work? Who was the Deputy Minister of Labor? Let's go there ask the question. Who brought these people to power? The SSF, the Farage Group, who brought them to power? Let's ask the question. No bidding, single source. Everybody saying, yeah, no objection. Send them the money. Give them the money. They will do it. The amount of documents that comes to us is shocking. When you read those documents, it makes you to tremble as a vibe. Talk to us. I got, some, I got, some, I got some questions. I got some questions. And I want to know if you can explain to me. So I saw two different lists with companies, amounts, negotiated price. And they estimated cost on one. So I want to know because the listing on one side is different in terms of the names of some companies different. So is SSF the same as West Africa Construction? Because on one list, we have SSF doing ITR Greenville and Barclayville to Plebo. On the other list, I see West African Construction doing ITR Bridge to Greenville and Barclayville to Plebo. So are those the same companies? Same, do you know? Anybody knows? So know. the document the document that you're referring to, uh, look at the town, look at from where to where, you know the road scratch as if I, okay? No, Just no, no, at... stand up, stand up. If you want me to show you, I can present. No, 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 I want you to show me. If, if that's the document we put in the chat, bro, I don't want you showing me. That's then the we, two we documents you put in the chat room. Listen now. Uh, the two mm -hmm. documents you put in the chat room. They both of two of them. One was a summary sheet, right? And the other one was approved companies and the respective rehabilitation. Is this what you're talking about? Corridors. Is this what you're talking about? Those two documents. The two documents I got. Yeah, um, you talk about one of these. This is one. Let me see. Yes. That's the approved companies and the respective rehabilitation. Look at the name so, of some so of those companies. So what's your question from this document? Okay, from that document, we have West Africa Construction Incorporated, right? Doing two different roads, Barclayville to Plebo and RTR Bridge to Greenville, right? That same road, Barclayville to Plebo and RTR Bridge to Greenville, if you look on the other sheet, it will say SSF. So I'm asking, is it the same company? So your question is so unique, we'll wait for the people to come and answer. But this is from Public Work. And one of this road that you talk about, actually, let's go back to the next one. I, uh, do you have the other one? I want to share something with you. One yeah, of the yeah, one I talk yeah. about, what's the, hold on one minute. I think you talked yeah, right about there. this one, right? All right. Yes. You see what is the same, okay. So, your next question is the RTR, right? Yes. And where can we find this? 
Okay, just look because for SSF it, on this sheet. Look for SSF down, the second part. RT out okay. to Greenville. Like, so you got RT like, out to Greenville, the one that is in yellow, correct? Right. Okay. Then let's go to this one where it says RTR to Plevo and RTR oh, Bridge. Oh, look, look on the A. RTR Bridge to Greenville. I just said right it. I just Plevo. said it. Yeah. Okay. RTR Bridge to Greenville. Right. These are a good question that need to be answered by those folks. Okay. I have a message I got to drop in the chat room. If you look at this SSR that talk about RTR to Picana, where is it right here? I want you to see it. Uh, I want you to see this right here. RTR, Picana RTR, uh, where you get uh, Cisco, Cisco, C I S C C I C O. That road, they say that road need nothing done. That road, this particular road, I have the whole document. This one, right here. What? RTR. No, that one, I disagree with. You. Listen, I have, a, I have a listen, man. You're not to interrupt. <laughs> Let me go RTR to Bikana, I have a, hmm? Look at the amount here. $2.1 million negotiated price. Hmm? Let me put this in the chat room. They have some people that go out there to, to do the qualification of this road and give estimate as to how much they think, what kind of work need to be done on these roads. Before you yell and say you disagree, I want you to read it. And that's what I do on the show. When they send us the document, we compile the document and we share with the public. So once I put it there, I want you to read it. Not that you cannot do nothing, but the amount of money for the project that they want to be done on that road. Folks are questioning. And they pointed out the RTR to Bikana, Bikana to RTR road. And these people work within the public work ministry. These people work outside of the public work ministry. These people are questioning, they are like 7G monitoring these different contracts. And, and that's where we come from. But to end this okay. conversation, Ava, Ava, Sefadika, Fatima, what you say? No, I wanted to come in on that. Yeah, come in, come in. So that be kind of to RTR road, you see that Seco on that paper you show? If you go to the other paper, that road broken into three parts. You cannot to Saturday Town is seven hundred seventy-eight thousand dollars. From Saturday Town to Sester Junction, that nine hundred twelve thousand by Adams, and then from Sester Junction to ITR is one point one million in our Mende Construction Companies. So these companies are they subsets or are they subsidiaries of Seco, or what? Or are they now labyrinth companies, maybe, that are giving the contract to, but Seco is the main contractor and these guys are subcontractors? So they got to clarify these things. These things are not consistent. Thank you. You have the same doubt. And like we have said, we said before, Dr. Richard said, this company, how they got bigger, how they got the money, it was under the Malasadi government. The same public work, they didn't want a sponsor and gave the SSF contract, gave them money, and these people got bigger. Why you couldn't do that with a liberal owned company? Why are you thinking that these people, because they come from this side and say, we, well, yeah, you'll get our money, you're happy to give them money. But liberal owned company, you reduce them to nothing. People but, are not happy. Hey, let me finish, uh, Mr. Vatuba. People are not happy. People are angry. A former logger from Maryland, Logan started. He had no, no money, nothing, no equipment. Minister of Public Work gave him everything. Under the Malasadi government. These people come up with the plans. The government gave it to them. That's the same thing we're walking through today. So if you see some of all talking, empower Liberians. That's the fight. That's what we fought for. Empower Liberians. They may not have it today, but what are you doing to empower them? You're giving millions of dollars to this other company that have done incomplete work. And we're yet justifying why. Who were there before? Are the same people that are there today? <coughs> Some of them may not like us, man. But that's the fact that we have to say. I want to suggest run quick into different aspects. I know, uh, Fadiga, you will stay in the cold. I mean, in the heat, it's hot in Liberia. Uh, thank God that you're in the house. Uh, you will stay on there, Fadiga. You will stay long there, long there. 
Uh, you say low there. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, before we move on to the next topic, as you're deciding, I just I just wanted to state that uh, you know I know this government can walk and chew gum at the same time. We don't come here to criticize the government, but to offer uh, suggestions how to strengthen the government. Okay. We all, we, all I'm asking for, and I'm hearing many of my colleagues ask for, is to consider Liberians in awarding these contracts. There should be an office. I don't know. Maybe they do have an office. You know, like, like, like the affirmative action equal opportunity office. You know, in Liberia, maybe under the Commerce Ministry, the Liberianization Office, that will make sure that these contracts, whether they are subsidiaries of, like somebody said, you know, a subset of the major contracts, but to make sure that appearance are included, okay, in these contracts, to, to empower them. It could be a jingle every day on a radio station, which I was disappointed not to hear, or to see something about empowering Liberians. That should be a message, a message, a message of being patriotic towards our country, because it's not there. It is not there, or everybody for self in our, in, in our country. And until we become more cohesive, it's not going to happen. You know, the, the, the Chicos and the SSF, they're just going to come and take away from us. That's all. You know, the people are not coming to build church or for religion. They're coming to make money, uh, uh, Mr. Uncle Sam. IMF is, America is the largest donor of IMF. They don't get free money, you know, so they don't care if we don't do our, our due diligence to make sure that the projects are done. They, they give the money and we, we pay interest, high interest. On but they, they don't give it to us, Francine. They, they give it to their contractors. Okay, well, this is where our leadership should come in demanding. Yeah, yes. Okay, our leadership should come in. This is a leadership work. Come in, come to the table. All right, so we're going to move ahead to say this one. I said thank you again. Everybody know for sure that the Farah's own well, SSF. Yeah, I guess I'm clear. Everybody own, everybody know that Farah own SSF and that of the West Africa or something. That it's important for us to know that these guys create different companies on a different contracts, on a different names, on a different code from LRA. And they just blow the system. But who know Farah? Who brought them to power? It was the Madam Salim guys that were at public work. So they went right back to the same basis. Should we sit here and be quiet about it? No, I will not. I will not be quiet about it because this is wrong. Uh, we want to say that at the end of the day, say the last thing well, I asked you got to run. I, yeah, can I finish my point? Yeah, go ahead. I said finish on that. Yes. So there are multiple ways to do this whole empowering Liberian. If you can front the people ahead of time with machines, if you say they ain't got no machine, but they're a legitimate Liberian company that have the capability to do this thing, then you front them with the machine. There's certain ways to do this thing that we have to think about, and it just doesn't stop here. There's just you know different options that we have to look at. But again, we got to understand, hopefully we can get somebody here who can really confirm to us the ownership, especially and the benefits. It's very confirmed to me. It's been confirmed to me, SSF and West African are owned by Fawaz. But that's what I said. Yes. I said it's, that. You put it in the room. It's in the room. It's there. It's there. Robust Group, Seco owned Adams, and Seco owned Mandate Construction. So let's go what? ahead. I'll just tell you who owned Mandate. Mandate is owned by Bracewell, Eric Bracewell. It's in the chat room. Visit the chat okay. room and follow the conversation there. So, but we have to go ahead, though. It's 654. Uh, as if I took, well, this is troubling time for our country. When we talk about these 100 days, it's going to make some people so uneasy, right? Like my brother, Al Hussein Fadiga. Because the fact remains is that we will not be complacent. We should never be complacent. We should fight to the end because we need to change. We can beat on President George Manor, we are every day. But it will never bring the change that we so desire. What we fought for. That God bless the country of Liberia with a new leadership. We should keep our eyes open. To understand change and to talk about rescue, we should keep our eyes open. It is very important that documents is moving around. That is just not good when you talk about public work. The national road firms, it's just not good. National road firms, Kesu, uh, Hassan, what's his name? Former representative of district number 17, uh, Kazulu. Hassan, uh, Hassan Kiazulu. Hassan Kiazulu. He was appointed. You see, the lady is not going because she's on tenure position on Josida Winter. So she stayed there operating till the Supreme Court can solve that problem. 
and all these little things are happening, storing the operation of the country. It's bad for our country. It's worse for our country. All these agreements are going back to the same old people. We will expose them. We have the document. We will speak on it. All these agreement. No, 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 listen. I think the government needs to talk to the Labyrinth people. Let's forget about the World Economic Crime Court. The lawmakers have signed on them. The president will be signing it this week, information we're receiving. Let's talk about the bread and butter issue. Thank you. As I recover right now, guess what happened? As I recover right now, we'll know whether you get here or take. They get from the bottom of car back. And, and, so at the and, end of the day, if that's a recovery, the cars are running too. After, the cars are all running. The, after all of the investigation, let's talk about the bread and butter issue. How will we move this country forward? We took one month talking about asset recovery. One month talking about why an economic crime code. Put that in the bed yeah. now. Your sound, your sound not good. Your sound not good. Yeah, that's your, that's your, that's your set. That's now you better. Oh, sir. Yeah, that's your set. Get a better uh, internet. Get very yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. Everybody here yeah, hearing me well. Only you not hearing me. I'm not right. static. So, Fatima, are you hearing me well? There you go. Fadiga, you hearing me well? Way in Liberia, my brother Bray, he's not hearing me. I'm okay. Thank you. So, thank you, Fadiga. I didn't say no to agree with you today because you're enemy of progress today. But my thing is that it's very important for us to say, let's move forward, Uncle Sen. Let's talk about the bread and butter issue. Let's talk about what will take our country to the next level. METEC, CTN. Let's have that discussion. They stay there. Are they, they in the there. budget? They stay there. Harmonization. In, in the, the budget. budget. In the budget. Let's talk about this issue. It's Wyatt, a big game. Why it's in the budget? It's why in the budget? budget? Free public tertiary is education. Is that too to talk about it? So I beg you, I beg you to understand. Let me ask my brother Al Hussein for Diga UJ. The run of man, the man I rejected, he said he don't want to be in America no more. He hit America. He start coming back. He got all the tenten there hanging around. Fadiga, <laughs> let me ask you, my dear brother, are these things in the budget? Should we talk about them, Fadiga? Or when you want us to start talking about them? I think we are we are we'll be wasting our time discussing some of these issues. Why? I mean, oh, 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 oh. and the reason I'm saying we have more, we Fadiga. have more, we have more important issues. But you gotta hear you right there, my dear brother. Are you saying on the show we will be wasting our time to talk about MedTech and CTN? Are those two groups you're talking no, about? Let me tell you something. The reason why. Especially, I don't, I'm not going to talk much about my tech. The reason why I do endorse in the whole city and thing, folks like I, uh, 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 Uncle Sam, they are xenophobic. Uh, there's young, foreign oh, oh, no, oh, seriously. Oh, I, oh, I see, oh, I, there's oh, many, oh, 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 go ahead, Fadiga. No, I see a lot of people trying to bring down this young lady that is running this enterprise because oh, she's not like really which no. one, who young lady, which one, which group. CTN. What's the young lady's name? I'm not going to go into name name calling. You know, she's a very private person. But yeah, it's a company that have 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 contributed to revenue generation for Liberia. These guys beat on 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 this company and leave all the white owned companies. Leave all the white owned company. A black sister from the black mecca, the country that said that every people are no Negro descent can come. You have to leave all the Leonie people. Samuel Jassy consult with all the Leonie people. And then he comes here and talk about, oh, why I can't, why can't CTN run in Liberia? CTN is very beneficial and is needed in Liberia. Have you asked the LRA how much dollar the CTN to the CTN they have generated? Have you asked how they have streamlined the process so that a government is not cheating on the revenue? Oh, they want everything free? It is a requirement, but we cannot be looking at legitimate companies and close it down because they're foreign or because of this. No, that is being that is xenophobia. I don't know you to be that kind of person. I see people trying to be that on a woman because you're a woman. A lot of you have done it. 
What can you talk about what she has done in the community? The right, so, in the community, okay, things so, that they have done. No, Uncle Samway, Uncle Samway, Uncle Samway. No, 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 let me finish this because I, I hate it. I hate for people to 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 take advantage of other people. Liberia belongs to all of us. <laughs> what do you say that? People keep from different. You got no shit. You got no shit. I, 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 I will get you I to that. I will get you to that. It's an public attitude of some of our brother in 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 in, 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 in looking now on a strong black woman. You guys need to stop this. Sitting in is not Liberia problem. It's a legitimate company raised up in Liberia that is helping the government of Liberia to generate revenue. The LRA it will be losing so millions of dollars today. So so on. On. The LRA it will be losing millions of dollars today had it not been for CTN. Why can you talk about that the LRA? It is a requirement. It's not just there because somebody said the one phone community. It is a requirement. And you know, so when you say, oh, why can't we talk about that? The reason why I don't like to indulge in any kind of discussion because there are several... You can't talk about MedTech too? You want to say something about MedTech? I mean, I'm not yet to wish on companies. This is not what this administration came to power for. And you know, we're not yet to wish on companies. What we are here for is to... to, to so to, so the, it's okay that the government continue with the company as is? Which company are you talking about? MedTech and CTN. I think CTN need to stay. CTN has a, stay too. CTN is an incredible part, integral part of our 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 system. How so? How much are we generating from CTN? So I don't have the raw data with me here, but I know that you the don't, you don't the have CTN, it, but you want them, you don't have it, but you want them to stay. Why shouldn't they stay? So, I'm they asking stay? a question for Why data. shouldn't they stay? How much the government is making from CTN and Medtech? I can tell you what they are doing. That the government is benefiting from. How much? I don't know the figure. I don't have the figure. If you give me some time, why waste our time if you don't know the figure? I do not know the figure, but I know what they do. What do they do? I mean, you can't go into background. And this is yes. That. What do they do? We'll be very patient with you, Fadiga. Well, the one one of the main things that I like them for is because they help us to maximize and show that accuracy within. Uh, the revenue collection of the state. So that means if you bring your something, some of those people that are carrying in, oh no, on on oh no, oh no, declaring them, CTN is there to something. In fact, the last time I heard they were in the process of trying to bring us something. Liberia do not even Thank have. You. Oh, Thank you for the guy. I'm not finished Thank yet. You. you said you agree there. I just did one. I said the yeah, most what? important thing that I like. And for the company. Yeah. So I mean, people will not defraud the company and be honor declaring. Had it not been for CDN, Labro go and be losing millions of dollars. Uh, Fatiga, why do we have CTN? I just tell you the thing, say what? Yeah, why do we have CTN? I just tell you one of the reasons, say what? Can you give me it again? Why do we have CTN? What do you mean, why do we have CTN? Why? Why do we have CTN? Do you know? Do you what know purpose does CTN serve? No, man, the man asked the man no question. What I say? You know the question. I say, why do we have CTN? The man I say, what purpose? So go ahead. Talk, well, I can tell you what they do. You want me to tell you what they do? I want you to answer the question. What purpose? You, what do we have CTN? Somebody texting like, him. Read the text. No, no. I said, text. leave me. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not a company. The company is supposed to What's the purpose of CTN and MedTech in Liberia? You, maybe you need to rephrase the question. I, I, I say, why what do, do they do? Have... If you ask me, what do they do as a company? Then you will be asking. Then you will be asking the right question. So probably you need to rephrase your question. Okay, we'll come back to you, Mr. No, Fadiga. no, rephrase your question, and then I can answer. I love rephrasing my Let question. Let come out to him. You are man. You get a master degree in, in mental health or no, something. You can write articles. I, 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 I tell ask you. I, degree I, on ask you I, I just I ask, you, I ask you a simple question. Don't tell me to rephrase it. Why do we have well, CTN and Medtech? Listen, listen. They verify the country of every cargo shipment. Now, one. 
So when you ship here or something, they verify it. A lot of people, let me tell you something. Another thing, again, they help uh, uh, maximize and ensure accuracy. Reading, uh, bro. Accuracy. Reading. Be uh, reading. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, reading. For, sorry, sorry for what Fadiga is doing. Are you going to gonna give me a chance? To, are no. you going to give me a chance? No, no, your time is over. No. Two minutes is now. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, sorry yeah, well, for I, our brother. I can give sorry you the website. Sorry, sorry, sorry for our brother for Dika. Let me start. Down, let me start this. Oh, 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 it's hard sometimes. Fadiga, 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 it's very hard sometimes to explain something that you know that you are so wrong. All right, okay? Sendo, why shouldn't they be in Liberia? Okay, let, 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 let me say let this. Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, hold on one minute. Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, one minute. Uncle Sam, let me come to you. We'll go to Dr. Richardson, Fatima, then we'll kind of ask if I, Uncle Sam. Okay, so the government of Liberia, let me say this, Uncle Sam, then you can come, please. Let's talk about MedTech. The government of Liberia has only 20% in MedTech, only 20%. And of that 20%, it is not in the budget. You know where the 20% go? Samuel Twain. And the long and the late Thomas Dona, they open a big account in Dubai. And the government 20% go into that account. Uncle Sam. I put a document in the chat room. Let's talk about MedTech. Then we will talk about CTN. Okay. And I want Liberians to hear this. Our yeah, people are so right. wicked, right? Wickedness, and that's why we will not stop this advocacy, Uncle Sam. 20%. It's not in the budget. These people are not giving the government of Liberia a dime. You know how many Liberians when they send the cars and other shipment to Liberia? That these people enrich themselves on the expense and back of Liberians, charging a lot of money. That today we think that Metec is the best. We fought against Metec during the campaign, Uncle Sam. Yeah, CTN. In CTN, likewise, yeah. I will give the document on CTN. We fought the position of this government should tell Liberian people whether we will continue with CTN and MedTech, whether we are continuing with them, or whether we're going to revisit them. We have heard zero. Where is the 20% going today? Who recalibrating the 20%? Samantha is not finance minister no more. Thomas Donat may his soul rest in peace of dear friend and brother. Who is getting the 20%? What's the conversation of MedTech operation in Liberia? Should we move to CTN? I will pause and I want you to speak. Then Dr. So, Richardson, my Fatima, and I'll say bye. So Stanton, a very big businessman asked me to give you his to, to, to give to give you his number. I send that to you today. I'm not going to call his name. The business people are planning to go there and aggressively push to get Metech out. Metech is the company that replaced Bivac Veritas, a Charles Taylor company that was accepted by Ellis Alif. Okay, and then when my government came to power, they brought in MedTech. They charged 1.5% on every single container, the value. If you bring it in 100,000, it's 1,500. Tens of thousands of containers come to the bureau every year. Okay, the WTO agreement, okay, the new revisions of the general agreement on trade and tariffs say that you cannot do PSI, which is called pre-shipment inspection. You must do destination inspection. Because I hope Bivac thing there was really obstructing trade. When you want to take a container from America here, you got to let Bivac come to your house or wherever you go, where you are for them to change before. If not, they will charge you $10,000 you have to pay. Okay? Let me tell you something. You guys, your campaign against CTN. CTN is container tracking number. All that does, the same thing. You can put the container number in tracking on a Google, and you can find out where that container is. That's all CTN is doing, and they're charging, I think, $150 or $200 per container. That is an obstruction of trade. 
I don't care because the woman comes from Sierra Leone and she's our black sister. Okay? So you, want, you think a Labrador man can go take a container tracking company to Sierra Leone? Eh? Eh? Yes, yes. Show me one Labrador company that is doing anything on Sierra Leone or Ghana. You can't find a fan. You can I speak true. I'm a fancy ball. Let me tell you something. The Canadians, they, they jealously guard economic empowerment. Go to my color market. Go to Kanishi. Eh? The Liberians that went from Bujumbura, they wanted to go be selling in Kanishi and Kaswa. They chased them out of the market. The entire architecture, trading architecture in Ghana is completely controlled by Ghanaians. Because you know what? Page one of the Ghanaian National Investment Code say you cannot come to Ghana and open up a trading company with all investing 300,000 and employing 10 Ghanaians. But the Lebanese can come as a store boy and he can morph into a multi million dollar business in two or three years. That will never happen in Ghana. You can go into Sprinter's Row and open up your production company to manufacture food, import substitution. Okay? If you want to see how other countries move, use them as a case study and push your country along the same line. But MedTech and CTN are not good for the Labrador economy. Their services are not uh, good for us. They don't provide anything to GDP. They don't do anything, but they're just there. They're income generating for some people. So are your I, let me finish. I don't care whether she's a black woman from Freetown where okay. are your facts? Wait, wait, Fadiga, wait. hold on. I'm about to show you the facts. I'm uploading them and sharing them in our chat room, Fadiga. You see, we got to be fair and we got to discuss the issue accordingly. So, we want to say to you, Dr. Richie, I'm going to drop this in the chat room. I'm just trying to prepare them well. And I want Fadiga to see our country is bleeding. We fought against this. If this government thing is necessary to work with them, Dr. Richard said, if this government thing is okay to keep them, it's the prerogative of the government. But I strongly disagree that we should investigate. While a Liberian will pay a huge amount of money, and some of the money going to the individual's pocket. Now, those individuals are not there. Where the money going? Why are they not as a line within the budget? Dr. Richardson, talk to us, please. You know, just as this government is focused on the War and Economic Crimes Court, it should be focused on waste, okay? Uh, CTN and Medtech, in my opinion, they are just wasteful companies. Um, it seems like they have the same responsibilities or overlapping responsibilities. Why should we have two companies doing the same thing or have some kind of overlap in terms of doing the same thing. That means that we are paying, you know, different sets of people to monitor them in, in our uh, different agencies. So it, it is waste that needs to be looked into. I think this government should really uh, look into how much money uh, is, is going to, to these two companies and then that further money to Liberians. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, they're tracking, they're both tracking companies, they track containers. Uh, according to what Mr. Jackson said, 1.5% of, you know, whatever they make go to somebody, but we don't know who they go to. Is it going to the government or is it going to someone's private? That, don't believe that. You know, it's just mere allegation. Uh, he's just showing all energy. What, what, is, what is mere allegation? 1.5%. Uh, but listen, guys, you know, we shouldn't do this, man. We shouldn't. Again, when we share this document, you're trying to save it. You're keeping it. Let's discuss MedTech. It's not a male allegation. If we have a relationship with them, it's up to you. The lawmakers for Fatima, they are requesting a forensic audit on MedTech Fatima. The allegation that these people have been collecting money and it's not going to LRA. The uh, folks have been compromised. Let me put this real quick, Fatima. Just think on a real one second. Let me share this for the sake of our brother, Fadika Hussein. Let me put this in the chat room again. And guys, please, 
read them. I'm going to drop it in the chat room again. Go ahead, Fatima. Um, I, I just got the guy who has always been shipping my things to Liberia for years. His name is Stephen Colley. And I, he texted me. I think he's washing his phone somewhere. He said, Fatima, please tell Fatiga, Fadiga to keep quiet. We are feeling pains from MedTech and, and CTN. He should not be the one talking. My, uh, um, I am one of the persons that believe that if foreigners can do it, Liberians can do it even better. Why should we have two tracking companies just tracking our ship, our cargo to go to Liberia? Why can a Liberia be in charge of that? Why should someone, I'm not against any system making money, go to Sierra Leone and make your own money there. I was told that CTN was kicked out of Sierra Leone, a certain parts of Sierra Leone for the same thing. Why should I, in fact, he didn't say they're paying 150 he said they're paying 250 for each continent to sit and to track what they always been tracking. I am of a, the strongest opinion that the liberalization uh, um, project should work. And if it's going to work, Liberians need to be in charge of their own economy. Let, I know they say, oh, I heard my brother Fadiga say that, oh, the Liberian people, they are not on. In every country, people we we'll do certain things. Some people are not honest. If you say our people don't have the machines, but they have the technology and the know-how, let's give them the machine to do the, the work for their own people. I believe that we should put our people first. I believe that we, we said that we encourage, in this rescue mission, we encourage people who say they should think Liberia. They should love Liberia and they should build Liberia. And in order for our people to do those things, we have to trust them. We have to make sure that the cons all these concession agreements are uh, uh, CEO. I think each entity, each ministry should go over all the old agreements, sign new agreements with new people, put putting our people first. You will never go to Lebanon, and I've been there, and see Liberians in charge of the Lebanese economy. It will not happen. You will never see Liberians, you know, being the ones to supply rice in Lebanon. It's not going to happen. Flour, because they like a lot, they eat a lot of pita bread, they eat a lot of those things. You will not see Liberians being the ones to order the, 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 the flour. We as Liberians, we should be first. What is wrong with that? Putting your people first for your own economy. Today I see my Uncle Sam said talking the same thing. Uncle Sam, who know about the whole thing here, about the eating money for everywhere. Uncle Sam said, yeah, let Liberians eat their own money for once. Let our people be the one in charge of their own economy. All these beef and all these things, let it go away. Stephen, Stephen Colley, he's a big fan of, of Spoon. He just, the few days, he just shipping Martina, the few days, just shipping things. And he just called me. He told me, he said, just yesterday, he was telling me about a beef business. He said, my, he said if sitting here is over there, then your car, you shipping here, Fatima, they will charge you and I will charge you because I'm not going to pay for both. Barras that we used to pay $110 for now is 175 180 because when they go to the port, they're charging the people. Why should that be? Let's put our people first, Liberians. Let's put our people first and let's hold them accountable. If they fail, if we give them contracts and they don't pull through, according to my brother Fadiga, they said most of them will not complete it. In America, yes, sometimes the, the, the contractors don't complete the work. You got to go to court for them to do things. But I think if we give our people the opportunity, they will shine, they will do well. They will. And if you give one Liberian person a contract, you know how many households you are feeding? Our people believe in extended families. Let's think Liberia and love Liberia and build our country. Let, and it will take a collective effort. It will take each and every one of us putting our trust in our own people. What can a Lebanese man do that we can't do? I mean... What has man, where has man gone that no man else can go? Everyone is able to do the same thing. Let's just teach our people. Life is risk. Liberians need to start taking risks and doing the right thing. Our people are equally as educated. Our people are equally talented. They see rule. And I, one time I was going to the military base here to go see some kids. And I saw the other people building the road. Why can't we empower our military to build roads? Why can't we have our own people doing their own thing? And be, like I said, I'm a strong advocate and believer in the liberalization process. 
I believe that we should be champions of our own economy. We should be champions in our own country. We should lead our country with distinction. We should do work for our people. And we will be appreciated. We believe that if we're developing every Liberian, every Liberian that I know wants Liberia to be better, let's give us ourselves the opportunity. Please, I'm begging you. Let's put our people first. Let's think Liberia, love Liberia, and build Liberia. Thank you very much, Fatima. Let me you put this up real quick. Let me, let, me, let me put this up real quick because our brother said that. And I put it in the chat room. You can read it. I like to do the Liberians. I want us to focus on these different company. Something that's dragging us down. And it's so good that we discuss it, MedTech and CTN. We'll discuss the rest of them. We'll talk about the bread and butter issue. Our country, Liberia, deserves better. Let me put this up. I want you to see, I want you to take the picture. It raises a concern. A letter was written to Senator J. Alex Tyler, senior. Yes, the letter. Submission of document and information requested. Zoom into it. Let me take this, uh, the banner that wrote it underneath. I want you to zoom into it. The different concern of folks not beginning to realize and when we speak on this thing, we speak on it with documents, folks. Zoom into this thing. Read it for yourself. The first document here. The second document here. The different reason that these people are corrupt and the allegation that is robbing the Liberian people. What our government is saying. Or oh, Fadiga won't tell me it's too early to speak. Liberians listen. The third document. All of the same thing. Uncle Sam is in the chat, chat, chat room. Gas is there. Meanwhile, we feel obliged to advise that the matter of our clients' operations are, sub, are substantially subjudicial such that our sincere desire and effort to cooperate with various committees of the legislature is presenting the challenge of being, there you go, Uncle Sam, presenting challenge. It's in the chat room of being complaint with the ongoing discussion of matters pending before courts in Liberia. I'm going to drop the other documents. I want you guys to go through it. When they ask these people for information, they cannot get one dry information, Uncle Sam. All the time, Joe, we are brother in the country. I thought this government supposed to be fighting. This government supposed to be on the people's side and say, pause. Let's go over your contract. Let's discuss the issue. Our people are suffering, paying thousands of dollars for one continuum, thousands of dollars on car. Who in Labrador is not suffering from MedTech and, and CTN? Maybe they're Fadiga. Maybe they're Fadiga. Who in Labrador today, 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 will say that if you are in Labrador today, today, and say it's okay with you, you are with CTN and MedTech, let us know. Let's open up so the I, I can go I, now. I you you misinform the public. I think I spoke already. I think I spoke already. It's my turn to speak. I'm not going to Fadiga. He's just interrupting. You know him. He will interrupt all day. Okay? Okay. Fadiga, so, you are wait. Wait. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Fadiga, wait. Fadiga, you have your time. Fadiga, this thing is about... Fadiga, this thing is about time. Let me feel no, like no, 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 you. No, no, Fadiga, you talk. Fadiga, you, you talk. Let me talk. No, 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 you are spoken. No, you spoke. No, 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 no you spoke. You, you are, are the first. No, you are the first that speak on this issue. No, I and then you said, you know, no, wait, 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 wait. I think we need a code of conduct. Like that, the person said, I wait, Let me ask, Fadiga, Fadiga, let me ask everybody here. Uncle Sam, yeah. who spoke before you and called your name? Well, just now? Fadiga. All the medtech issue. Fadiga just called, spoke before you and I you spoke and that's a say. Yeah, 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 he spoke and called my name. Fadiga, Fadiga news. Fadiga said you're being hypocritical. Fadiga, no, Fadiga no, he said he's xenophobic. He said he's xenophobic. xenophobic. He's Thank you. I'm xenophobic, yeah. Yeah. But I let him forget, man. He was the first yes. to introduce a matter conversation. Uh, I did not say anything. You caught me off the same way. You be, he have been an obstructionist. I mean, you caught me off the same way. You want to run to the end of the line. Okay. You did not go ahead. Wait, guys. Wait, guys. Wait, guys. You know what? As a big brother to Fadiga, 
I will wait. Let him speak. Right? I will honor you. I will honor you. As a big brother to Fadika, okay, I agree. As a big brother to Fadika, I will wait. Let give Fadika another one minute, 30 seconds to speak. Then you will be quiet. Then we'll come up. I'm begging you. Go ahead, Fadika. So I'm not, I will say this. Uh, Fatima made some allegations that uh, I like how we, I'm not against liberalization. Honestly, I do not believe that government should just chunk money behind a company because a Liberian company. We have made that mistake before. We saw the the the, the, the money that they were given for for private sector invest, yeah. uh, investment initiative. That people came and took that money. Up to now, Ben Savi and all the other guys took that money. They ran away with it. It is something that have happened. Have you guys ever asked them to give the money back? We should not just be talking. And you know, with sentiment. Let's be realistic. If we want to do this, if it is not done right. We will all not benefit from it. Librarians came and took that money, created fake businesses. This is not the first time it has happened. That would be truthful. So the, the PP, the PPP loans in America that the people stole money from too. You forget people are going to jail. Augustine, Augustine, please. People are let going to jail. Augustine, let me finish. Finish. You know, that's not finish. Finish. Fatiga, Fatiga, please continue. No, so you know, I like the sentiment. I'm not speaking for medtech or, or, or something. But honestly, I've heard about this CTN. I've heard people talking about CTN. I decided to do an investigation to see what was CTN doing in Liberia. A lot of people do not want CTN because it is like a mirror. It exposes a lot of things. And, you know, people that want to smuggle illegal things, people that do not want the content of the continual noon. You will say, oh, they pay money in the past, they want to do 200 that out. If they spend that out of 200, they can, is that because CTN they carry all the continual prices up? Is that because CTN they carry all the fees up here? Yeah? People should not use CTN. Uncle Sam, when uh, Uncle Sam, eh? when Uncle Sam, when Uncle Sam, when Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, we will not have a digger talking continuously. I beg you, let him small more second. He was so funny. One of the biggest things that that when I realized, look, a lot of things come to Liberia, like like they say, sugar, sugar will, will give will give money for to I think the company that I'll bring in. Uh, uh, fixing Coca Cola, people bring a lot of. There were rumor that they brought a lot of those sugar and they were selling it on the on the market. CTN is one of the only corridor that government, the different uh, 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 government agency, can have real statistical data for government. The LRA have always used CTN for people that want to to honor declare something. So when we're talking about something, I'm not going to be you know, but I just do not want us. To drive small businesses, the pillow of our economy, down the dream because of mere gossip or because of people feeling. I do not. I, I shipped to Liberia before and paid the fee. I have had no problem with paying the fee because I have nothing to hide. For CTN have helped the LRA. That one of the reasons why they have not. They've been hurt us, um, Fadiga. They've hurt us actually. They got how? No, no, no. Why are you wasting time? Man, Fadiga, Fadiga, so other people can. Is it because of the two hundred and fifty dollars or the fee? What about what? Why we are benefiting from it? You cannot allow Fadiga to be talking. Your please, we are benefiting. Have you guys talk about the the, the benefit? Uh, Fadiga, I feel now your time is up, please. Fadiga, we want to say thank you very much. We love you as a brother and friend. But please do not interrupt us when we have in our time. Inter you been interrupting more. I mean, okay. I don't so we have given you. 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 We have given you enough time. Fadiga, hold on. Fadiga, hold on. We have given you enough time. Allow us to speak, please. You had two minutes, fifteen seconds. Allow each and every one the same time, please, without interruption. You Thank you very much. I will not Thank interrupt. You, I'll say that. I'll, I'll say my Thank piece. You. Thank you, Fadiga. Oh, uh, how about to what? <laughs> between between Fadiga and I don't know who you love more. <laughs> so let me just read two comments from people who have. Fadiga, by the way, let me say this: Fadiga is a good guy. He travel with he travel in order to me to be present. You know, uh, he is brother, and I really appreciate that. He's a good guy. Don't mind that he defended CTN tonight. He's my guy. He's good. Oh, man. Fadiga, yeah. somebody stole Fadiga. 
Somebody stole him off tonight. But anyway, let me read two texts I got. One, Medtech replaced BVAC and they do the assessment. They are extremely predatory. If people don't know what predatory means, or predator is somebody who preys on victims, innocent people, unsuspecting people. That's a predator. And that we got predator. When you act like a predator, then you got predatory behavior. Because the higher the assessment, the more money they make. Medtech needs oversight. City endorsed absolutely nothing. They charge 175 base plus $50 per vehicle. Then the second person sent me this text. Well, we are carefully watching if the government liberal maintains the two. CTN was brought in by Kalon, Mohamed Kalon, the football player, a Serenian football player, and friend of George Weah, while Medtech was influenced by Angela List. And the person got in parenthesis, Ghanaian girlfriend of George Weah. Today, Government Liberia is investigating the financial transactions of these entities. McGill, Tuewe, Weah, Kalon, and List all take their respective cuts. If GOM maintains them, it will be troubling. So let me bring in somebody who wants to share their opinion. No, you're not talking about anybody yet. Eh? No, no you're not talking about on the I show. I will talk. Stand on. No, no, we're, we're, we're doing when we open the line, brother. We can't interrupt our show with foreign. No, this is foreign foreign talking agents. just only to this, particularly. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, not doing, we're, no, we're not doing that, brother. We're going to give our show to foreign agents. We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fat, fat okay. you want to so, so, how are you? My name is Christopher Hayes on Nanuka. Yep, the okay, so we'll come back to you uh, uh, as if I uh, please. We'll call him, let him be patient. We'll open the line, we'll call him. I so let him. me come out. Let me come out now. Yeah. All right. So I have many friends who are in this um shipping business. And to the men, all of them have a problem with the CTN number. They have a problem with Metech. Metech. Like they said, Metech overcharges in terms of what you know BVAC was charging before. And that's not healthy because they have to pass on that cost to the librarian consumers. And then we don't see, show me the revenue line from LRA. When I look at a breakdown of in the budget of revenue, I see bulk. I don't see details. Let them show us the detail. Let the people from LRA come here and show the breakdown of the revenue. Where when we look at tax revenue, when we look at tax on goods and services, taxes on international trade, we can see the land item, the sub land item that say CTN revenue to GOL, uh, 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 what they call it, Metech, their own contribution to the revenue line. So until we can see those things, then we, it's not different. And if the government library is investigating, that's wonderful. Then the GSC or whoever doing the investigation can reveal to the librarian people what has been the value of because when you when you when you check that number, the number of containers that come in the country on a on an annual basis, times that 200 or 225 dollars, that nearly 30 or 32 million dollars. You're talking about significant volume. And because of the, some of those prices at the port. Some people started shipping through Sierra Leone. If people can be honest here, yeah, people were shipping through Sierra Leone. Guinea. So Guinea. they're taking money from the country. And if the government abroad can look at those things and try to make them right, okay, for the people who are inputting to avoid that headache and even ease the whole system at that port, it needs a whole business process re-engineering how they do business there. And for Fadiga to sit on this show, I, he never shipped anything before. Or if he has not heard the cries of the people with regards to that, to justify CTN number and its impact on our bottom line that we don't even know. He can't even tell what the purpose of the CTN is. It's a duplicate service that is not being provided. It's just being built. Okay? The people from the regular um, invoice that they get from the shipping company, they're tracking documents. They can track the container right there. They don't need no CTN number. That thing is a skin that will rent other um what do you call the business Sierra Leone. What do we have the, the what do we have the customs? Customer at huh? the port. What do we have customs at the port? What do we have the LRA representative at the port? Well, you get all sorts of services, but not so I, so I, I, I agree, right? But LRA relies on, let the me, on the track. You know how this thing was, you know how this thing came to be in Fatima? What we come to you and that to Richie see? It was a cartel operation. They needed to make money. Mm -hmm. The government needed to go and hustle. 
All right? Yeah. CTN. The young lady named Emmy. Emmy Nata is her name. For the guy, I don't want to call her name. Respectful lady. From Sierra Leone to England. You know, I appreciate her. But we should do it the right way. People struggle later the company. Mm -hmm. But where's the money going today? Those sidekick that you were giving in the first government, is she still giving the sidekick in this government? No, uh -huh. Who talking to her? I know too much about the company. That's why I love you, my small brother Fadiga. May 4th, I will be 49 years old. I believe I ordered a Fadiga. Okay? Well, Who I'm talking to her? I'm just more handsome, so don't think. I agree, you're more handsome, but you broke like hell. <laughs> but anyway, can I come in? I, I don't know, I come in, I come in. But who talking to her? And for the guy, know we have had this conversation here myself. Medtech, look at this document we're receiving. Read the line, what I put in the chat room. No representative. What's the company? It's very terrible if you read. This thing I put in the chat room, Uncle Sam, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, my sister, my, 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 hey, uh, my real Google sister. Evidence, if you of remittance of government of Liberia slash LRA 20%. Beneficial owners, article of incorporation, go through there and read what it says. The company is a 419 classified document. That's what the allegations say. Listing of contractor services provider. Information affiliate partnership. Not available. A listing of contracts and vendors of MTS in special services. We do not have information on Medtech Scientific Liberia. However, we are provided a listing of Medtech in special service contractors, vendors. These documents need to be verified. Our country is bleeding. We fought for the change to rescue our country. If they were giving job money, we had that money. Samuel Twe, and my brother, may his soul rest in peace, Thomas Donah. If they were giving those people that money, who are they giving it to now? Why is that in the budget line? Who are they giving it to? Y'all speak a lot up in the phone line. Somebody spent $1,559. The stuff got into the pot. Guess what, Uncle Sam? They hold it for five days and they still charge the men more. They hold it for five additional days and they charge him more money. Fatima, talk to me. Well, uh, there were uh, another point that <laughs> Stevie said I should make. He says CTN charges $250. And if you do not want your container to be open, you have to pay an additional $250, which is $500. That's the first thing. And second of all, on a side note, Isaac, I think you were you were you are trying to um you are trying to define predatory and you use predator. I don't think you should use the same word to describe the same word. So uh, I, I was expecting you to say to a split. To exploit or to oppress someone, you know, not to use the same word to define the same word. But Liberians, all the things that we are saying here is to ensure that our country gets the recognition that she deserves. That our people are first. I'm not. I, I, I'm not a xenophobe. I believe that I am one of those that believe in women empowerment. If I hear somebody doing a woman doing well in Sierra Leone, I support her. But I don't want a Sierra Leone woman to leave Sierra Leone and come to Labrador to do well. If it's not United Nation, mobe yalo, mahena insa. No, I want Liberians to de develop their own country. I want our people. We are. I mean, we are. Come on, as, no, 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 and I, no, no, no. I'm telling you, you. Everybody has their own opinion for too long. Liberians have been putting their economy into the hands of Lebanese, Indians, and other people. It's about time that when we say think Liberia, love Liberia, and build Liberia, we mean literally. We want that to be done. We want our people. Let me tell you, if you own up to something and you feel you belong, you put your best foot forward. I'm not talking about those corrupt officials or all those people that were taking it, violent jacket by force. I'm talking about people who really truly mean well for Liberia, who want Liberia to move forward. We, the progressives, 
we will be held accountable. I want people like us to be drivers of our own economy. And if we are, and if we are, and we go steal, they should expose us. Why can't we hold our people to that extreme where we're giving it to them? Fadiga, I totally disagree with you on this one. If Aminata can do CT8 in Sierra Leone, and the Sierra Leone people let her go, that Labrador like can't do it. No, we can. Why can't a Liberian person run their own company and track our own or continuous at sea? Is that is it that difficult? We can track containers. Our people can make that money and generate that fund and, 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 and add it to our economy. So why can't well, we no do it? Common, no we foreign foreign people people Russia, 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 come into our country and be leaders and drivers of our economy. No, when but I finish, I'm okay. ask you one when she finish, you, you, you defend my train of talk when she finish yeah, your answer. For real, because I believe yeah. that Liberians are equally, equally capable of doing that. CTM must go. Mete, Papa, Wata, you go. Let Liberians be drivers in every sector. I believe that our people can do it. Our people can do it. I believe that we should have doctors and nurses from foreign countries come and train our people and leave our people to do the work for our Liberian people. When you own something, you have you believe that you are driver of your own. Let me tell you something. I am being honest. I'm here in America. I'm working. I love the kids. I love the old people. I'm doing it. But I wish I was doing it for my Liberian people. I really wish I was doing it for my Liberian people. People say, "Oh, you make all this money because I want to do it." I will. Own, I will feel the pride. I will get to work for my own people. It's different. Thank we you. want our own people doing it, and that is a no go zone. We will act, we want, we will hold people accountable. All these negotiations should be null and void. We should start from the ground up. We should bring Mama Liberia back by doing her work, and that's thank where you. I'm and, and thank you very much. Uh, Uncle Sam, I beg you well, after, after that, Richard, after that, Richard, you were coming, Uncle Sam. Yeah, Ali, you don't see for the guy. After that, Richard, you, you, you want me to yeah, ask just, like, just one more question? Or one more question, go ahead. One small question. Yeah. Look, Fatima, we can still we can still have a liberalization policy and still have foreign national come. What you are doing right now, there's a word for it. It is called xenophobia. No, we cannot hate people because they are foreigners. No, my question to you is: Are you saying are you saying that foreigners should not own anything in Liberia? No, that's not what I'm saying. I say Liberians should be the top priority. Liberians should own first before foreigners are allowed. That's what How I'm do saying. you make that happen? I, I can tell you. By government? I can tell you. We got to go to that. tell you. If a Liberian man believes that he or she is able to make sure they track our 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 continuous on the sea, we should give that Liberian person the opportunity first. If we can't find anybody to do any of those things and the other foreigner want to do it, we can include it. But Liberians first. That's it. Liberian first, Liberian last. If we the one that we want, go to Ghana. My little sister lived in Ghana. She just came uh, last week. My little sister lived in Ghana for how many years? All the jobs she got were the ones that the Ghanaians never wanted. We were supporting her for the last 10, 15 years because she said, Ma, I go low for job. They said, No, that people making it. Yes. What is wrong with us putting our people first for once? Why should we put Lebanese people first? Why should we put foreign national? It, it, I'm not xenophobic. If you are a Liberian man, do well. I mean, a, a Nigerian man, do well. Nigeria, I'm all for it. I'm supportive. Nigerian man will not take you and make you to go track. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'll think about it. No. Thank you. Thank you. Let me say this. Somebody that reaches it, you please read the letter. I might. Like, you love to read. The two documents I just dropped in the chat room. You please read it. Uncle Sam, from Medtech alone, it's a the, man, our country feeling. Uncle Sam, mm -hmm. our country, if President Barker cannot intervene, the document from 2021 and 2022, if President Barker failed to intervene, then the rescue mission, the purpose of the rescue mission have come to an end. And I think the president should intervene when you talk about CTN and when you talk about Medtech. The people have no structure but a cartel operation. I will continue to spread this document with the Liberian people. Everyone must see that. Because what is happening in our country, that we are living in abject poverty, that this Uncle Sam P. Jackson said, 
What you say, rich nation, poor people, or poor people, rich nation? Rich, rich land, poor rich country. land, yeah. poor country. The reason why he wrote that book. So when you want to say we can joke, it's bad for our country if you read these documents that a cartel operation established a company that you cannot find nowhere on the earth, but just getting money from the Labyrinth people. So yes, the question. As we turn over to Dr. Richardson and Uncle Sam Jackson, will the rescue mission continue with this company? Are they continuing with them? Should we even continue with them? With the massive loot, they have agreed in the past government to feed the past government, give them extra money, 20%. Should we even continue with them? They broke the Labrador law. CTN broke the Labrador law. Meta broke the Labrador law. As a good company, when you meet Samuel Twain or Thomas Donard and they say give her 20% to open an account in Dubai, they should have said no. We found a legitimate government to work with. We are leaving. They agreed. They agreed in part and in whole to give money to those guys and our people suffer. What a disgrace. Is this government, President Jose Yeman Buaka government, riding and downing with them? Is this government, President Jose Yeman Buaka government, agree to return to status quo and operate on a different chain? With this president and this government act and act now, should we continue with them? When you pay $1,500 for a piece of bat, should we continue with them? What benefit are there to the country called Liberia? Why our leaders will suppress us? Why our leader will think it's necessary? Who are working with them? Who talking to them? Have they had any meeting with CTN? Who in this government talking to those people? Who talking to them? Or oh, everything will just be fine. Dr. Richardson talked to me. I'm going to take a little zip of my drink, a very good drink. Talk to me and we'll go to Uncle Sam Jackson. We so, yet. We ain't going anywhere. We yet. So, you know, the practices over over 170 something years have been disadvantageous to the Liberian people. I'm not talking about the political elites, okay? There are certain people in Liberia who have benefited from cronyism, cronyism and patronage uh, patron system, all right? This is why. This government that came to rescue the Liberian people have to go back and review all of these wasteful practices. Having two companies at the uh, uh, port, Medtech and CTN, doing the same type of work is wasteful. You know, it's spending Liberian people money and not knowing where the money going and only a few benefiting. So this is why we are not, I'm not against, uh, you know, foreigners coming to Liberians, Liberia to do work. I'm a foreigner living in another country and I've done pretty well, but let's focus on Liberia because of our history. If we had a country where, you know, Liberians had equal share, equal participation and made, you know, equal amount of money and riches and benefited from the resources of Liberia, all Liberians, not just a few Liberians, not the, the elites Liberian, then you know, I, I won't be talking as I'm speaking like this, but we know our history. So because we want to correct our past, this is why we are asking that we start all over and focus on Liberia, okay? Now, if foreigners are coming to our country and they are offering jobs for Liberia and they are participating in uplifting Liberia and they want to promote Liberians in Liberianization policy, I'm all for it, okay? But at this point, when we have people benefiting from our economy from our money from our resources more than a way that the that the, the, the more than liberians are benefiting then we are we have a problem i have a problem with it and that's what i have to add okay. dr richardson can i just interject to what you just said my mm -hmm. uncle left from liberia he did the one we're building during early time they were building all the, the uh, banks up you know country in, in liberia and then he got sick and went to sierra leone and one of his friends told him he said oh to everybody so oh uh, lamin sharif is a computer expert and then sierra leone government wanted to hire him and the person said no we got our own computer people here why should we hire him they did not hire him but the computer that mean computer man got sick and died 
That's when they were able to employ him to help them. They never had, he was sitting in Sierra Leone. We used to support him. He said, oh, the computer man, they, they, they call me. He passed away. That, that was the only time. So there is nothing wrong with you employing your own people first. We need to put our people first. And I, I wasn't mad at that. I said, well, you want for the people to leave that people may and put it there? Well, as God could have it, the man tapped out and my uncle got, got the job, unfortunately. And I said, we cannot leave our Liberian people sitting on there and put other people. I'm sorry. It's not going to work. We'll fight yeah, for our listen to me. Okay, look, uh, tell our panelists to solve the issue of Liberians not having e the right equipment and all of that. There is a Liberian company on the ground, ABK Equipment in Liberia, with road building equipment. Alio Kamara is willing to provide or partner with Liberians in the construction industry to give them equipment, okay? My wife's family bought some equipment from them, okay? ABK, there. You want to talk about Liberian economic empowerment? There are ways to do that. The, the ABK has this equipment company right there, Congo Town, with all kind of earth moving equipment. They can partner with Liberian contracting companies, okay? Let's look at the larger issue of Liberian economic empowerment. I'm not xenophobic. Every country on the planet in its infancy, in its infancy, they prohibited foreigners from getting involved in certain things that the people can do. Foreigners should only come and do things that we cannot do. For example, we don't have capital to do factories. So maybe they do the mines, but in the trading, hospitality, and all of those there, Liberians should be getting preference to that. It's not xenophobia. It's called economic nationalism. Economic nationalism will produce egalitarianism. And I speak in small big book, I, I beg you, my people. Yeah. So my water and women selling P4. In the market for so many years, my cousins there in Ghana, they got a trading association, the Ghanaian banks, they finance them. They bring in people, hundreds of, 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 of containers, stock fish, all kinds of things, sugar and stuff. The trading association bring them, the banks finance them, they put them in the warehouse. They call them bundle warehouses owned by the banks. As they take the the the, the, the product from the from the from the from the from the from the, from the warehouses, that's when they pay the banks. The banks have the key to the warehouses. In Ghana, my color market, the, the sugar sold by Ghanaians. You want to mean we can't till like uh, salt and sugar eh? and pig feed and chicken feed, we can bring it in exclusively through a the, 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 the setup. Is something a trading architecture? Well, I bring go to Vata, where you come from, Fatima. That whole thing there, so so foreign warehouses. That is the base of the economy right there in Vata. In Vata, 1.7 billion dollar worth of goods and services coming in that work work to Vata. Well, I'm gonna oh, say, I have a question for you. Yes. I have a question. Uh -huh. I have a question for you. Maybe you can shed light on this if you don't mind me asking. Sure, sure. You know, I had an opportunity to just speak to different people in Vata, different areas of Liberia. And one of the things, the chief complaint that I heard was they don't, Liberians just don't have the capital, even to rent equipment, like your friend said. Okay. Those foreigners have the capital because they can bring money in from the other countries. So, what recommendations can we make to this government to enable Liberians? To be able to get the money, to be able to say, okay, I'm going to rent uh, construction equipment to own my own instruction company. I'm going to rent, get money to bring in food. Okay, what can we do? Okay, great. In any country, I'm speaking from the economic point of view, but just basically basic stuff. The way that you create and grow a business is by pulling capital together. Eh? One Liberian man or one Liberian company may not be able to buy one caterpillar. You understand? But if the Liberian companies can pull in their resources eh, and then use the banks, eh, 
And because we don't have long-term capital in banks, so banks difficult to find that kind of thing, right? But if, if we can infuse capital into the banking system and Liberians can pull their resources together, okay? Partnerships. In America, uh, Google came from, uh, from the garage, but they pull resources. They do crowdfunding and they raise money. In Ghana, they have trading associations. They pull their resources together. One woman may not be able to bring one container, but five women can bring in one container. And later on, when they grow, they, they can bring in three, four, five hundred containers a year. That is about pooling resources. Capital, we say, with capital, you join capital together, that's how you grow. That's how you grow. Basically, that's it. So my friend ABK has an equipment company, heavy duty equipment company, Labura. You promote your friend. You put to your friend. Tell your friend to pay. You promote your friend. Uncle Sam, you're right. Let me say this to you, Uncle Sam. Yeah. It's a it's a, it's a disgrace to our country. Mm -hmm. Our people will live in poverty for a very long time if we choose not to change this. Yeah. This is not about CDC or Unity Party. This is about Liberia. The way in which we operate, one generation, the Bible said generation goes and generation comes, the world remains the same. Joe, where are they gone? Joe, we are go, CTN. Joe, we are go, Mental. Joe, we are go, Retire, Joe, we are go. Yes, I'm going to party. Can the government tell us whether they have spoken to CTN and Mental? If they don't tell us, we we'll say. Yes, I'm going to party, Uncle Sam. But one of your ministers, one of your ministers is, is, is in bed with Mental. Uncle Sam, I have information today. Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, don't fall for that. The riches in question. We're taking the sheet now. We're taking the sheet now. Which minister? Which minister? Uncle Sam, the time is season for everything. Uncle Sam, I gave you a name. I gave you a name to call a big businessman. Uncle Sam, who that was? Businessman, he will tell you. Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam. Let me say this. The man, the man won't talk to you. What? What is hurting us? When Meta were giving twenty percent to Summit Twelve, and my brother the late Thomas Donah and George Weir, and they opened an account in Dubai, and they were taking that free money. When Meta was giving them that money, who Meta giving the money to today? All of this government. November fourteen, by the eighteen, Joseph Yeman Boyka was declared president of the Republic of Liberia. 2023. From that day, the change of God took place unofficially. I know people can say inauguration was January 22nd. I do agree. But from that day, everything, the president elect, the president elect, the president elect. Why well, did I run away? Thank you for coming back. I didn't run away. I want to drink water. Man. From that day, I must say this to everyone on the show. Who is the new Simon Twain in this government? Who is the new Thomas Donat in this government? Who getting the money that was given to the past government? I will not sit here as long as God gave me life and the pursuit of happiness to keep quiet on this issue. They need and to tell you are going our people. problem in search of a solution. And, and, and there will be and no way. way. And now, uh, Fadiga, I respected you. You spoke without interruption. It's something about you. You and, were just and, looking and, for and, me, it's, it's, something, you it's, something, it's something about you that you interrupt me intentionally to make me to lose focus. That's your game. We know this game. We know. We've been in this business a little while. But it's wrong, folks. Let's go to the phone line. Let us ask our fellow Liberians. Are you, are you, are you, if you agree with MedTech and CTN, tell President Jose Yiman Bwaka. Who's our the advisor? Who's our the advisor that there? Hmm? Advising the president to keep MedTech and CTN. Tell President Jose Bwaka to elevate them. If you do not agree, they must take action because we will not let go of this story. It hurting the pocket of our fellow Liberians. These are bread and butter issues. That we need to discuss. It's driving people away from the rescue train. That wish we came to say, let's rescue. 
Rescue the Labrian people from MedTech. Rescue the Labrian people from CTN. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Let's thank Liberia. Let's love Liberia. And together, let's build Liberia. Nelson, open the phone line. Yeah, I see something for the line. Line. I have my mojo. I need my mojo that I'm rich. Yeah, right, let's build Liberia. Yeah, right. Real problems. Let's build Liberia. And let's build Liberia. There's too much stuff. Hello, my friend. Your name okay, is I got, I got somebody on the line. After this, after, after, this, after, 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 after this, after this call, I'm baking you. Go ahead, my friend. You next. My name is Shane Brown. I'm calling from Rhode Island right now. Uh, that topic, you guys, um, about CTM and uh, MedTech, we have been facing the problem. I've been shipping in Liberia. The last shipment that I did, they were doing a campaign time. Even the figure that we're talking about, when you're ready, yes, I'm here, but I'm going to on mute because I'm not living You got to mute yourself, Isaac. And the two, the two things that we're talking about today is not even nothing. Just one of the things they did is that uh, they increased the price of container in New York. There's an additional two things that are added on it if you don't do parking lanes. Wow. If you will pay that two things. Yes. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you, brother. The line is too hard. We got to go. A lot of people called him, but we yes. said thank you, when Sam. You go more up here, they intentionally delay you. So Thank you, Sam. So I'm asking you, the question remains to everybody when you have your 30 seconds. Should this government keep them? Should the government work with MedTech or CTN? No, no, What's your answer? No, no, no. no. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Hey, my, my name is Kennedy and I'm calling from the Twin City. Talk to me real quick. We've got to go to Asifa. Talk to me. Uh, my brother Fadiga surprised me over there. He's selling like hammer customer now. Like somebody had closed your mouth in Monrovia because the same fatiga on one of his podcasts, he was able to criticize CTM. And today he praised it, he praising them because he's, he's in Monrovia. I think that he's talking to somebody over there that why he back in CTM. Uh, the question remains should the government keep CTM and MedTech? What's your answer? No. Capital N and a small O. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, your name and where you calling from? You got to turn your radio volume down, please, Madam Warren. Okay, let me turn it down. Thank you. Your name and where you calling from? My name is Bobby Zena White, and I'm calling from Massachusetts. Talk to us, Mama. Okay. Um, Fadiga, I'm so surprised that you're not even aware of what's happening in Liberia. Let's let uh, MedTech and CTN has to go. We, the business people in Liberia, we are hurting, and it's very frustrating that uh, Fatiga will come sit here today and pretend like he doesn't even know what's happening around him. Medtech has to go. Thank you very Thank much. You so much Thank Thank you, you, Madam White. Thank you. We appreciate you. Asi, are you with us? Are you bringing in your your, your guy? All right. So Asi, Asi is not with us. Are you bringing him in, Asi? You got to unmute yourself. Hello, your name and where you calling from? I think unmute yourself. We can't hear you. Are you from South Korea? Yeah, talk to us. What do you make of this? Well, I don't think I don't think the government uh, needs to keep us in because they they, they, they they have no function in Liberia because we already have our tracking not being assigned to our by uh, about by the shipping line. So they being in Liberia is that the is saying that they carry all assessment, <laughs> didn't do any assessment on our continent, loose scan our continent. Why are they there? Why are they going through two and that from us? Is that Thank you very much, my brother. Let's try Asa again, see whether we got his attention. Asa, are you with us? Asa, uh, so, so I don't think we get Asa. Asa is not with us. Uh, uh, Nelson, Nelson, can you come on? Come on, Nelson. Let's take more calls from Liberia. Asa, listen, we'll go to you. You, you muted. You're not talking, my man. You're throwing the show down. We, we go to you. You're not I'm holding you up. Okay. So, so Talk so they can hear you. Can you hear him? No. Put it louder. Put your volume up. <laughs> the volume up. Can you, can you hear him stand down? No. Chris, turn your volume up. Can you put it close to the computer, probably? Yeah, put it on the computer. Can you hear him now? No. You got to speak louder, Chris. Can you stand up, can you hear him now? You guys can hear him. I cannot hear him. They say you low. They can't hear you. I will come back to him. Can you call him stand up? 
We'll, we'll come back. Hello, Paul Stanton. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Uh, I'm in France. Do you guys calling from New Jersey? Hey, Ryan, talk to us, please. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Stanton. Uh, you know, um, I'm very, very surprised of, of Fatika, who, um, um, you know, um, celebrating CTN and, and, and Medtech. You guys, you know, we we all voted for this uh, change. And CTN and Medtech is no, it's not really good for Nigeria because you guys. You know, I bought a car for Do it real quick now. We gotta go. The land is going crazy, my brother. Get to the yeah, point, I please. I bought a car for six thousand out of here. I sent it to that I sent it to that New York. And they, they charged me four thousand out of credit that car from the from the from the uh, from the put there. And and it, you know, I mean it, it's not good. Why it's not good that we well, we never change. So I beg them they should not be in charge now and take them Thank you. be easy for them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nelson, do we have you in studio? Can you come on, please? Please. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Rulof Kamara, I'm calling from Rawale. Talk to us. Pardon Talk to us, you live. Yes, I I call it, I'm, I'm one of the biggest shippers in Rawale. I'm very trying to talk regarding the whole city and meta, meta issue. So you live, we can hear you, talk to us. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, start of, this is Rudolf Kamara, one of the biggest shipping line in England. I've been doing shipping for almost 10 years, but I have a serious issue with the whole city issue. I lost over 80,000 in six years shipping container. I ship more than three containers to four containers in a month time. And everybody knows me. I, I have my business here, very close now to the president here. It's very unfortunate to see the same thing that we we we, we advocated against to see it happening in this administration. I have brothers and sisters that work in the we are there administration. We some of us too against them. Some of us too against them because of the CCTA issue that the we are administration did not address. To my almost surprise, seeing CTA to stay the authority in Liberia as a businessman, it's very frustrating. I lost over 80,000 each continuum. I spent $250 each continuum. So I cannot offload a continuum to my place. I have to pay $250. That is $500 I pay on each continuum. This thing Thank will you. be addressed. Thank you. Thank you. And, and let me see, let me let me come back real quick. Uh, can somebody call us Nelson if he's in the studio? We need to talk to folks from Liberia. Hello, your name and where you calling from? I, I don't know why you will call us and you get the radio on that loud. We want to say thank you. Let me try this person again. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Hello, this is Amos calling from Boston, Massachusetts. Go ahead, talk to us, Amos. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Waterspoon, for this program. But one thing I got to tell you, Mr. Waterspoon, to encourage we the Liberians that doing the shipping, we don't need CTN. Those two entities over there, we don't need them, Waterspoon. They are robbing us. Look, Waterspoon, we pay two hundred and fifty dollars to register with the CTN. When you go over there, they will delay you. They will delay you. They will delay you. They say your container is over you. They say your container is over you, and you have to pay. Somebody sent on the last container I shipped before the election. I paid nine thousand dollars instead of paying five thousand. I paid nine thousand dollars for, for my container. I took the losses. Look, we voted for this government for change. We don't want those people in the vote. We don't want them. And you know what? Let, let me let me take this. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Then I, I hello. Your name or where you calling from? Hello, your name. Talk to me. Talk to me, please. Yeah. Uh, Send on, we shouldn't get look at a uh, wheel that can say one one continent to Liberia. Let's also look at Firestone. Firestone is the highest importer and shipper of continent to Liberia. Let's look at it that way too. So, a CTN they charge you or 250, you know, the people, some of the reason Firestone lays out on employees because of the money CTN charging and let them charging them. 
But it's, they can move on the earth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, folks, give me one minute. I don't know, maybe my producer is sleeping in the studio. We need to get him. This I'm is calling his CEO. I'm calling him. Thank you. All right, but uh, I can say he's not there yet. Magic, you want to open the phone line where you are, Magic? Uh, Magic is talking to me. Thank you for calling him. Uncle Sam, people are saying no. Uncle Sam, people are saying no. People don't want MedTech and CTN. MedTech and CTN have hijacked and port. Yeah, but look. It's a problem to our country. Yeah. They are. Look, during the, during the campaign, listen, Joseph Walker won this election to make certain changes. And high on the list is the cost of goods that come to Liberia and enabling business environment. MedTech and CTN, they obstruct trade. Okay? They're taking wealth from Liberia. Millions and millions of dollars, you know, they're yeah. sucking it out of the economy and they're sending it abroad, you know. So that you need to do that. It will be one of the fundamental changes you have done. The free port is the gateway to the economy. 1.7 billion dollars a year incoming, and they're outgoing another about 900, 900 million, almost like um. Uh, almost $3 billion worth of trade, international trade. When you start to, to, to negatively impact that, it's a restraining economic growth. You're slowing down the growth in the economy, and you're feathering the nest of foreigners that don't play any significant role in business development and, 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 and wealth creation for Liberians. So understand, we can be an update, right? And I don't think one Liberian will agree with this government who keeps CTN or MedTech. I think they are robbing the Liberian people. Of course. They are dragging us in the mud. Look, listen to the cry of Liberians. They've been double, triple. Yeah. Then you want to tell us that it's okay to give millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Where are the lawmakers? What our lawmakers are doing? But Joseph Bonner can 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 eliminate that by one executive order. I think the person is shoot. You one see the head order. Sam Jackson did not say shoot. anything in the last. I, I think the person is shoot eliminate that by one executive order. order. See that the last year. Sam Jackson order one minute. Patika, <laughs> I agree with you. Sam Jackson is the worst hypocrite in the world. I agree I, with you. So that's so that Jackson is shameless. I agree with you. Sam Jackson didn't say anything. We are talking about the fear urgency of now. We are talking about now. What are you saying? Because it happened, we should continue. Yeah, because no, of no, that reason, we beat Sam Jackson. Because of those reasons, because of those and many other reasons, we beat Sam Jackson government. I think the government is that Wishon thing there? That's Wishon. How you, you say, say that? Because the woman for 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 Sierra Leone, so they must close their business. The other person that Ara, this is all Liberian. This is no, she's exploiting the Liberian people. She's exploiting our people. Why can't you think about oh. it in their life? I don't yes, she's doing it. Magic. Oh, oh, stop it. She's exploiting our people. Of course, business By people. We just stop Liberian from paying taxes. Nobody should pay tax. Nobody should pay nothing in Liberia. Let us, let, maybe let us just get the country free. Everybody get free. Magic, what happened with the, uh, you got you got to call me, Magic, or text me, man. What's going on in the studio? I don't well, know what that's not there that yet. Everything has to just be that way, you know, and, and, and people criticize. Hello, you know, your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where are you calling from? Yep. I'm Frank, and I'm calling from uh, London, Canada. Talk to us, Frank. Uh, CEO, with all due respect, a father in our studio, then he just keeps shut up. Then he just shut up because he's not saying anything I'm missing. Because the people... Tell a man, he's a stupid human being. He need to set that clown to that terminal set up. 
You need to tell that ass to shut up his mouth. Yeah, man. 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 You know what I'm talking here. The man said, with all due respect, you still accept that. Hello? Your name, where are you calling from? This is Patrick Wallow, calling from Minnesota. Patrick, talk to us. Oh, stay talk. Well, Shaika is there trying to say things that is not right. At the end of the day, who suffered most? If I pay a lot of money to free my continuum and I pull these things out of the pool, who found it difficult? Is not the public? That's the people who find it difficult because I'm going to add all of the money that I spent Thank you. put there to, to, to get my to Thank you. Home. Thank so you. you bring bread on the society. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You Let's run. Thank you very much. Let's run. Hello, your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, Center. My name is Lawrence Faya Cooper. I'm calling from uh, Pennsylvania. Talk to us. Uh, so, two points here. The last time you can remember when Senator Dylan came on his show, he said, Level him, City will be gone yesterday. And that's what Fatima just reaffirmed that on the show. Okay. And one thing that we are missing, I, heard, I didn't hear being discussed tonight is where in the world still you see a phone operating for uh, eight hours a day? That possible to be operating 16 hours so our people can clear their continuous on time and get out so they can keep all their money. But these people have deployed all kinds of strategies, delay tactics. Thank you. They can deploy the people. Thank that's you very much. Doing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let me take one from Australia. My brother, my sister from Australia, talk to us. Your name, where you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Adelaide. Talk to me. Yeah. What's your name? Abraham F. Summer, residing in South Australia. Oh, uh, Abraham, talk to us, man. CTN MedTech. What, 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 what are the business in Liberia, yeah, man? Talk to us. Everything should be kicked off. Everything should be kicked off out of Liberia. Our government. Uh, the problem for us, we the ordinary citizens, everything should be kicked off. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, 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 Magic, can you come and let's take calls from Liberia? Can you open the phone line, please? Thank you, Magic. Please open the phone line. All right, folks, so you can put your calls to 077 1075 I will take this one while you're calling the number. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Bring you the first question, right? Yeah, my name is Jerome Ray. Hello. I'm calling Hello. from the state of Iowa. My name is Jerome Ray. I'm calling from the state of Iowa. Yeah, talk to us, Jerome. Yeah, thank you very much, Santa and the team. But uh, quite unfortunately, I'm so surprised at my brother, uh, Fadiga. Because a few months back, he was one of those who shaped car through Guinea because of the <coughs> racking systemic and you know, uh, 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 policy they both have on that port. AP and terminal. Oh, he shaped his car through, through Guinea? Car. I think I think he right there. He's my brother. If you are in Minnesota right now, I'm going to start walking from Iowa to Minnesota to go meet him. Hold on, 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 yeah, I, I saw it on his Facebook page, but he got shipped some car through Guinea, through Ganta border. Let him there, he will tell you. And they know the system is rotting. How many of the Liberian people? Then he's there, he, he barking the people. I'm so surprised about my brother, man. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on one minute, Magic. Hold on, before okay. you take another call. Fadiga shipped his car through Guinea, refused to ship his car through the Liberian National uh, 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 Liberian Port. Uncle Sam, who is, what will he use on you again, Uncle Sam? It's gonna be it's gonna be xenophobia. Xenophobia, Who xenophobia. Is xenophobic now. <laughs> Ava, now you're picking me for Diga, man. I, I, I seen for him. He refused to use the port in Moravia. He went through Guinea to ship his car. But he's telling you, give your money to City and Matek. I mean, Uncle Sam. That, that, that's bad for our country. That's bad for our country. But people that go to get into bad cars because, because I, of the, yeah. I agree with you, but Fadiga refused to leave and to go through the National Port Authority within the country in Moravia. Because he went to Guinea. He's unpatriotic. He's not a Liberian. He's a Guinean. <laughs> Just joking, you know, you. Well, oh, guys, while we close this show tonight, right, true. we'll continue this on Monday. Our country is bleeding. Our country is in a serious mess. 
it was done yesterday, which was so bad. And you choose to kick Josh Brown we are out of office. And you believe in the rescue mission today. Who talking to MedTech? Who talking to CTN today? Who talking to MedTech and CTN? What are the sad conversations they are having today? Let's face it. Somebody talking to them. Someone have invited them on the table and say, come and hear us today. Someone is dealing with them. What the Liberian people suffer Paying double, triple. How many tracking companies should we have in Liberia? What's the importance of those companies? How much the government making? How much went into the pocket of Simon Twain and the rest of them? How much is going into the pocket of this current government that we, that, that, that we brought to power? Who are in this government right now eating the money? It's not free. We expose them before we expose them this time around. We will. We will expose them. Friends or no friend, we will expose you. The people say CTN and Meta got to go. President Joseph Yiman Buaka got to look into it. The people are suffering. These are the bread and butter issue of the country called Liberia. When somebody suffer, clean poopoo here, Uncle Sam, for years, get a late tax return money by the one P.O. small O writing car and one send it to Liberia, you charge them double of that car price. When they want to send small bags, you charge them double. That's not a change. That's not the rescue mission. That's not thing Liberia. That's not love Liberia. That's not built Liberia. No, it's not. So we asked the government, have they called CTN? Have they called MedTech? Who's talking to them? Who's speaking to them? Who wouldn't, who negotiating with them? How long will this government be silent? January, February, March, April, four months. You know how much money those companies have made in four months that the rich is in? Let's do our closing. We'll discuss this on Monday. We'll bring a lot of documents out on Monday. We will ask the political advisor, the legal advisor. We will ask the executive manager. We will ask Mr. Commerce Minister Amin Moda. Is he talking to them? One last thing, discuss with them. What Amin Moda know about CTM and MedTech? Who advising the president to keep them? I mean, what are they to explain? What does he know? That's what Richard said, help us. Um, it was a great show. I'm happy that uh, the shippers and those people who uh, ship containers to Liberia were able to call in and express their, you know, their concerns about uh, shipping to Liberia and how complex that is. Um, it, it was also great that we exposed uh, that Liberians are shipping to Guinea and, and Sierra Leone, and we are losing money. Um, I think we should continue this show uh, so that the shippers can continue to express their concerns. Um, you know, I've been focusing on just the financial aspect, uh, saying that Liberians sometimes don't have the financial capital to invest in uh, companies in Liberia compared to you know other people, the foreigners that come to our country, they get uh, money from outside of the country. You know, like when a Lebanese person comes to the country, they have access perhaps to money from Lebanon or from the United States, depending on you know where the, you know they put their business packages together. Or sometimes, as Uncle Sam mentioned, they come in group and they pull resources together and open these different entities in our country. Uh, compared to a Liberian person, our banks team really don't have, honestly, the banks I learned don't even have enough money to uh, loan money to Liberians. But I think that's another layer to this problem is the education. We talk about empowering Liberia. It's not all only to just give Liberians money. It's to educate them about businesses, to develop um, 
trust in each other. You know, Uncle Sam talked about women, uh, people of women pulling their resources together to bring in a container. But there's something I know I noticed about us as well, and we need to work on this, is that we don't trust each other. That's true. <laughs> we, don't, we, we, we don't, you know, we don't even understand business, you know, in, in many uh, degrees. I was speaking to a foreigner in Liberia. He said, you know, when you get Liberia uh, man money, or he opens his business, you'll come to the person who's running the business and say, my man, please loan me a hundred dollars. That in the morning, you'll start, loan me a hundred dollars. You go out not knowing that hundred dollars are profit for the business and use the hundred dollars on pleasure. Then you come back, maybe you run dinner time, say, Please give me my man, please give me fifty dollars. Go out and use and not replenish the money and not understand that it's it's because of, of business that you need that money. That's your profit. You need it to, to replenish, you know, what you spend. So I'm trying what I'm saying is that we need to learn all of this, you know. There should be not only giving us finances, but there should be an uh, intentional focus on teaching us about businesses, teaching us to connect with each other, requiring us to be able to bring our resources together. This is the only way this is work. If we do this in an isolated way where we just throw money at Liberians, it's not going to work. If we just teach them how to do business and not uh, give them money, it's not going to work either. So uh, it was a great show. Let's do it again, CEO, uh, to educate the Liberian people because this is an important part of our economy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. We appreciate you taking that. I'll ask about Tuba Junior, and then we'll go to Fatima. Uh, Ava. OK. And that's the problem, Ava. Let's just go to Fatima. Ava, can you hear us? How about you are talking to somebody, but man, you gotta keep focused with the show, bro. All right, well, let, 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 let them over, Ava. Fatima, go ahead, please. Um, um, so the panelists, you guys, thank you. It was a it was an amazing discussion. To all of the viewers, thank you for the thousands of comments that you've been writing. I saw when I've last looked, there was 3.5 you know, K comments. Uh, I just want to say that it's, it's, for us, it's Liberia first and Liberia last. If you can see me and my Uncle Sam on the same side tonight, you know, we have not I don't know, since the last time I said me and Uncle Sam be having our midnight talk, he cut me off. You don't call me. He haven't no, called me. No, no, I just been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy. <laughs> Uncle Sam has not called me for a while. but no, I've been busy. I've been busy. But even in his, in his heart of hearts, when me and Uncle Sam talk, he talks all about Liberia. For us, it's Liberia first and Liberia last. Even as Al, you see here talking tonight, saying that Mr. there a new woman can't take over our whole uh, 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 beef back and our whole food. Al, um, he, Al Hassan, I mean, Al saying, also talk about Liberia. He wants the best for Liberia. He's in Liberia because he wants to see Liberia grow, rise, and shine. This is the oldest republic on the continent. Our job here is to make sure that our people are stronger, our people's their will is strong. They know that today we are thinking Liberia, loving our country, building our country. I believe that if, a, if there is nothing on this earth that a Liberian cannot do, it's time that we bring the liberalization policy forward to put our people to work to ensure that our people are first, not last on the table. It's time for us to make sure that we are asking Liberians first. And if Liberians cannot do the job, by all means, we can call other people. But I believe that if there is anything anyone can do, Liberians can do it. We just need a little bit of business education. We need a little bit of, you know, encouraging our people because our people are equally as educated. They are equally as passionate. Liberia first, Liberia last. Let's put our country on the map. It was a great show. I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm so jealous that, that the richest thing is in Liberia has left me here. But you know what? The no, richest thing is back. She's back. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, just look at someone. I just said, Fatima, you too. You're really ugly. Oh. <laughs> you don't even read that comment. No, the richest city is back yeah. in the U.S. But, uh, actually, that we got, but for us. But don't you leave, though, Fatima. Don't leave. Well, let's all leave together, yeah? 
Okay, I, I wanted to drive, go drive my uncle because he here bugging me. But yeah, but I, I just want to say that we do this for Liberia. We do it for our country because we love our country, our passion for our country. We all want to retire and go back home and live in a Liberia that we desire and we, we want. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks to everyone today for coming on. And this was a great show. Proud to be a part of it. Love you, Al. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 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 magic, magic. We can hear you, magic. Okay. Uh, for you guys, go ahead. See you guys, before I left, well, well, I enjoy all the fanfare and all the something. I want to make something clear. I'm not advocating for the suffering of librarian. I'm not advocating for. I'm not a spokesman for any company here. But what I do want us to believe, I do not like the fact that we we treat yeah. foreigners. I have to say they are they they are they are they are not important in our in our economy. Uh, what I think when I say that uh, 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 I hate false nationalism, and what I mean by that is to be a nationalist or uh, to be nationalistic, it doesn't mean that you have to speak it. It is done in our action. It's done in in everything that we do. How many times haven't we sent money to family members? It gets misused. How many times, like bring own businesses that you spend money in? We have story where you save money to family to build your horse is poor. I'm not saying that they, they they aren't honest Liberians in this country. There are a lot of honest people that want to make it, but there are also a lot of dishonest people in this country. This honesty has been normalized in this country. We all know so we need to realize that. There are so many times people in good faith give us the opportunity, we abuse it. Some people even bring foreigners, hire foreigners to do some of the jobs here. It's not because something we need to start. If we want true liberalization, we need to start cultivating the culture of honesty. Let us be honest to ourselves. Let friends start telling friends the truth. Look, for me, I'm a realist. I do not see things for what it could have or should have been for what it should be. And, 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 and I may not be the one that, you know, saying the most popular thing tonight. I think this government that came to power, uh, look, CTA and those other companies, I'm sure they hire, they hire librarians. I'm sure they have corporate social responsibility. I was able to do the research, I saw something. There are librarians who hire that are, that are being paid by those companies as well. As a new coming government, we should not just go after every company. Close the one now because it started on a job here. Throw the one out because it won the other. the one. Yes, I understand the sentiment, but a higher fee for continuing is not only being paid to CTN. Some of the reason people were shipping to other countries is because fee for shipping in Libra is just generally high. The free port tax is even higher. The 9,000 people talk, I have to say CDA charge the 9,000. No, it's a free port that, 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 be, I, that money, those money have been paid to the LRA. So people should not ask, you know, they just an extra fee that people don't want to pay. And I do understand it for whatever reason you don't want to pay a certain fee. It's a civil tax. Taxes, nobody want to pay tax. It hurts, but I think as a government that just came to pay, we need to steady these things. Just how like you will not want to fire 40,000 people because you do not just because you want to, 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 to clean out the payroll. We need to steady this thing. The hypocrisy with folks that Samuel Jackson and other people that were in power a few months ago and did not do anything to this company. But as soon as Joseph Wecker get that, close CNN, some of you people never voted for Joseph Wecker. Some of you, 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 that owner here, you have never voted for us. You are never supported all that now you're talking about CTA. You have never said anything about those companies over the last couple of years. That because now Joseph Bergas should go and close all the companies down, then the other librarian that are working there, they fire them. I'm looking up for this government. That I'm not saying we can't do something we can't have a study, but for people to just go out with rash decision, you know, start making rash decisions because Samuel Jackson wanted today and he was against it yesterday. It is wrong. The government needs to take its time study these things if it's beneficial to librarian we use it if it's not beneficial to all we keep it for for the most part what i've seen for something i've not i've not really investigated the metric but i've read a little bit about ctn and, and you know and i've seen some of the things contributors they have done and i've seen why people don't want it because it exposes a lot of things but other than that I do not want this government to go in the business of rushing and just dismantling things because some of these people that think that they're doing it is the, the honor tone here is they want us to fail. 
They want us to start shutting companies down, start doing things on the false pretense of liberalization. Who told you? Steve Jobs was an Iranian thing. A lot of people, or, or, or how they call the guy from, from, from Tesla, he's also African. Are you saying that, that we, shouldn't, we shouldn't do business in America? Do you know how many times we take our money that we sold to spend in America we send it back home? Some people come there even having, I know people that drive taxes. They don't even pay tax the same money back home. There are a lot of things. People come here, same money. If the Americans had the same mindset as us, our problem is not foreigner. Our problem is we are corrupt. Our problem is not that other person is Every us. nation is corrupt. Every nation no, is corrupt. No, 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 no. Let me finish, Fatima. The, the, but we just close. Let me finish, please. Do we need the American ambassador to come here and tell us that we are spending money on XYZ and we are corrupt? No. Are, are the people spending that money, are they foreigners? No. I do not want, I want us to be sincere to ourselves and address our problem as Liberians. When the, a private sector business initiative, a, a, a loan came about, Liberians took that money. Some of them never have businesses. Have any of them paid? When, when, when John Malu said the first order was going to be to, to order those things, do you know how many people will go to jail? If some of you will be there, oh, hey, let's just forget it. You know, we found it. The people are finished eating the money now. Let's forget it. That money was not free. The millions of dollars that you're talking now in, 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 for any time, that money was not free. And we keep doing this thing. And we keep, you know, with the hypocrisy. One day we won the one. So I won this government, and I hope there are a lot of smart people in this government. We're not just fall for, oh, closing the one, not closing the one. Now we'll verify if it will be that. There need to be reduction at the port. The fee for shipment need to be reduced. CN, CTN is a new portion of that money. We pay far more to clear continue in Liberia than in other countries. Even with Guinea increasing the, fair, the tariff by 78 percent, it is still a little lower than us. There are a lot of other things that we need to put on the table rather than just cherry picking what to do. What about the jetty of the world? What about the Lebanese company? And yeah, you're talking about that CTN. Have you guys talked about jetty? Have you guys talked about all the other companies in the country that are run by by by, by non uh, 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 non uh, 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 people of non Negro descent? Liberia is a country of people of non-Negro descent. You guys, I'm not talking about it. We spent time stretching our view over CTN. What about the men our grand granted monopoly over steel? What about the 10,000 other things, same Jackson? Have you guys spoken about eight or nine? No. We took the three lists and we bullied them and beat them. Beat them. We look at this poor lady. Oh, no, it's a little can do. I saw Liberians. In Aracos, no, you're not talking now. You're not talking about 10 minutes, man. No, I, I'm, 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 I do not no. want us to be the no. day. This is completely on Liberian. Your behavior is xenophobic in nature, and we need to stop that. Okay, great. No, no, I'll be somewhere. I'll be somewhere. Well, I beg you, Fatika, do not interrupt anybody. Okay, because we all listen to you. I beg you, Fatty. Well, I come and go through. I will not have to. I was scared. Well, let me. I'm going to talk about it. I want to say, I want to keep you for last. Uncle Sam, let Ava go. I beg you, please. Ava go. Yeah. Let me get some more time to Chris on Nuga because we've been trying to get him on here for the longest time. We got to go. We're feeling with call, man. <clears throat> I would let let the man do my closing for me. Uh, I mean, we, don't operate, I mean, we don't operate like that, but man, don't be squeezing corners in, brother. Well, I mean, we're we gonna allow this time, but we don't operate like that. I mean, we open the line. Well, let me email time to the man. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't, but you can go ahead for today. Okay. I just hope we'll we're talking note. about all we'll the people in that too. You know, Chris, go ahead. Sorry that I have to interfere in your show for the first time, but I think I have some serious stuff to contribute tonight. And it's so important that I make this contribution because it sets the record straight. I want you to know that GTMX runs the CTN, the container tracking activities. 
CTN that is being run have less than 80 staff and makes about $360,000 every 10 days. Have made $84 million in five years. Can anyone tell us that these monies were made through manufacturing or just service and application? When Samuel Jackson talks about the kind of generational activities that takes place in Ghana, it is a fact. No one goes into Ghana under no circumstance and just walk and get integrated into the system. We must begin to think about wealth creation on the national face. Whatever Fatiga has spoken to tonight is fallacy, is trashy, is myopic, is eccentric, is dogmatic, and is counterproductive to our national development and our national psyche. Something else you have to know. Is it clear that for my group here, I want me to start talking to you? Is that. <laughs> Chris, the people say not hearing you now. The the phone, call, phone, call came yeah, yeah. phone call came in. That's why he's oh, on it's now. Okay now. It's okay now, but he was briefly yeah. interrupted. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. Every penny. I can tell you how they were spent because GTMX is a company that we have taken time to research over and over to know how much of contribution and benefit the nation and people have taken. Do you know? Just last year beginning, Bill Tuari was at the pool in the cannon and he called Aminata and said she should send two hundred thousand dollars. She sent fifty thousand dollars and she he threw it in the face of the guys who brought it. Wow. And he was sitting with girls, it was meant to be distributed to girls at the pool. We have a miracle flash to that. We've been tracking this more so. It was only a leaking cow for people in the government to be able to enable themselves to carry out activities that were purely personal. I'm going to release a lot of issues to you. Let's do this. I, 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 can you hold Chris for a minute? Chris, can, hold Chris, can Chris join us on Monday while we go? Can you come on the show on Monday, Chris? Can you come on the show yeah. on Monday? Can he appear on Monday? Because uh, I huh? have another another person appearing too. Okay, he'll come on Monday. Can he bring some documentation as well? Right, yeah. and Chris, Chris, now you about word of mouth. Now you got to present some documents too. You say you got empirical yeah. facts, so word of, not only word of mouth, documents too. Okay. So thank you. About so, about you know what? Do your close. I think he's coming from a good place, and I'm hearing some of the thing I've been hearing. That's why I want to make this show talk about this whole city and. And Metech on Monday. All the players that are involved, I know some of them name within this government. So what Chris is saying is on point. The only thing I disagree about Fadika, I want to funny talk. But what he's saying on the Metech and the CTN is quite on point, and I hope we can have him Monday. Talk to us, Ava. Do your closing. But I, yeah. I, 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 closing no, I, I, yeah, I apologize. Let me, let, me show you, let me show you. Chris really tried to get on this show today. He called me like I know how many times. So, you know, I just wanted to hear voice to be heard. So if I went off the, the rules, I'm sorry. But something really wrong with Fadiga. I, I can't understand. You already said it yourself. They they city and money that extra cost. Extra. It has no material purpose to any container because containers can already be tracked. You cannot weigh people and tax people unnecessarily. It makes no sense. So I hope you try to understand that simple fact. That's not the purpose of taxes. Why you get, and, you get to all the money? 
because you have disrupted <laughs> the rational thinking of people today. <laughs> I didn't even want to talk to you today. You brought this all the come at me. I even feel that like, okay, I'm calling your knee again. I even want to talk to you. Say, come you, are, you, you, are, have you, be, you got a real tabata you perform here today <laughs> with people. So <laughs> the real tabata. Well, 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 the man disrupted this show today, Stento. I'm telling you. So cry on your knee here. The people will cost you for a long so, time. So, 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 uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to define xenophobia. Xenophobia is a fear of foreigners. Okay, I've been married to two foreign women, including my present wife, so I cannot be xenophobic. I'm not afraid of foreigners. And I came here as a little boy in America. But let's get to the most substantive issue. Look, the overarching thing here we're talking about is Labyrinth Economic Empowerment, wealth creation. That's what distinguishes Liberia from other countries, right? And that's why we are poor. We're poor because we don't protect Liberian economic interests. And the whole thing about life from the womb to the tomb is about well-being. And well-being is reflected in income and economic opportunities. If you surrender a poor country surrender economic opportunities to foreigners or newcomers, you are creating something in economics we call horizontal inequality, which we have in Liberia. Let me explain that. Horizontal inequality means that poverty and wealth will be distinguished by nationality or by color or by what? Okay, that's horizontal and that's bad for you. That's why Liberia is a poor, fragile country. The easiest sector of the economy to enter is the trading sector. Most of our mothers and sisters and brothers, they're involved in trading. They are the base of the trading economy, okay, which is the, the retail where their goose get rotten, where it takes a long time. The top of that value chain is the largest importers. They make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. They don't look like us. They don't smell like us. They don't talk like us. They're foreigners. They have their interests. If you were to go to Beirut and see the mansions that the people have built, from the association with Liberia, okay? We want them to come to be our business partners, but we want them to come and do things that we don't have the capital to do, like in manufacturing or in mining or in something like technology, but to have them in the trading architecture for over a hundred years and they're zapping out a billion dollars out of GDP every year is being, look, Spencer, let me ask you a question. Do you know the total asset value of the banks in Liberia? It just became one billion dollars. Wow. Yes. Okay. Nine banks, now the three branches just became a billion dollars. And the capital requirement is 10 million. So the banks cannot lend more than one million dollars, which is ten percent of the capital, to one obligor. It's called a single obligor rule. Voila. Yes, it's called. So only one million. And if they want to do two million, you know, my first degree was in banking. They have to do something called participation, where one bank brings five hundred thousand, another bank brings five hundred five hundred thousand, get two or three million. So you can't build a factory using a billion banks. You can't build skyscraper using Labyrinth banks. You can't do mortgage financing using Labyrinth banks. The reason why the Lebanese and others are way ahead of us, because they get outside financing from Cyprus, from Lebanon, from Mauritius. Jetty invested $36 million. That didn't come from Labyrinth banks. Okay? So we didn't understand that. You know, I mean, like, no, no offense, and I want to boast about myself, my background is investment banking. I mean, when I was in, 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 um, in merchant banking. 
as a 24, 25 year old kid credit officer at Chase Manhattan Bank with a portfolio of $100 million to lend on my signature as a kid, as a kid in America. I went to Liberia in 1978, not to go start revolution. I went to Liberia because I wanted to they take that, that knowledge I have to help Liberia. But you know what happened, Stanton? When I went to Liberia, all the products, there, they already had Lebanese agents. Revlon had Lebanese agents. Postnow had Lebanese agents. They all had Lebanese agents. And my, and my, and my ex wife at that time was a beautician. She couldn't bring those products into Liberia because they were prohibited because they had, they had foreign agents. The same thing is today. There's certain products you cannot bring in Liberia because the Lebanese have complete monopoly over it. Stand up. Do you know how many containers a month that the people that control the, the frozen food market in Liberia, the, the frozen meat? About 100 to 200 containers a month. They control 90% of pig feet, chicken feet, and are the same people, unfortunately, I'm not accusing them, but those are the people there that brought in the hundred million dollar worth of drugs. Okay? So if you're talking about liberal economic empowerment, you gotta start from the simplest thing. The simplest thing is number one, agriculture, and number two, and trading is the easiest. Because most of the women in, in the, in, in the, the, the liberal marketing association, the petty trader association, most of them are women. And those are the women that have to send their children to school, have to buy copy books, have to buy uniform, and they never grow. There should be a program that should take those women from the stores in the market to warehouses. From stores to warehouses. In Nigeria, go ask about the Mama Benzes. Go ask, and, and, and maybe if I tell you about the Mama Benzes. Those women go to Dubai, go to China, bring in 20, 30, 40 containers for one person a month. My color market, go see people that are bringing in all kinds of things there. They're bringing in 5, 10, 15, 20 containers. Okay? The Labron women that are the, 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 the selling in the market there, they can't bring in one container. They can bring in a barrel, a barrel. So we need to change it. So the only way we can change it is to fix some of, and I will speak big English again, the trading architecture, the rules governing trade, and MedTech and, 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 and CTN are obstructing the financial architecture because they're increasing the cost of goods to be sold. And they're taking the money from the economy. You got the money that the people, which is the in, income, income is, is an, it's national wealth. And they should, if you're giving that national wealth to them, and they're not reinvesting that money into the economy, okay? To say that to, to build new factories, to do the 80 million dollar what uh CTN got for the five years. How was that expended? How was that reinvested? Let's look at the structure of the pay. They say they got 80 employees. Let's look at Liberians who are in high management in their company. How many is that Liberian chief chief financial officer? Liberian RT people are making, I mean, five thousand dollars a month. If you're taking 80 million dollars, let's look at the human resource structure to see Liberian participation in, in, in management. Let's go to, let's go to Metech and ask him too. How much money are they reinvesting in the Liberian economy? These are things. Or they say we say say we are they asking to do it for him. So we are never asking to do it for him. They ask me, this is the knowledge I have. I born with it. I'm not born that I gain this knowledge, but if the government doesn't ask me to use that knowledge, I can't force myself on them. The only person that asked me to use my knowledge was Ellie Salif. That's why I was so close to her. She used my knowledge and she was successful the first six years until she became political in the second term. So in the government, I want to use my knowledge or somebody like on my level or higher, they, 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 they can use it and it will help them. Okay? But because Joe, yeah. I, I didn't give Joe- How much did you charge them? Yeah? Thank you. Yeah? <laughs> no. Oh, I mean, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Sam. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Afro, Afro LSE. How many? Thank you, Sam. How many times my 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 colleagues were charged by bureau? Yes, I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Thank you. How many times did you charge them? 
Now what's up about you? What are you? What are your money? What are the fee? No problem. I always have thank you very much. This is a very serious issue. God bless you. Yeah, always have thank you. I've let me do my closing real quick, guys. Please give me. Are you close yet? No, I have not. Don't be afraid. 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 Don't be that comes back in the country where yeah, all this old parable. But let me say this. Uh, I want to introduce, you, introduce the new Fadiga. And the little child that did this, she said, empty that. And I know everybody understood that she meant MR. But this is Fadiga. You know, when you do, when you do these things, you know, you come to realize that this is what people are going to do to you. You try to be a <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is Fadiga. This is Fadiga. That's what happened when you fall flat to agree that the Liberian people should suffer under this condition. And you want uh, you want to convince us that it's okay to allow others to enrich themselves and what Liberians suffer. Not only in Liberia. But look at the person I was speaking. Look at Fadiga. He got three more. Okay. Right, left, and in the middle. I will take this picture down. We'll put it on our Facebook page. The staff is sitting for everything. I, I know. <laughs> so let me say this. Let me do my closing. I am discouraged. <laughs> I am disappointed. I know my brother Fadiga said, give the government some time. With four months, that's enough time to investigate. With four months, that's enough time to step into MedTech and CTN and ask them, why have they been doing this to our people? 20% of that money is in Dubai. For six years, they've been collecting it. Register on a cemetery, and I hope that's the kind of thing that asset recovery is supposed to go after. Okay? Those are war and economic crime. Let's say this. Those are the things that we need to go about. How can we fight it if we don't put in the checkpoint to safeguard the continuance of what is happening or what's been happening? It's bad. Our country is bleeding. I mean, my dad need to answer. Why does he know about city and Metech? He's the commerce minister. The advisor on economic to the president need to answer. We will be discussing it on Monday. Let's discuss this thing. We are all Liberians. Don't tell me, Joe, we are dead. It. That's why the people rejected George Manawea. Because of CTN. Because of MedTech. Because of the whole failure within the APM terminal. Because of the small, small company that were created to enrich the president, the people said, we'll bring in the rescue captain, the rescue mission, we'll bring in the rescue train, we'll bring in Joseph Yiman Bwaka, or clean hand. Who advised the president? I know. Are they going to keep MedTech? Are they going to keep CTN? Why? What was the backdoor channel? What was there before? What are we here? We will fight the system. We will. We either change or be changed. Now, I want you guys to hear this. We either change the system or the system change us. Two things happen in Liberia. Rescue either rescue or rescue themselves be rescued. I want you to hear this very clear. Rescue, either rescue or rescue themselves. Yeah, be our me. You find a time three minutes, and you know me very well. I bear the skies to bring this government to power. It was all done because we want a good, clean, transparent, loving, producing Liberia. So when President Buaka said, think Liberia, mm. love Liberia, oh my God, and let's build Liberia, that message went across. You didn't say hit for it. Are we thinking Liberia? How long will MedTech continue to suppress our people? 
How long will CTN continue to suppress our people? Is that the law? With this built Liberia, look at the LRA record, nothing. How long, you may help me, or some may love me. It's okay. We got six years to go. I told you, I will talk it. I will talk, I will talk, I will talk, I will back. I will make new friends, and old friends will be enemy. But to the end, Labrua will succeed. This is wrong, folks. On Monday, we want you to come back and let's tell you the real story of CTN and MedTech. The president should put out a statement. Commerce Minister Amin Modal should tell us what's going on with CTN and MedTech. The economic advisor should tell us what's going on with CTN and MedTech. Who's beginning to rip? Who's beginning to eat? And who begin to be the new Simon Twer in this government? The new, the new Thomas Donat in this government? Who now collecting the benefit of those people? May God bless us. May God keep us. May God bless our beloved country, the Republic of Amen. Liberia. Amen. Till we meet again. Join the folks tomorrow for God can bless anybody. It may be you. Go to church. Pray. Because Liberia is all we have. And we never promise it will be easy. But we will fight to the end. And I leave you with this. God never says it will be easy. Go get fishing. <laughs> but he promised through to hold your hand. And he never said it would be easy. Isaiah 35, 8. There will be the highway there called the road of holiness. And we will fight together. Labrua must change. Labrua will change. Take it or leave it. Friend or no friend. CTN, Medtech, must they have robbed our country for six plus years. They will continue to steal our country. Can I, can I ask you one question? Why are you, you precious? The issue about the public work with this. Are you going to go after those people that are going to go after Everybody that talked about monopoly, you talk about Jetty. Let me tell you something. Not only Jetty, all the other companies. Jetty, all the all all jetty all alone, all man. Man. And you know what I'm about to do? Everybody. Leave jetty alone. Everybody. Hold on one minute, let me close, guys. Every government official lawmakers that connected with rubber business in our country and causing problems for the poor rubber type and business people, we will expose them. I know them. I know those senators. I know those leaders, those ministers that do rubber business in the country. I will call the name. Oh, Lord, help me. Help me, oh, God. We will fight to save Liberia. So we meet again. We will be with you. Jetty is a good man. Oh, you see, Jetty is a good man for City and Bar. Let's come on. Let's come on. Let me announce, Uncle Stan. I know you left. Let me announce. Hey, now. Our brother, Grosso, apparently, also wrong with our hard delegates today. It's just that we went into this rubber company. We know we'll bring Grosso. He will explain. He sent me a message to say thanks to everybody. He sent me a message to say thanks to everybody who wanted to come on. But yeah, we are talking about CTN. We hope to have him on next time. He appreciate everyone. Well, uh, he said he would be at the primary August 13. All right, Russell Winford Russell has 67 delegates. The woman from Kenya, the Huda woman, has 61 delegates. He got 67. The woman got 61. They will be going for the primary on August 13. So again, we got to keep the fire. We got to keep the fire. Nobody reached the threshold, but Russell is in the lead. All right? Nobody reached the final, but Russell is in the lead. Thanks to all Liberians that came today. Thanks to all Liberians that came today. We said, don't stop. Don't give up. This should be Russell, Russell, Russell. So he's fighting 
He fretted, he fretted, and we'll bring him on the show to say thanks officially to everybody that went there this morning and spoon carry it live. All right, with KMTV. We want to say, may God bless you, Fadiga. Have a good night. Fadiga, thank you very much. Ava, Dr. Richardson, thank you. It's good to see you back in the state. Fatima, thank you as always, my dear sister. You have a good evening. All right. All right, so there you go, uh, Nelson Collette. Thank you for coming in the studio. Uh, here we are. May God bless us, man. I got to go. I got to go. A beautiful, beautiful day. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know you wanted to bring in, I believe next week we'll be bringing in Yan Tuan from Nima County, uh, the, the, the senator candidate. He's really against Koga, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happened is that he's running against Koga, but there's a little trouble over there because Prince Johnson is supporting Koga, right? Yeah. And that would be that would be something how Prince Johnson said he would not support anybody for Unity Party. He's supporting well, he the support. NPR candidate. And that's a big thing, though. That's big. If Prince Johnson win, that's a problem for Unity Party. If Yan Tuan win, that's a problem for Prince Johnson. So there's a battle in the cloud. And again, Prince Johnson inviting you to his church tomorrow. Prince Johnson is inviting everybody. He got a special message on this issue. He got a special message. Please go. And I beg you, Nancy, oh, please come away. Sometimes I like to hear Prince Johnson preach it. <laughs> he inviting everybody. He said, everybody will come to the church tomorrow. He got a special. I think Koga will be in his church tomorrow if I'm making a mistake. He want to officially bless Koga. He's supporting Koga. Open it here about to say and there's a trouble in the camp, in the camp of the alliance. I don't know why, but there's a trouble. But go in peace, my dear brothers and sisters. Go to church if you have to. Let's praise our Lord. Let's celebrate. And let's continue to believe that there's still a hope for the hopeless. There's still a hope for those that's suffering today. There's still a hope for those that are begging for change. There's still a hope for those that are going to bed hungry. There's still a hope for those that have nothing. Whatever you find yourself, there's still a hope. And that hope is Jesus Christ. That hope is the man who is the author and finisher of our faith. That hope is the only person we call every day that hope that you'll wake up in the morning believing you will have something to eat before you go to bed. Believing your children will have something to eat. Believing your children will go to school. That hope that caused you to go and stand on the line to vote. The state of hope. I will say this to you, my fellow Liberian, never give up. It may be rough, it may be confusing, you may see darkness, but there's still a hope. There will always be a hope for the hopeless. You may be hopeless right now. You may think all is done. You may just think that it is over. Don't give up. Jesus stays sit on the throne. Don't give up. He got you. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Don't give up. The state of hope. You will enjoy Liberia before you leave this world. Don't never give up. They may lose our country. They may steal our system. They may break the entire system. But don't give up. Be steadfast. Unmovable. God is still on the throne. God will fix it. God will do it. God will see you through. I know you're looking at your child sleeping, nothing. That child went to bed hungry today. I know you get your family member in the hospital, no money to pay the hospital bills or buy medication. And really heavily, you're sleeping in the pool of water. The zinc is leaking. You're not hustle, hustle all day, nothing. You're coming home, children crying, your wife crying, your husband crying. That's state of hope. You're going through it right now. Just believe. It will get better. Wherever you find yourself, wake up. Keep the faith. God will do it. Have a good night. And we'll meet tomorrow by God's grace. Thank you, Nelson. Yes, sir. And uh, one of our... 
um ardent followers mr philip bala has a um a wedding anniversary today he's always sharing our show and we want to say happy anniversary to you mr philip bala uh, you're celebrating your 10th wedding anniversary today happy wedding anniversary to you and your wife mrs mema bala as you both celebrate uh your 10th wedding anniversary today happy anniversary to you mr philip Bala. so we want to say thanks to all of you out there tonight um thanks for being here with us again on another edition of um spoon talk as you know this is liberia's premier talk show on radio and online um this is where you get diverse views on the national issues and authentic news this is where you get to uh, interact engage with the newsmakers the policy makers every single day and we want to say thanks for being here again tonight um the invitation is yours to join us on monday so the spoon talk is taking its regular weekend break to be back on monday better still god can bless anybody will be on tomorrow um you can make up time uh, to join us tomorrow uh from 8 p.m god can bless anybody will be on and so you can uh, make up time to join us. Of course, uh, make a contribution to the process as so many librarians will be receiving some cash just to get the week started. All right. So you can join us. Until then, have a good night. My name is Nelson Collier. We're coming up with the late night show. Shortly, you can make up time to join us. Thanks to all of our partner radio stations across the country that have been relaying this program. Thanks to Gibi FM. Thanks to Trust FM. Um, thanks to Trend Radio in Grand Cru County and a host of other radio stations across Liberia. Thanks to all of you online as well that have been following the program on YouTube, Spoon Talk Live, on Facebook, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and Super TV. We appreciate all of you. They will come your way again. Have a good night. Bye-bye for now. Yes, I, a special one from the CEO stand coming with the spoon and your boy Friday the South Man, Charges on the beat.